Hello, good morning everybody, and welcome to Angry Welshman Productions. I'm Rhys of Angry Welshman Productions. I am joined today by Sam of Blast Pipe Productions. Good morning. And hey, that's a novelty, isn't it? What's that? Good morning. It is, I know, we normally do these streams in the evening. So, let's, before we uh, really get into it, let's just very quickly check with all the people watching. You can hear me, you can hear Sam, and let's blow the whistle. You can hear the engine. I think Train Sims volume is down a little bit. Let's just um, wait until some people comment in the chat just to make sure everything's working correctly. Sam's blowing. Sam, stop playing with the whistle! <laughs> Let's play Train Sim says everything sounds good. Okay, that's a good. S yeah, there we go. People are saying they can hear us fine. That's really good. Positive. So, Lovely. welcome to the live stream. We are going to be running a virtual footplate run from London King's Cross as far as Edinburgh Waverley in Scotland. So I'm just going to bring up the F1 hood a minute. So I've got the route planned in as an actual scenario. So we'll scroll up a little bit. Our first stop is Peterborough, which is 76.3 miles. Then we're stopping at Grantham, which is 106 miles. Then we're taking on water. Next stop is Doncaster at 157 miles. Then we're stopping at Holgate Loop, 189, which is just outside York. That's where we'll take on water again. Then we'll be stopping at York itself. Next stop after that is Tyne Yard, which is just outside Newcastle, 265.7 miles, and that's where we'll be taking on water and we'll be servicing the locomotive as well. Um, that stop is half an hour, and I think that's about, well, it's planned for about 1.30 in the afternoon, so that gives us all, you know, us playing and you guys watching a chance to go stretch your legs, have a bite to eat, go to the toilet, that sort of thing, while we service the engine. Next stop after that is Newcastle, 269.6 miles. Then we'll be stopping at Berwick or Berwick. I can't. How do you pronounce it? Is it Berwick or Berwick? I'd go for Berwick, but Berwick. It's, I've, I'm, I know I've heard people say Berwick before. But anyway, uh, that's a water stop. That's the last one before Edinburgh, which is 394.19 miles away. So. This is quite obviously the longest run that me and you have ever done in a virtual footplate run. Not only that, but I think it's the longest run I've ever tried. Yes. Um, I've done the Great Western Main Line the full length, but that's a bit shorter, and that was ignoring speed limits. Well, there's a couple of notes to point about today. We are running on the main line, and we have been certified by Network Rail for running at 90 miles an hour. So that's pretty cool. Normally uh, the King class is restricted to run at 75, but we have been given authorization to run at 90. We have also been given from Vintage Trains the Gov water carrier for this uh, live stream because, quite simply, I don't want to run out of water on this run. And as you can probably see here on the left on the F5 herd, 12th, we've got was 120,000 gallons of water and 224 bajillion pounds of coal. Um, the reason for this, I know this is, it sounds like I'm cheating, but it's actually not. The reason is we are going to keep a track of how much coal and water that we do use throughout the live stream. But this is because Train Simulator can be a little bit funny on these long routes with taking on water and taking on coal. As we, we've done virtual footplates and we've done long runs on was it western main lines and other routes and we've run for several hours and found that we couldn't take on coal or water. So yep. essentially we're still going to stop for the water and coal stops to simulate it but just in case anything does happen in the game today we don't actually have to. So it's a bit of a workaround. Next we've got the Bahamas Loco Society uh, support coach because we've got an urn inside which is full of gravy and Sam can't possibly do a rail tour without gravy. It's, it's just not allowed, is it's, it? It's I mean, illegal. It's completely yep. illegal. Speaking of illegal, Sam has just come back from uh, a mainline rail tour with Bahamas, haven't you? I have. So technically um, you're not actually allowed to work today. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm, it's fine, I'm totally within, you know, safe hours and completely well rested and not at all just woke up about five minutes before we started streaming. Yeah, oh I just had a notification about something, I'll have to have a look in a moment. We are going to be pulling the recently, oh, let me just start with the, the actual engine because I didn't talk about this. This is the Caledonia Works King which was released a month or so ago first chance I've had really to live stream it and it's one I have saved for this live stream because you know I wanted to give it a proper christening because it's such a beastly engine and I'm not going to lie it's what it's become one of my favorites in the last few weeks uh, we are hauling the Bossman Games Hawksworth coaches he is very kindly donated as a contribution towards this live stream the pack of coaches the Hawksworth ones and do you know what they are stunning Inside the the interiors are stunning. Oh, and I'll show you something else awesome when we get going as well. Um, I was just going to say, Reese, have we got the um, the what is it on the back? Uh, just while we're walking down the train, we've got the restaurant coach with authentic uh, Great Western interior. So we've got our urn of gravy on the boil. We've got bottles. Oh, they're all empty, all the racks. Uh, I can only see it on the interior view, but we've got plenty of Cornish pasties and gravy and Yorkshire puddings in there. So we're, we're more than set up for the day. On the very end, as a recent addition as well to the uh, to the live stream, released yesterday is the Bossman Games Inspection Saloon, the Great Western Inspection Saloon. And, well, if you pay extra for this rail tour, you can go and sit in there, look at the interior. There's uh, only a couple of seats. This is very bespoke service that you'll be getting. And the middle middle compartment is just full of gravy and uh, Yorkshire puddings for your journey. As well as a very fine chateau uh, champagne, which will be served yeah. on the journey. Your well, thought occurs, Reese. If we're going to Scotland, we should be serving haggis. Yeah, but we're going to pick that up in Newcastle and it'll be cooked on the way. Because uh. you can't, you know, you're just not allowed to bring haggis south, further south than Newcastle. It's just like, it's in the Magna Carta or something, I think. <laughs> um, and just before we uh, get on to anything else, very quickly, this is the Caledonia Works Princess Royal. And I thought I'd show it off here just, you know, as we get going with this live stream. This is something we're going to do in an, a future live stream, is the Princess Royal. Not entirely sure which route yet. Probably North Wales Coastal or something. But that's uh, one for the future. Just worth mentioning, Reese. Um, technical point. There's a few people in the chat that have said, look, um, I'm louder than you and you could do with boosting your volume a little bit. Let me on just, your mic. Yeah, let me just pause the game and have a very quick look at OBS then. Oh no, i got to mess around with the microphone settings a minute. Just one second, guys. Open volume mixer. No, that's not the right setting. Of course I need to do this now. <laughs> Sound settings. Well, better we get it done now and sorted and out of the way before we um, start going. Right, device properties. Right, I've just put my volume... Actually, let's put it up to 70. It was at 45. I've put my microphone volume up to 70. Let's just so if we can get some uh, feedback from people in the chat again about volume levels, and if we're all good, let us know, and if Reese is now really loud, let us know. Oh, um, the other thing, just... Um, oh, guys, five minutes before we get going, so we better get the engine ready as well. So we'll yeah. stick, stick the blower on, stick the dampers open, start warming the fire. Oh, um, we better do some shoveling. The other thing to note with this engine, Sam, is you've got to hold the R key to um, to shovel coal. Right. So I'm just doing it for a moment. Um, just while we're sat here getting started and getting the engine ready to go, I'm going to play a little video for you. It's only about two or three minutes long. And it basically explains a little bit about the Railway Children charity. And it's going to do a better job than I could do of explaining what they do. So I'm going to start off by playing that, if that's okay. If I can find OBS for a second. Around the world, tens of millions of children are struggling to survive on the streets, facing violence, exploitation, and often death. Hands up if you think even one child is too many. Good. Us too. 
We are railway children. We fight for children on the street. We've been doing it for over 20 years and we're good at it. And we won't stop until we live in a world where no child ever has to live on the streets again. So how can we get there? Simple. We find out why children are on the streets and we change things so they never have to go back. Okay, it's nowhere near as simple as that because a bed for the night might get a child off the street, but then what? Well, then our work really starts. For lasting change, we have to work on three levels. We fight to reach children on the streets before abusers, drug dealers and traffickers do. Finding them shelter, food and support is the first step. But we can't be everywhere at once. So through training and support, we turn people at key locations on the ground into our eyes and ears. Then they can spot vulnerable children themselves and help them before it's too late. We work with governments because if the system doesn't change, nothing does. We make our voice heard until we get the policy changes that keep children off the streets forever. In our first 22 years, we helped more than 300,000 children. In the next five, we aim to reach 150,000 more. Here's how we're going to do it. In the UK, we'll be working directly with the British Transport Police to create a national safety network safeguarding vulnerable children on and around the UK transport system. We'll establish safeguarding projects in six of the most needed locations and provide therapeutic services for children and their families. In East Africa, we'll work intensively on the streets in at least 12 cities, reaching 15,000 children and helping them recover from the impact of violence. In India, we'll increase our number of child-friendly stations to 25, working directly with government children's homes in those areas. We'll also train and support 15,000 government personnel to help vulnerable children. That'll mean 120,000 children will be protected and 96,000 return to their families. But we want to reach even more children and we can't do that on our own. So here's the plan. We'll make sure our time-tested model is replicable. Then we'll support and empower other organizations around the world to use this model to reach more children than we ever could by ourselves. Together, we can create a world where none of our children have to live on the streets ever again. Are you with us? So guys, I hope everybody saw that video and thought it was really informative. I think it gives a really good overview of what uh, what is going on with the railway chari with the railway children. And we're going to go into more detail about. Are you there, Sam? You haven't just died, have you? No, I'm still no, here. Steve, um, I think we. I have basically just smothered the fire with coal. Um, but we'll, I've uh, been firing. Have you been fired? Yeah, I've been holding the R key at the same time. I've been holding the R key. <laughs> so, double shoveling. We've both been frantically shoveling coal on the fire while we're waiting to go. Right. Um, feedback it is, Reese, that you're still a bit quieter, but apparently you've got a little hiss that's appeared on your end as well. There is probably a hiss because of my fan, the fan of my laptop. I'm it just... sounds like that's what people have said. I, I have just turned that fan off, but it will have to come on and off throughout the day because otherwise my laptop will overheat. <laughs> so, um, um, Chris uh, Epic Bannister has suggested enabling noise suppression on OBS. Noise suppression on OBS. How do I do that? <laughs> he said he can send a screenshot. If he could, that'd be ideal. Right, Mike. No, I got no clue how to do that, so uh, let's see if he's messaged me. He's probably frantically messaging me right now. Let me have a quick look. Sorry, guys, technical difficulties. It's all right, we're, uh, we're down on time now, but we'll make it up. 
we're running as realistically as possible. Um, let's have a quick look here. He, yeah, he's just messaged me. Mike Auxiliary, okay. Here in filters. Yeah, Reese. Yeah? I was just injecting then. Sorry, I, it's because I'm messing around with... Um, it's alright, leave it paused, it's fine. OBS a sec. Yeah. Ah, Michael says, love your life, 9 o'clock, King's Cross to Edinburgh hasn't left yet, so we're all good. Here in filters, I cannot find this filters option. Sorry, uh, Chris, I can't find it. Anyway, I can't find it. So we'll just carry on for now. I can't find it. Right, what time is it in game? So we're getting ready for the 9 o'clock departure in game, aren't we? So we got just over a minute left. So, the water opens with L and closes with shift L. Hmm. I think we're pretty much uh, ready to go, apart from better release the handbrake, better release the brakes and put it in gear. Ejectors open. Damp Is that water level going up? Uh, yes. Okay, so the steam injector is just a one tap toggle, but the water injector is a press and hold. All oh, right. Which is useful to know. So you've got to hold it, hold LRK to open the water, and then shift LRK to close it, and then you just tap ORI to whack the steam on. Yeah. Right, it's time to go. It's time to go. And I have got my Xbox controller plugged in as well. So that we can uh, have some pretty good views as we uh, head out. This is it, chaps. We're off. And we day a rail on the points before we get to the yeah, tunnel. Thank you for watching the stream. <laughs> There is a 15 mile an hour speed limit all the way, pretty much, through the tunnel. So I'd, I'd shove a bit of rock on, just before we get to the tunnel. Oh, we're alright for rock, yeah. Well, it's down to 870. Yeah, we'll be right, yeah. It'll be right. Um, so, something to mention, chaps, uh, which me and Reese have discussed for about a second. Um... At the moment, Reese is driving, and I am firing, but we are planning on switching throughout the day, just to give each of us a break and keep us both awake. Yeah. Right, 15 mile an hour, let's just wind her back a bit further so we're not picking up too much speed. We're just passing the increase to 45. Wind her back a bit further. Um, JRS, um, who very kindly made the headboards for us, um, amongst other things, is saying, can we swap locos to the Princess Royal? Now, I asked that. that. Of course he would say that, and of course you would say that. Being the only <laughs> Great Western man, I'm going to have to defend the, the honour of the Great Western here. 
basically it's because uh, we did a poll in AWP on the Facebook page and I, I, in fairness I gave all the other engines a chance, I gave other routes a chance and it was very clear that the Great Western King was the, f the fan favourite. Can I just say, just look at the um, fire glow reflected in the window and now you can see it flashing with the uh, exhaust. It's nice, isn't it? I love it. So we're picking up speed now to 45 because we've uh, come out of the first tunnel. And I'm just going to pretty much shove the reg through the roof now. Because we want the fire to start drawing and getting hot as well. And we need to get some speed up, don't we? Aye. And... Okay, Sam. Um, <laughs> let me just check something, because... Uh, how, how many minutes have we been live streaming? Um, I'm not actually sure, you know. Right, let me just Maybe check. Let me just double check something so? before I uh, confirm it. I need to check the Just Kidding page a minute. Because I was just about to go into a whole monologue about the uh, the Just Giving page. Where is it? Come on, Just Giving. I'm trying to find the... Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find the link to the Just Giving page a minute. While Reese is doing that, I'll keep a very close eye on the loco, make sure we're not, you know, doing something stupid. Right, I just found the Just Giving page. Okay, so guys... 26 minutes. Yeah, we're not even half an hour into the live stream, and we've raised 100% of the uh, the target. That's incredible. We I, I set it up to raise £500 for the Railway Children, and not even we haven't even left King's Cross, and we've already done it. I, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Oh my god. Right, okay. Um, in the last few minutes then, while we've been setting up the live stream... I was going to read out all of the, you know, the donations anyway. Bossman Games has donated fifty pounds and twelve fifty of gift aid. Anonymous is ten pound plus two pound fifty gift aid. Alex has donated ten. Dark DJ has donated twenty. Lord Everton fifty US dollars. Anonymous two pounds. Ewan Less Starfish twenty three donated one hundred pounds, but that was two weeks ago. Gabriel Hopes donated £50. Another anonymous £2. Callum 84F donated 10 But someone has just donated a few moments ago. Seth Basnet, it was, has donated £150. 150 And has said, been watching quietly for many years now. Still have my Angry Welshman Productions keychain and happily remember... When Die didn't have a face. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. He remembers when Die didn't have a face, and I'm happy to both give back for the great videos and support a good cause. What a legend! What a legend, Seth. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who has donated so far. In Please, fact, can uh, you not back a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is diff the difficulty now is um, trying to live stream, drive, and read out Keep things. Keep track of everything. So you're going to have to be my eyes and ears as well. Right, boiler is half full, and you've got plenty of rock on. Right. I'm just very quickly going to go back to the live stream a sec. Sorry, ah. sorry that was me. It's all right, carry on. Um, I haven't read any of the comments yet. Um, I'm in the process of doing it. So we've got 58 people watching, and we've had Not a... Not bad for a uh, Saturday morning. No, I know. We've had a super chat already of two pounds. I was just about to explain about all the donations and how everything was going when I uh, got a bit distracted there. So I set a target of raising £500. We've already smashed that. That is unbelievable. We haven't even started and we've smashed the target. So anything we earn on top of this is absolutely fantastic, guys. So that's uh, keep it coming. You know, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention is Super Chats are enabled for the live stream. However, I would recommend if you are going to donate, please donate via the Just Giving page. The Just Giving page link is in the video description below. And the reason for this is because if you give via the Just Giving page, 
the Railway Children, they get 100% of your donation directly. If you donate via Super Chat, then there is going to be a cut of that money goes to YouTube before it comes to me. I don't know exactly what the figure is, um, but if you say, let's say you donated £5, I imagine I would only receive about £4, maybe £4.20 of that. So, you know, it's not a huge problem, and if you have to donate via uh, Super Chat, that's absolutely no problem. Don't worry about it. Um, but just be aware that a certain cut will be kept by YouTube. Now, after the live stream is done, I will make a donation of anyone who's donated via the Super Chats. Like, at the moment, I can see it's £2.53. Um, I did set a £250 target just to have a number on the screen. But whether we reach that or not doesn't matter now because we've just smashed our original target of £500 for the Railway Children. Um, Repton 926 North Yorkshire Moors says it's about 20% that YouTube gets. Yeah, something like that, isn't it? So, there is a cut that YouTube keep. Let's just be aware of that, okay? Um, right, now that we are off and running, Sam is doing well with injecting and shoveling. While I'll tell being... you what, it's a challenge, is this? Is it? Yeah. Um, well, I'm actually really struggling to keep up with a lurker here. I'll knock, I'll knock her back a bit more. We're nearly up to running speed. Just bear in mind that I've... Um, I said she handles really well at full whack, but then we went and added an inspection saloon and a Gov water carrier on the back. So, ah, right, so we've got an extra two coaches. So we've got an extra, what, 60 or 70 tonnes added to the... <laughs> to the weight. Lovely. We've just had another um, super chat donation. Bavarian Banshee said, You weren't expecting that, were you? No, actually. In fairness, no, I wasn't. Alright, so I'm, uh, I'm going to knock her back a bit further to 15% just to see how we manage with your steam. If you need me to yep. wind her back any further or if uh, anything like that, just let me know, okay? Yeah, we'll do. Because at the moment I'm pretty much just gunning it as fast as we can go. Yeah. Also, the quality is reasonable on my end, but just because it is a little bit blurry, um, it's worth mentioning that with a boiler water level, zeros, sixes and eights all look virtually identical. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, You're at zero, six, seven right now. Yeah, so I can't tell if it's six, seven, eight, seven or zero, seven. Ace Larkin, so all of us just said, let's set a new challenge, shall we? Let's see if we can get the green bar to 200%. I don't know Why if it, not? I don't know if it'll go up any further. Should I see if I can change the, uh, the target? Just because we've already smashed the target, shall I just see if I can uh, change it? Oh no, it doesn't matter actually because it's showing 109%, so it'll just keep going up above whatever your target is, so I'll probably just leave it like that. Someone called Anonymous has just donated, but it doesn't say the amount. It says, keep up the great work, lads. Christian Rasmussen has uh, just donated $50, says, very good cause. Best of luck, my friend. Thank you, Chris. Anonymous has donated £2. We've raised £550. It's a really good going. So 109% of our initial target. Plus we've got the Super Jack donations on top. So uh, I'm actually quite humbled that everyone in the community has come together like this. I wasn't expecting to have such a, quite a strong response to this charity live stream. I'll this... be perfectly honest, I wasn't either. No. <laughs> No, I, I really wasn't expecting this. Um, you know, I, I wanted to push it. You know, we've been doing these virtual footplates for quite a while. And I've always wanted to use this platform, you know, my channel and everything, to do something for charity. And I've talked to you before, haven't I, Sam, about um, when Over the Hills is eventually done. You know, that the proceeds from Over the Hills will all go to the Railway Children. Yep. But that's obviously quite a way in the future. Um so up until that point, I thought came up with the idea of doing a charity live stream, 
And since my uh, my family are on holiday this weekend, I thought it'd be a good time to uh, have a go when there's no screaming kids around. <laughs> but the screaming kids had like true footplate ambience. Oh yeah, you know, every uh, footplate engine crew has the screaming kids going, Daddy, I want toast! While you try to drive a, uh, a steam locomotive at 70 mile an hour. I just had a notification then, a donation notification, but I can't see what it was. So I'm assuming it's another donation for just giving, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. My connection's just gone a bit... Go, uh, it's caught up again. Yeah, I think it just dropped out for a moment there. And... Uh, 562 pounds. So we've raised 112% of our target. James W has just donated £10 plus £2.50 gift aid. Thank you very much, James. He says, brilliant cause, despite the dodgy traction on Eastern Metals. I hope it goes well and keep up the good work, Reese. You're a great guy. Thank you, James. You're very kind. I'd say add Sam to that as well, because Sam, uh, Sam has just finished a very long shift with uh, Bahamas Loco Society on a mainline rail tour in real life. And has come back home to rest by doing another rail tour on <laughs> simulated. So, Pretty much, yeah. You know, good good effort on your part, Sam. <laughs> well, it, it's something different, isn't it? I mean, we've been wanting to do a long run for a while, but this is, like, stupidly long. This is ridiculous. But it should be good long. fun. It should be good fun. But um, it's... Go on. It's, it's worth pointing out, the way we're... Dooley's virtual foot place is pretty mentally taxing because it requires a heck of a lot of concentration. Um, especially we're using keyboard controls on the F5 hood rather than just, you know, the F4 and, oh yeah, click to add water, click to add coal. Um, so it is, you know, it, it is, it's not just like we're sat here going, oh yeah, we'll just whack it and go. It, it does actually take quite a lot, especially with a firing to keep up with everything it can be especially you know what like i said earlier when i'm trying to drive and look at things on my phone huh <laughs> i'm driving yep. and using my phone that's a, a naughty naughty where's the officer real regulation we're breaking so many rules I today know. aren't we <laughs> yeah we, we we really are we've broken so, so many rules um, we're texting and driving texting. never do that and like, we're working over hours which you should also never do yeah should we just crack open a few beers while we're doing it as well? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, uh, all of us just said I've missed a few donations on the Just Giving page between Seth's Mammoth donation and Boss Man Games donation. Let me just double check that. I'm, I'm getting more whistles, but I can't decide if that's you whistling or if that's my stream notification because it's the same whistle. I think it's the stream notification because unless I keep accidentally catching space, which is possible... <laughs> Uh, 574 pounds, so 114 percent of the target. Let's see who's donated. Ba -da 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 -da. Scrolling, Kieran has donated 25 Australian dollars and said, "Thank you for the live stream. I've been a fan of your channel since the early 2010s. I'm happy I can finally give back in some way." I'm really. Do you know what? I'm actually feeling a bit emotional today about all this. I gotta be honest because I'm seeing all. All of these lives, all these comments, and all these um, donations being made. You know. Hey, Reese. Just, yeah. just a quick interjection. Go on. I finally caught up with a loco. We've got water and fire and pressure. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's only taken about twenty minutes. Well, in fairness, I am absolutely ragging it. <laughs> We've got a heavy train, and I am ragging it. And don't worry, guys. I have the Xbox controller plugged in, so we will go and do some line siding in a bit as well. Um, I'm just trying to get caught up with the live stream um, and all the comments and all the donations. Oliver Pocock's donation, just under Seth Barn Basnett's one, £32 plus £8 gift aid. He said, just topping you up to 350 before you start. Good luck today, lads. Have a good trip north. And he also donated 29 Australian dollars and said, good on you, Reese and Sam, for this mammoth effort. Here's, speaking of mammoth efforts, before we continue, I'm just going to save the game, just in case we do um, have any uh, problems. I was just going to say, that is something worth noting. I think 
if everyone watching, if you notice we haven't saved the game for a while, please just spam us with oh, like, yeah. save. I might, because in a minute, I might set a, a mobile phone notification or alarm or something every 20 yeah. minutes to press F2. Just because, with this being such a long route, um, it's going to tax Reese's computer quite a bit. It will. There is a possibility that it'll just drop off the face of the earth and I'll have to reset. I'm hoping not, but because it has been pretty reliable for the most part. Um, but you never know. It's better to have a, you know, a backup plan, isn't it? Yeah. Right, going through the donations again. Oh, uh, we've had a super chat, £10 from Caro Belga says a great cause and I've been following the channel for many years thoroughly enjoy the videos and it inspires me to play train sim keep up the good work Reese and Sam we're getting some really nice oh just uh, before we continue how, what's, this is Hatfield just, Hatfield just passing Hatfield station Hatfield 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 change here change from here Boston for and Wednesday <laughs> yep that's definitely what the station is Anonymous donated £10 11 hours ago. Bossman Games says, Wishing you all the best of luck with your journey. Enjoy the view from the inspection saloon. We'll, we'll go and have a look in the inspection saloon in a moment. Um, another Anonymous £10. Alex £10. DJ20. Lord Everton $50 says, I know you will reach the goal. The you question is whether we reach Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Will we reach Edinburgh? The thing is, we could just shut the live stream now, down now. We've made our target, so there's no need to uh, carry on, is there? <laughs> hey, yeah, we've done it, haven't we? I, I, I say we're sorry. Thank, Thank you, you for watching the stream, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm off back to bed. Work me up in a few hours. Oh, God, another bloody... Uh, I, I shouldn't swear. Stop swearing. Snorty. I just slapped myself in the face for swearing. Sorry. Uh, Big Joe Official says, Greatest ever train simmer. Doing what he does best. That's a very kind comment. Thank you. I don't regard myself. It's not about best. me. Are you in? Me? Yeah, he's not about you, sir. He's not all about me, is he? <laughs> well, now I'm now I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> he's donated ten Australian dollars. We're getting quite a lot of Australian donations today. I'm very impressed. Um, Michael says we're eight minutes behind the LNER service, which is not bad. To say that's allowed to go 125. Is he on that train now? Is he? Uh, no, I don't think he's on the train. I think he's just tracking it. Oh, he's tracking it. Um, just there... to give us a comparison to what the modern day service is doing. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. I mean, in fairness, we're there is going to be some difference because of the train, the way train simulators clock works, and the computer's internal clock. There's and the be... fact that we're only allowed to go 90, and they can do 125. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? I, I'm completely at a loss right now. Genuinely. What speed are we doing? Is that 86? 85.1. That's pretty good going. 85.1 and we're blowing off with uh, a reasonable amount of water and fire. I mean, we're at full reg. Reverse is 50 and I could play with the reverser, but I've been concentrating more on the comments and everything for the time being. To be honest, she seems to be holding quite nicely. I wasn't... Oh, we're going on a slight downhill gradient now, I think. So, um, let's just see. Oh, it says zero. Wellwyn North. We're just approaching Wellwyn. Nice. I tell you what, let's... Um, I'm just going to pause the game for a very quick moment. We'll get some... Uh, do some line siding very quickly, just while we're going over this beautiful viaduct. We'll get some yep. screenshots on the way as well. Look at that. A Great Western King heading up the East Coast Main Line. With a full rake of horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> a full rake of uh, Great Western Hawksworth coaches. I should mention about the Hawksworths. Again, I've got so many things to talk about this morning. Bossman Games recently released those um, coaches. However, obviously, with this being a mainline rail tour, we've got a brand new built uh, version of them. They've been built as per the old Hawkswift designs but with modern materials so and fire safety uh, standards so it's definitely steel bodied now and not wood they're all steel bodied not wood so if you see wood we just it's like uh, steel but wood veneer yeah we've, we've actually had someone go and paint all the metal to look like wood whack some more curling when we get out of this tunnel 
Rowan says I forgot his donation. Which one? I think the, I saw one on Just Giving from Rowan, and I also saw a super chat earlier, but I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I forgot to read that out, Rowan. There's been so many things in a short space of time. I've been a bit overloaded, so I do apologize uh, for that. Reptum926NYMR says, Great Western on the LNER. Something you don't see every day. Well, yeah, this is for two reasons. One is to show off the Great Western King from Caledonia Works. But also, there was uh, a king w was used on the LNER between London and Leeds, I believe, back in... Was it the... Woo, Leeds! When was it? It was the local exchange it was during trials. The, uh, it was during the local exchange trials, in which lots of locos from various companies ended up in places they shouldn't be. But then, you and know, like, you ended up with all sorts of interesting stuff, like a duchess which ran on the southern and had to run with a dub D tender because it didn't have enough water. <laughs> um, things like that. But also you had um, the king running on London North Eastern between Leeds and London, and apparently the LNER crews really liked them. And then the, uh, the A3s, I think, ran on the Great Western. Yeah, I'm not sure what locos were, went where on the exchange trials. I don't know if it were like one from the big four went to each of the big four. That's a good question. Um, It'd be interesting to find that one out. I thought yeah, it was if anyone just, in the chat fancies a bit of light research. I thought it was just one loco from each went to a different region. But, yeah, um, I don't know if they got, you know, I don't know if they, like, if the L and ER got a Great Western, an LMS and a Southern, or if they just got one of them. Well, see, the thing is as well is um, it wouldn't make sense to send them all to different because LMS locos ran on the Great Western quite regularly. Um, yeah. Great Western ran on the Southern quite regular, and LMS and L and ER, I'm pretty sure they would have had places where they would have merged as well. I think not so much up the main lines, but I think a lot of the branch lines, um, the L and ER and the LMS overlapped quite a bit. Ace Larkin says the only thing missing from this rail tour is uh, a whopping big class 47 on the back. That's true. He has got a point. We didn't put... But then for our virtual foot plates, we've never put a diesel on the back, have we? Well, it screws up the physics with it. This is the problem. I mean, if, if you could have a dead, you know, a dead 47. In fact, that might be worth looking into. We could probably convert it into a wagon. If we could make... You know, a class 47 logo just as a sort of body shell, but with no actual drivable physics or anything, so it essentially just acts as a coach. Oh, by the way, we're just passing Stevenage. Um, if you could make it just as a coach, then we could just stick one on the back just to look like it's um, helping. Yeah, although to be fair, um, not all rail tours run with a diesel on the back. No, not all of them. Um, I know I was with Bahamas, um, it's pretty rare that we actually have a diesel on the back now. What it normally does is it sort of leapfrogs ahead of us, so it'll like set off either in front of us or behind us and it'll either run in the path ahead or the path behind. Yeah, um, quite a lot of the rail tours I see from my local station, they, um, you know, they, the, in the section behind, there's another, another diesel following along. And I mean, as long as they're in a, you know, the section behind, there's no problem really, because then if they have to advance to come and rescue you, there's nothing in the way. Yeah. But then the problem comes is if uh, they get held at a signal and say like a, a DMU passes ahead between you and the diesel, then you're in trouble. Then. Oh, good idea. Dark DJ says there is a static 47 included with something. I think it's either Bournemouth to Southampton or something like that. That's actually not a bad shout, you know. I'll have to wow. double check. Oh, there's lots of um, notifications coming in again. We've we've just had a £300 donation. Are you, what? I believe on the Just Giving. Right, I'm, I'm just loading up the Just Giving page. Hang on. Real Advent has just said. Oh my god. Jaden Robinson, oh my god, 
he's just said, hey team, this is really inspiring to see. I'm a train driver in New Zealand, and I thought I'd play my part and give to the excellent cause. Us railway men and women must stick together. Godspeed, gents. And he's donated £300. That's Gu incredible. Guys. Oh. This has literally taken the words out of my mouth. I mean... That's unbelievable. Jaden, thank you ever so much. I mean, how much have we raised now? £887. Honestly, Reese, I thought we were going to get, like, maybe 80 quid or something like that. I, I thought... Like, I, th I, I was expecting, you know, it'll be quiet, it'll be steady, we'll get, you know, like, 20 viewers or summer, and then maybe more will trickle in later. And, you know, maybe we'll make 100 quid or something. It'll be a nice, steady job, but... This is absolutely incredible. I'm genuinely blown away. I didn't think there would be this much support. But, you know, since we're on the subject of donations, I'm just going to, you know, reiterate. If you want to make a donation to the Railway Children, the link is in the description below. Please head on to the Just Giving page and donate there because they receive 100% of the donation. Nothing comes to me. Um... It all goes straight to the to the railway children. Um, if you donate via the uh, super chat function on YouTube, which you have the ability to do, um, just be aware that the YouTube will take a cut of that, 20% I think it is. So after the live stream is finished, I'm going to make a donation of whatever we've raised. So I'll take, you know, let's say we raise £100 through the super chat. I'll, I'll pay £100 donation, plus I'll make my own donation as well. Um, Reese Jones has just donated £10, said keep up the good work guys, I'll be checking in through the, throughout the day to see how it's going. Yeah guys, um, for all of you watching, we're going to be here all day. In fact, I'm going to bring up the timetable to see um, what's going on, because this is going to be quite a marathon. It's going to be about, um, isn't it scheduled for about 8 hours, which means it's probably going to be about 9 or 10 hours. Probably. Well, no, that being said, I think we'll stick fairly close to the schedule, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me just check the timetable that I've wrote. You all right for a minute, uh, Sam? Yeah, yeah. So you're in 85, you've got 0.6 water in your boiler. Which should be going up. Yeah, she's doing fine. Okay, uh, according to the timetable that I wrote from the scenario um, editor, London King's Cross departure at 9 o'clock. Um, Peterborough, we're due to arrive at 10.01. So actually, another half an hour. And, yeah. Your reverse has crept way up. Oh, oh, oh. The lock isn't on. I only just noticed that as well. How did that happen? No idea. Probably me pressing E instead of R. Let me just... hang on. Yeah, the lock's on. Okay, we're good. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you spotted that, because we'd have been losing steam like crazy then. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, London... King's Cross departure at 9 o'clock. I think we left about 30 seconds late. But also, here's a good question for you guys. Is the train sim uh, scenario editor, what speed will it have used to work out these times? I would imagine line speed. Because if it's line speed, we're, we're probably stuffed, because I think we're on the fast line. Yeah, I would guess it would be line speed. So that's going to be, in certain places, 140 miles an hour, isn't it? I think it's 125. I think they can go up to 140, but I think 125 standard, although I am happy to be corrected on that. Because I, I thought there were some sections of the ECML that were you know, rigged for 140 running, and that's why Steam has trouble sometimes on the East Coast Main Line. But again, you know, I've, I've never actually ridden on the East Coast Main Line, so if anyone else has more information, please let me know. Um... Oh, we've just had another donation as well, but it's going to take a few moments for that to come through.
Oliver's just said to Michael, real advent, he's just said, can we have another follow-up article to say that we've smashed the charity gold pieces? I mean, he's, he's gonna... Oh, he's doing it. Michael's doing it. He's gonna do an article. <laughs> I mean, it, it'd be quite interesting to do a, um, you know, an article or even just like an update as we're going. Yeah. I would live try. article. Live article. Live reporting. I mean, I'm, I would try and do it myself, but it's quite difficult to do everything without shutting down train sim, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to do what I can on my phone. Completely yeah. breaking the law while I do it. Uh, but there we go. Rail Advent says it won't be line side as the LNE serv LNER services arrive to Edinburgh at 13.30, so it must be calculating some something else. Well, he said about a break. We do have a half an hour, and every water stop is about 20 minutes. Which 20 minutes is what we've got scheduled for a real-life water stop with a harness, so that's pretty accurate. I could, do you know what? I completely guessed it, and I was yeah. just I was just hoping for the best. But it seems that uh, it seems that I've got it right then. Yeah, we have um, as water stops are scheduled for twenty minutes. But if we get two hoses on tender, we can get it done in seven. Um, and that's for four thousand gallons. So I can't actually see the um, the banner at the top of the screen anymore, but there is supposed to be a little ticker bar that says who has donated what just under the green bar. Right. But I, I can't actually see it from the screen that I'm looking at. So hopefully someone in the chat could answer that for me. Um, Croston Junction, was Salmon Oil at Bahamas didn't win the Loco choice? Um, yes and no. I was... I wasn't happy with the Loco choice and the Vute choice because I thought taking some at Great Western up the East Coast mainline was just not right. Um, I would have much rather taken the King down to, uh, what were the... Down to Penzance sense, yeah. and done the Cornish Riviera Express with it. Um... But it, it wasn't so much that it wasn't Bahamas, it was just the local and route is just, uh, it's just not right. <laughs> I will vouch for Sam, he spent the last two or three weeks really fighting this. <laughs> He's yep. not, not happy about this loco choice at all, were you? It, it's, it's not the loco and it's not the route, it's the combination of both. Don't worry, Sam, next year when the BHBP route from London to Penzance is completely finished, we'll take the A3 Pacific down there. And um, <laughs> if uh, Chrissy's got anything to go for, we might actually end up having a nice new A3 Pacific to take. Well, yeah, looking at the updates on his channel, there is going to be a new A3 before long. Um, Epic Benastard says, it just says donate now to become the first donor. Right, okay, in that case, there is supposed to be one of the integrations with Just Giving hasn't worked then. Just below the green bar at the top of the screen, there is supposed to be a, a ticker tape that reads all the people who've donated and how much they've donated. But for some reason, it hasn't worked. So I can only apologise for that, ladies and gents. Um, so I'll just read them out periodically, um, you know, out from the website. Sa uh, Epic Bonastard says you're just going to have to cope. Mikado Star says, uh, oh my god. 33 miles whoa, whoa. to Peterborough. How many? 33. Oh, we're well on the way to Peterborough. Um, we've just reached a thousand pounds. Right, sir. Right. Two thousand uh, next, please, chaps. Two thousand, here we are. We're, I, I, we're, we're going to keep doubling. Genuinely, I'm. Again, at a loss. Let me find the Just Giving page. I'm just frantically bringing it up on my phone. Save in the game. £1,000 has been raised. £1,000, guys. 
We're just passing Sandy down and we've raised a thousand pounds. 200% of the target. That is unbelievable. So I'll just read out some of the latest donations then. So we got 26 donation support. Oh, Let me try that again. We've had 26 donations on Just Giving. Bavarian Banshee has donated £108 and a penny. He said, let's get to 300%. Let's go! Thank you ever so much, uh, Bavarian Banshee, for your very kind generosity there. Leah Bath Road has donated £5. And, yep, that's, that's all of the, the latest ones. I don't believe... And then we've got the Super Chats as well. I think I'm looking at the screen. I can see £41.43, and that's 16% of the £250 target that I set for the, um, the Super Chat donations. Just to reiterate, guys, if you do donate, I would recommend you donate via Just Giving directly. They receive 100% of your donation. If you donate via Super Chat, YouTube will keep, I think, 20%... Excuse me. Sorry, just having a bit of heartburn there. 20% of that money they will keep, so there is a slight loss. But what I'll do is I'll... Whatever we have earned through Super Chats, I'll make that as a donation myself. So I'll take the 20% cut myself, and then I'm going to make my own donation once it's all finished. Alright. Crawston Junction has asked if you've done any uh, Bahamas tours, Sam. Um, I've literally just got back from one. Um, <clears throat> it was, um, well, we went down to Faversham and back from London, Victoria. Sort of a nice little loop around Kent. Um, so as it happens, I'm in a pretty good state of mind for rail tours at the moment because I've got it all fresh in memory as to what happens and what we need to do. Which I'll be uh, telling Reese when we get to his water stops. Oh yeah. I've got a nice little surprise for you at our water stops as well, Sam. Is this the... Um... No, no, don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it. I want everybody it, to be surprised. It, is, is it what I'm thinking it is? Yes. And being uh... from Yorkshire, you look, you're going to love it. Uh... That should give you the biggest hint, I think. WSHR103 says that should be $30 higher, but my donation has been impending for 10 minutes and hasn't gone through yet. But I I'm sorry to see that. I don't know what's going on if it's pending. Just give it a little bit more time. Hopefully it will uh, sort itself out in the next few minutes. NZ Rail Highlight says no need to thank me. Just be ha just happy to contribute to the cause. It's a team effort. NZ um, Real Highlights is a very, very, very kind donation. Thank you very much, sir. And I know in your um, comment on Just Giving, you did say we train crews need to stick together. And I, I feel quite privileged that you consider me a train crew. Um, I'm not. I'm actually a marine pilot. That's my full-time job. I drive ships. And Sam is an engineer. So yeah. we're completely... Uh, well, I, I would say amateur... But Sam does actually volunteer for the Bahamas Loco Society, so he oh, is I'll go, involved. I'll go up technical here. Um, amateur and professional doesn't mean whether that, like you're good at it or not. That's just whether you do it for a living. So True. I wouldn't be a professional because I don't do it for my day job. Um, but yeah, I, I am involved. Um, speaking of, Great Westerner says, isn't Bahamas out today? Uh, yes, Bahamas is running to the West Somerset Railway today and Ooh. back to London again. Nice. Um, isn't she due at my way in the next few weeks? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> I think she was coming back up the Welsh marches at some point. I'll have to have, um, have, to have a check of his timetable. I'm pretty sure it's like at the end of August, so in the next couple of weeks. Because I'm going to go and see it. Oh, 26 miles. 25 miles. 25. Uh, 20, yeah, 25. 26. I didn't actually check how much water that we had when we left. 12, whatever it was, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was 120 triple O or something. Yeah, I can't see it too well. It's just sort of 
lines. I mean, I'm I'm only sort of very loosely looking at the tender and cold levels that we've got because they were so large at the beginning of the live stream. But I just wanted yeah. to get an idea of what they were before we set off. So we're just passing through St. Neots. <clears throat> We've been pretty much averaging about 85 mile an hour all the way. Which is not bad going really. It's comfortably within a speed limit. We haven't... I, we're not speeding. We're, we're approved up to 90 mile an hour so we can just keep an eye on that. We're, uh, we're keeping up really firing okay and Something I would like to say about this, which I'm really glad Chris has done, and I don't know if it's intentional or not, but you can see the firelight reflected in the cab window, and yeah. it makes firing so easy because I can just look at that and go, there's an orange glow, so the doors are open, so it's working. Something I'd like to say about the Caledonia Works King is um, it's one of the first locos to feature the new scripting from... I think is it locomotion 2.0 scripting and yep. the wheel slip both on this and the princess royal oh mate have you seen it wheel slip uh, I have it is out of this world how good that wheel slip is it's I think yeah. one of the first locos in train sim although, although I think the boss man games stuff does it as well but it's the first that I know of recently that wheel slips properly. Let's have a look through some more of the comments. Epic Benasta says, I can't believe we're 400 pounds away from 300%. NZ Rail Highlight says, in New Zealand Rail, our new union is the RMTU, the Rail Maritime Transport Union. Despite being on the seaside of things, it still counts for me anyway. Well, actually, here in the UK, we have a very similar thing, the RMT, which is the Rail and Maritime Transport Union. So it's essentially the same thing, but the UK version. Um, I'm not actually a member of that because I'm a member of the UK MPA, which is the Marine Pilot Association. And that's just the professional body that I'm a member of. Just trying to get out of it here, aren't you, Reese? I know. Um... Real Advent says, I have a screenshot of the tender coal and water. Oh, yeah, he's oh, dropped that in his group chat. Um, group chat. It was 120,000 gallons. And... Uh, 2,240,000 pounds? pounds? Yeah, 2,240,000 pounds of coal. Right, so that was our starting coal and water. So what we'll do is every time we stop, whether it be a station or or a water stop, we'll we'll calculate. We'll take a note of how much we've got, and then we'll um, calculate how much we've consumed. Yeah. I mean, I've been injecting almost continuously um, with the exhaust injector. But this is quite a flat part of the route. I mean, most of the East Coast Main Line is pretty flat, but... Um, I'm not going to say that. You've just described the whole route. <laughs> no, I think there is the bit up between Berwick and Edinburgh. There is a few gradients there, I believe. Oh great, just at the end of the day when we were all fresh and oh, yeah, full of energy and paying <laughs> attention and... When we were absolutely exhausted and ready to give up, that's when we gotta fight the most, the hardest. I that said this was gonna be right. a shift. I said this was gonna be a shift. And guess what, Sam? Yeah. I've messed up with booking my days off again. Aye. I booked yesterday and today off, but Book. the tides, um, it means I'm gonna be next on turn to do a, a job. And so when we're going to finish this live stream about five or six o'clock tonight. Then I'm going to have to go straight to bed because I'll be waking up at like 10 or 11 p.m. to go to work. <laughs> so I have only just realised that. Uh, good job, Reese. 
Oh, we just had another um, super chat. Five dollars from two five five four four Shadow says, saying hello from the United States, where it is currently five a.m. in the morning. Been watching for a long time, catching this for the first time. Thank you ever so much for the donation. Uh, just a question: Which part of the U.S. are you living in? Because um, I've only just thought since we started the live stream, it's you know in the U.S. It's going to be quite early in the morning. So as the day goes on, we may start to see the American fans coming out. We'll, we'll be swapping the Australians for the Americans. Yeah, we're getting all the, the Australian donations, and then we'll be getting the Americans. So Which might... is an interesting point, actually, because this is the first time we'll be doing a stream where everyone around the world will be able to watch it live. Yeah. At one point or another. Southern Steam Spotter says it's my first time watching the Virtual Rail Tours live, and I'm glad it's happening for a good cause. It does seem that we've had a really good, uh, a really good response to this live stream today. I, a lot better than I was uh, expecting. George D. I'd agree. One nine four eight says I may donate later. Apologies, it will not be a large amount. Hey, anything you give is is better than nothing. If you can afford, no matter what it is. If you can give something, it all goes to the railway children. Man. That's why we're here today. Let's see. Oh, we're on a gradient now, Sam. How are we? Frankly, I've not really paid attention to the gradients. It's not really affected me. Crawston Junction says the big question is, will we derail at Waverley? Well, I hope not. You know what it'll be, don't you? Reese will get to it, we'll get to Edinburgh and we'll be like, yeah, we've done it, we've done a really good job. And then we'll get like a 300 quid super chat or something for crashing into the buffers. <laughs> I think that would be worth it, wouldn't it? At the very end. I we've had it before. I certainly don't plan on um, derailing. I don't want to derail, I don't want to... I want to succeed with this one today. Right, so we're an hour, almost an hour into our journey. It's 9.48 in the game. <laughs> so we're what? How? One... About a tenth about of the way eight. there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hang on. D, George D1948 says, Pre-warning, shy of Grantham, we'll get Stoke Bank and Tunnel. Well, it's not really a bank, though. It's the East Coast Main Line. It's all flat. Like, your idea of a hill is like a 1 in 100. And then you go on Great Western and LMS and you've got a 1 in 40. Yeah. You'll get good speed on Stoke Bank. They managed to get 55008 up to 125 down there. I, uh, that's a Deltic, isn't it? Yeah, 55008 is a Deltic. I don't know which one, but it's... Uh, um, Sam so, has a history of derailing at York, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yeah, he's referring to like, um, the stream we did with the singles where oh, we're like, yeah. on a to York and there's all the point work and I had my route set and then <laughs> Trainsim switched about five other points on me. I think I just managed to avoid one of them and then it caught me on another as we were like, catching up again. Also, Reese, you know I got my um, emergency bag of jelly beans. Oh yeah. For like when I'm low on energy. I bet you've already eaten them, haven't you? Yeah, I've just cracked them open now. Yeah. I was about to pack, crack open a bag of crisps or um, some biscuits or something. I, I do want to go get a drink in a minute, but I might wait until we're um, at Peterborough to do that. NZ Rail Highlight says, is that a challenge I hear? Donate tons at <laughs> Edinburgh in an attempt to derail the train, the ultimate stitch up. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Reach the very end. Someone donates like another massive donation we have to derail. Now I will say is I don't mind derailing once the stream is over, like, you know, once we've made it to Edinburgh and then crashing into something then. But I really, really, really want to succeed today. It's about eleven miles to Peterborough. Yeah. I've only At just which point you're going to have to be used to it. We got the blower on. I haven't really done a lot. I've just well, put it, it it's, in full. It's only ready. cracked open, Reese. Yeah. I always leave it cracked open a little bit. Yeah. 
I haven't really done a lot. I put the reg through the roof and I've just leaned out the cab window for the rest of the time. I know. And I'm supposed to be watching for signals, but I've been reading the chat and reading the donations, so... Well, the signals are on the wrong side anyway. So we wouldn't see the signals anyway. That's what AWS is for, right? Yeah, exactly. Which this loco is definitely fitted with, right? Um, Kind of. <laughs> We've got AWS of sorts. I mean, technically it will ring a bell, so, you know, it's close enough. Oliver says, I heard Sam say emergency baggage jelly beans and was very confused. <laughs> <clears throat> is that saying 98 on the water level? It is, yeah. So we're about to start priming. Get that knocked speed? down. What's the speed limit, by the way? 125 here. Approaching Connington. Jordan's Railway Simulator says the signals are actually on the correct side. Michael just posted on Rail Advent about the target being smashed. Yep. Ajax Engine Company says looks at the ATC and goes, eh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'd be right. Yeah, it'd be alright. What's the company that's in a bit of hot water right now on the on the West Highland line? Is it West Coast? That's not AWS though. No, 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 they got different problems, but they are the company, aren't they? West Coast yeah. Rail Tours? Or West Coast it's, Rail? Um, it's basically um, door maintenance because they don't have central door locking. Oh no, I was going to say I'm, uh, uh, I'm a West Coast insane. driver and just like AWS, nah, we got it, kind of. <laughs> politics. I, <laughs> I, I, I can't get involved with any politics as a BLS representative. No. Um, well, you're a BLS representative on a Great Western number 6024, so you're, <laughs> you're representing the wrong society on the wrong loco. So, yeah. Eh, close enough again. You're happy, right? Epic Bernastard says, I think you've missed about two or three donors on the Just Giving page. Right, let's go have a look. Yeah, but I probably have because I haven't, like, been looking at it mega closely. Uh, let's have a look. 220%, we've raised 1,105. 29 donations, let's have a look. Chris Murasmus, I must say, I did say to myself, if we hit 1,000 then I would give 10% of the total. Well, I am a man of my word. I am super proud of both of you, and in less than one hour. And he has donated £100. Chris, That's fantastic. thank you very much for that. That's, that is so generous of you. So generous of all of you. Rowan Griffiths said over 1000 Woohoo, you two should be very proud of yourselves. That's £2. Jay Gearing has donated £2.50 with 63 pence gift aid. Nearly double the target before Peterborough, and that is incredible work. Keep it up. Uh, Bavarian Banshee, £108 and a penny. Says, let's get the 300%. Let's go. Uh, Leah Barthrode has donated £5. Jaden Robinson, £300 from New Zealand. Hey, team. This is really inspiring to see. I'm a train driver in New Zealand, and I thought I'd play my part and give to the excellent cause. Us railway men and women must stick together. Godspeed, gents. Seth Basnett has said, make sure you drop a few coaches before you reach the Woodhead Tunnel. They'll never know. Okay, I think that's a reference to one of the videos that we did many years ago. We're doing this one properly, though. We've got first class right at the back of the train in the curtain, so we can't drop out. The people that have donated the most are actually sitting in the uh, inspection saloon right now. Oh, how far away from Peterborough are we? Five miles. About I'll, five miles. I got a few minutes then before I get Yeah, up. I keep checking it. Just keep, we are, keep checking because I'm reading through the donations and I might have to drop both anchors and put the emergency we, brakes on. We are approximately one Keithley and Worth Valley Railway away from Peterborough. Right, there we go then. Sam Gleave has donated five pounds, says, Well done, Reese. We all support you in this amazing charity. Seth Basnick, glory to the Great Western Railway. Oh, that's probably the best donation of the day. Just because of the Great Western, isn't it? Kieran says, thank you for the live stream. I've been a fan of yours since the early 2000s and 10s. I'm happy to give any way 
finally give back in some way 25 Australian dollars James Wright brilliant cause and despite the dodgy traction <laughs> spits patriotically in Great Western on Eastern Greece. Metals yeah okay I'm gonna carry on sorry guys I'll read oh British team has donated 4.99 on Super Chat but now it's time to drop both anchors right <laughs> let me just um... I'm shutting off alright let's open the ejector right the fire's okay, the water's okay, I'm not going to touch out until we've stopped now. Should we, um, should I shut the dampers? But actually, you know what, since we've shut off, let's, um, and since we're blowing off. Yeah, we'll get the dampers shut. British Steam donated 4 99 says at work today so I can't stay all day, I hope your stream goes well. Thank you so much, British Steam's very kind of you. George D194 it says I'm guessing if us in the chat are in standard class then we can't window hang. Um No that's... window hanging on a rail tour. Not even if you support crew or staff. No, unfortunately it's been banned you now on the main line, hasn't it? And for good reason to be honest. Unfortunately um, it's, it's been something that's coming for a long time, I think. Yeah. Those days and are over. It's only gonna get stricter as well. How far from thing are we? Right. One point nine. We've got a full what is it? We've got a full boiler. I'm happy with fire. Look as yours until we stop. I just realised I gotta keep the reg cracked slightly open and I <laughs> You don't have to. Yeah, for the oil. Although I don't think it'll kill the engine, you know, with this the Caledonia Works one, but uh, I will just crack it slightly, and I will also open the cylinder cocks. Oh, we're bouncing around a bit. Yeah, you need Probably to slow down a lot. Okay, I didn't realise we were quite that close. So you know when I said Reese the engine, George, you need to stop. <laughs> I completely haven't just dropped both anchors. Okay, cute. <laughs> 30 mile there speed limit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's fine, it's fine. He says. Completely cacking myself. You know, we've got first class passengers, Reese. Yeah, they're all you know, they're all shoved against the bulkhead at the forward end of the coach now, but that's fine. We're all covered in gravy now. Every, we spill all the gravy, but it's alright because Peterborough is the stop where we've got all the spare gravy. Let's lean, lean out the other side just for a moment. Oh, here we go. Thir ever so slightly speeding over those points, but it's within the 10% mm. allowable limit. Which I completely allowable just, limit I just, I just made up. So, you don't lose virtual footplates. We like to do them properly and realistically. I just realised I got the speed wrong. I read the speed wrong. It was actually 25, not 35. I was just waiting for you to come up with some comment then. <laughs> so we're just rolling through the station. Wait a minute. Oh crap! It's the platform. I thought we were going into. Ah! Stop! 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 <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> Well, I've had a complete brain fart there. Reese, we've got to start again now. Oh, we've got to start all the way from King's Cross now. Right, okay. Well, this has gone well. I've overshot by three coaches. So, that'll be a spad and that'll be job stopped. Pretty much. Well, yeah. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the donations, everyone. Um, we're going to spend the rest of the day sat here waiting for the um, rail accident investigation branch to turn up. It's all right. And we'll see you all next time. They're going to drug and alcohol test the driver. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fine. Yeah, I will fail. All the crack cocaine in my uh, system. I, I, I'm I, sorry, guys. I had a complete brain fart there, and I'll explain why. For some reason in that moment, on the approach to Peterborough, I completely forgot that it was a station stop. I thought we were going into the yard. 
I thought it was a water stop. Right, so that's our first... Um, well, I mean, we did technically stop at Peterborough. It's not, Mostly. It's not the worst... Um, I will take a screenshot just while we're here. It's not the Yeah, that's worst good. The RAIB will want the evidence. Yeah. We are technically in the platform. You know? <laughs> One minor misdemeanor. I'm putting it as a minor on my uh, thing anyway. <laughs> so while we're stopped, we're booked for five minutes here. Let's just... Um, hang on. Is it F4? How do you see the thing? Oh. F1. We're due out at um, five minutes past. Is it F1, is it? Mm-hmm. You can't set back either because you'd have to run up the signalman and get permission to set back. That's okay. I'll just put her in full forward. We'll put the handbrake on. And I'll release the brake just while we're sat here. So I'm just going to run to the Lewis sec, all right? Um, yep. So you, you do what you need to do for a moment. Uh, I'll just go grab a refill of my drink and run to the toilet while we're stopped. And yes, we will save. Well, at least we haven't inconvenienced our first class passengers. Nothing like a bit of sparkling grape juice. So now we've got a lovely um, past his eye view of this person. Yum, 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 yum. Got the gravy jugs there. Sam, you there? Yep. 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 We're, we're all good here. Oh, you're having a look in the at the pasties, are you? There's no sausage Sausy. rolls left. They're all gone. Sausage rolls. I was going to say, I just went to the kitchen and got myself a drink and a piece of pizza. <laughs> what do you want, dog? See, it's, uh, I've gone and got pizza, and now my dog is after me. <laughs> Your dog is very wise. Um, would you off at five past ten? Yeah. So we'll uh, get moving then. Right. Right. He's ready. Thirty miles. Oh yeah. Just while we're um, heading off, very quickly, I want to show this to you. Well, first of all. Nice screeny. I'm just going to show you the wheel slip. Just, uh, just to show you, okay? Yes, because, you know, we're already in trouble.
I am doing this on purpose. I just really love that that effect. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese's level of professionalism as a driver. I know. I am <laughs> deliberately damaging the lurker because it's fun. <laughs> but isn't that cool? Intro that is simulated. That just looks so good. I think Guion spent a very long time working on that. Yes, he has. Like, literally years working on it. Oh, you, you need a bit of rock on. No, I'm getting there with it, I'm getting there. Bavarian Banshees just donated $5 and said Peterborough is where I get off. Cheers, lads. Great being able to watch the stream so far. A huge thank you to all the donators and viewers for being here. Thank you for joining us, Bavarian Banshee. Your donations are very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah, Sam, my job's done now. I've just put the regulator through the roof. Reverse it to about 15%. I can walk off and go down the train. Can't leave it at 50. You'll have to notch it back till you get a 15. When you're at 15%, then you can ditch it. Okay. Santa Fe War Bonnet Production. Something tells me he's American. It says, Give it the beans! Oh, I love that sound. Steam locomotive sound best at about 40 mile an hour, in my opinion. Definitely. Problem is, when you've got them at heritage speed, it's just a little bit too slow, but when you get up to, like, full mainline running speed, you've not got a nice chuff you've just got noise yeah, like it's, it's going like quick it's just continuous you need them at about 40 mile an hour where you just get a nice quick bark right 50 mile an hour let's notch you back a bit further give the driver beans the beans don't give the driver beans I'm stuck with him and it's very flammable. Toxic gas in the footplate. You'll have to just point towards the um, point towards the fire road door. We'll save me shoveling a bit. <laughs> yes, exactly. Real Advent says Heinz beans or any old beans. Let me tell you something, uh, Mike. The beans and sausages you get in Aldi, they are hellfire. Seriously. 30 miles to, uh, 28 to Grantham. That's his first water stop, right? It is, yeah. Right. You uh, going to do it properly this time? I'm going to try. Flashing green? Hang on, what does flashing green mean? You're the driver, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. What does the next signal say? Green. No, nope, flashing green. Flashing green. I can't remember what flashing green means. Um. Well, we'll find out. What's the speed limit? Well, we'll find oh. out. Oh, good lord. I mean, if it was the signal, if it was to go over the points... They would be the th the feathers would be set, wouldn't they? Should be, but. But honestly, I can't remember what the flashing one means. See, the points aren't set there, so it's it is okay to proceed. Flash green is speed up, is it? Not your sure. back green. Okie dokie. Is that the, what, the signalman's way of telling us, come on, you're not going fast enough? It actually might be because we are on the fast line. I think we're supposed to really be on the slow line, which is over on the left. 
so that could very well be the uh, the signal and telling us we're not going fast enough. Oh, Rail Admin just said if flashing green means you're okay to do one two five. Well, there's absolutely no chance of that. So uh, there we go. I, I just I love Reese's logic where hmm green means go, so a flashing green must mean go more. <laughs> That would actually be a really good, like, uh, reel. Basically like Percy in the signal, but... Well, green means yeah. go, so green flashing must mean go f go more green. Jot that down, someone will do that like, as a sketch. Oh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> we, just, we just zoomed in. You're, it's you messing around with it, is it? There we are. Making me all paranoid that my computer's about to... Uh, do something. <laughs> MRHST donated two pound and said hello. I mean hello, thank you very much for your donation. You could have come up with a bit more of a comment there. Not that I'm having a go. Any donation is welcome today. Oh yeah, something else to mention. Michael's just reminded me of it in the um, in the chat. Give away. So um, one thing to mention for all the people watching the live stream today is that Michael of Rail Advent has actually got a bunch of codes, and we were going to do a giveaway thing in the chat. So, like, the first people to use the code on the, the Rail Advent website get a free calendar, I think it is. Um, which is that how we were going to do it, or were we going to do a, um, like, a sailor code word and get picked at random type thing? Well, that's what we're going to have to do, because I was trying to work out how to do it through the chat bot, but obviously I, I just didn't have enough time to get it set up before the live stream. <laughs> so, we'll have to kind of just make it up as we go a little bit. Well, fortunately we have got Michael in the chat, so perhaps he would be um, able to help us with that. MRHST has donated another £2 and said, How a whore has the stream been? Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. We've absolutely smashed our target. It um, was going good until we screwed up as water stop, well, as passenger stop. Yeah, I did uh, I did make a bit of a hash of our last stop at Peterborough. You know, um, you, you really can't afford to muck up the water stop, right? Yeah, I know. Ace Larkin says green means go <laughs> and red means stop, so green is still must mean go weesh. That'd be you a can good do a wish on that. Weesh! <laughs> Michael says he's going to have a think of how we can do it. SJB Media 1996 has donated. DKK50, which I think is Danish Krona. He says, please stay on the rails. You're not pulling the kipper today. Looking <laughs> forward to the Over the Hills book when you complete it. That's great. More pressure to do something. <laughs> to more to finish something. To be fair, it's probably a good thing because it's only by having the pressure on us that we'll actually do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... This year, I'm going to do another Christmas update video. Uh, Christmas but we haven't time done anything. Yes, we have. Work has worked on the... Um, continued on the uh, scripts and getting the ideas finalised. I have actually started writing the scripts. And a huge amount of work has gone into the commissions. That is true. We have done a lot of commissions. The commission work has been what most work has been concentrating on this year. You know, and it's a huge investment as well. I've spent probably about two or three thousand pounds this year on commissions. Yep. You know, so it is quite hefty. 
So when people say it hasn't, been, you know, nothing's been done, it has. It's just not not necessarily stuff that's like really visible, you know. So I'm going to do a, another update video for Over the Hills at Christmas to let everyone know what's happened this year. Um, and this was the bit that I wasn't looking forward to very much was this part of making Over the Hills is getting all these commissions together because I knew it was going to be expensive and complicated as well. It's not just this, but when we've got them all, we've then got to do all the route building to actually add them into everything. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's have a quick look at uh, just giving. Crosstown Junction says, I like the 77C low loader commission. Yeah, that was uh, a good one. Quite important for Over the Hills, actually, because it's gone from being just a commission of a scenic object in Over the Hills. And, of course, it became 77C because uh, Andy, Tom and Chris put in money towards it so they can use it in their series as well. Um, but it became a part of the story, you know, and in a way, it's actually worked out really nicely because we were, just, yeah, as, as some of you remember, you know, when Over the Hill started, Mr. Davis is the guy who comes along and said, right, we're going to set up as a company and do this, do that. And he puts his own money in. Well, essentially doing this commission of the low loaders has given us a reason for him to have this money because it's all very well going, oh, here's a guy and he just happens to have loads of money. But... Um, we, See, kind of, we kind of felt, well, we should actually give him a reason to have this money as well, shouldn't we? I feel like this is my biggest influence on Overla Hills. You were quite like instrumental. Not, not that one specific example, but like basically what I've done with helping me with Overla Hills is say, uh, that's great, but why does that happen? Or, that's great, but how does that happen? And I mean, it's, it's, it's involved in a complete change in thinking about how things turn up so one of the things with over the hills before was oh and this is where i fell down before was the original i'm talking back in 2009 when i made it here's like 10 engines that would just mysteriously turn up out of nowhere with no reason for them to be and before you know it you have a railway which has like 25 or 35 steam locomotive characters and none of them really had a reason to be there or anything like that so going forward and and sam's logic as well was okay you get let's say you get a pannier tank for the railway one how do you get the pannier tank where do you get it from how do you get it to the railway and what condition is it in and how much do you pay for it you know and who actually buys it so for example in over the hills it's going to be bought by a group of relative youngsters isn't it yep and I mean, there's a lot of historical background to that because the Great Western Society and uh, other heritage railways, essentially they were kids. You know, yeah. the, the Great Western Society, it was literally like 15 and 16 year old kids. They bought a 1400 uh, auto tank and British Railways delivered it and they were just chuffing up and down a side and going, okay, now what do we do? And so it has a real historical background and a basis for that happening. MRHST says, when will Over the Hills be coming out? That's uh, uh, how long's oh. a piece of string. You know, it's pretty much... I, I don't like giving this as an answer because I hate it. But when it's ready, yes. But also, there's going to be a stream, uh, an upload schedule. There's going to be loads of planning. There's going to be, you know, advertising campaigns. We're going to build right up to it. 
it's going to come out basically like a professional series will it'll be weekly releases of the episodes and you know all that kind of stuff but that means we want to get it the entire thing finished before we do that um and frankly because it's just been worked on in a spare time it's an incredibly unpredictable work schedule yeah um you know sometimes we'll get loads or other times we'll you know get Nothing very little done yeah but when we do have the the chat sessions where we do talk about it generally we can get quite a lot done in a short space of time Albin Con Cronblad, if I've pronounced that right, says, are we getting closer to it or are we getting further away? I think we're getting, you know, every day we're getting closer. Um, and, it, you know, it's, it's, it is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, it's not something I can say, oh, it'll be here next year. Because it's, it's gone from being a project that I'm working on to my life's project, I think. It's the biggest thing I've ever attempted. So I want it to be perfect, or as perfect as it can be. There is loads of money and time and effort being spent on building the commissions with different developers. So Dane at Fourth Games has been working really hard on them. Um, Jordan at Jordan's Railway Simulator has been working hard on them. Um, <clears throat> There's, there's a lot going on in the background. It's not static by any means. It's just I'm not I'm not always the best at actually showing you guys. And certainly, you know, there's basically patrons. So I haven't actually said anything about my patron campaign. The latest updates about Over the Hills, if you sign up to the patron campaign, donate about £1 a month is the minimum, I think, for patron. And you can be assigned the patron role on Discord and you keep it as up to date as you can on Over the Hills development. Um, but also you're helping to support the channel by providing money towards those commissions. D9009 Alcidian, I can't pronounce that properly, says, Will you spend some money on advertising Over the Hills and promote? try to promote the series and gain more attention? Definitely. When the time comes, there's going to be quite a large um, uh, advertising campaign. It's going to be a series of adverts. I will probably, at that point, start doing things like paid advertising on Facebook to build up interest. Um, but obviously, that will be much closer to the time. Because really, I want to push it to be as big a release as I can. Um, it will be the biggest thing I ever make on this channel. Without a shadow of a doubt. So, not really much else to say about that. Crawston Junction says, "Wait, is Fourth Game Seven F commissioned by you?" No, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't commissioned by me. However, I have asked Dean if I can have some variants of the Seven F, which include a scrapyard version with no conrods, no cab controls, in pretty bad condition. And I have offered to pay for that as well. And I need to finalise that with Ding. But, um, yeah, that's going to be something which comes up. Because one thing about Over the Hills I've always wanted to change is it's always used the default um, Kuju original 2006 7 and F. Which, by today's standards, when you look at this logo, the King, it just really looks old. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you've got that... It's stuff like not having a 3D cab because it's just a texture. Um, yeah, it, it, it's an old outdated model and it does need replacing. And we actually had a lot of discussions, didn't we, when we were planning it about, well, should he even stay as a 7F? Because we could use something, you know, that's much nicer. Um, we did in consider, terms of model quality. We did consider the uh, um, the Great Western ROD 280, didn't we? The yep. 30XX class. And I mean, it kind of would have made sense to do that. Um, but the problem was, we did um, a couple of years ago now, we did a poll on Facebook about should Die remain a 7F? And 
I, I think the fans' reaction really was overwhelming. That Dice yep. should be a 7F. You know, an awful lot of people commented and said they wouldn't even watch it if Dai wasn't a 7F anymore. So that's how much love the character has, isn't it? And that's quite a testament to his character. I'd say so. And it was never, you know, oh, we're just going into a tunnel, so it might be loud for a second, all right? Yeah, we're well, not far off ground for me either. Yeah, I'll have to think about shutting down. Ah, my eardrum. So, five miles to Grantham. So we will have to think about slowing down. I'm going to try and do a better job of slowing down and stopping this time. Right, well in that case, Reese. Blower is off. Yeah, Dampers yeah. Dampers are shut. Just bear in mind we We're not in injecting or anything. Fire We're is yours. Fire? Fire. Loco. Loco. I'm tired. <laughs> Leave me alone. So yeah, we got four miles, so I'm going to just shut off steam now. Leave the regulator cracked open slightly. Open the drain cocks. Because I don't want to overshoot it again like I did before. And you also don't want to slam on the brakes. You want to come to a nice, gentle, controlled stop. SJB Media 1996 says... Good thing he wasn't scrapped, he would have died hard. I. Oh, that is a good one. That is a real good one. In fact, that's good for a real. Well, it is interesting you mention it because um, it is one of the things we will be showing in Overla Hills is that not all locomotives were saved. There's quite a lot that slipped through the net. And. Overla Hills is not going to be completely cheery and happy um, yeah, yeah, there's not by be, a long shot there's going to there's be, there's gonna be some tears. real good yeah there's going to be some real gut wrenching tear jerking moments in it um, but we want to show that you know heritage railways didn't just come from nowhere there was an awful lot that went into them and there was an awful lot that wanted to be saved and just couldn't be um, so that is something that we will be featuring in Overla Hills. So, be careful which characters you get attached to. <laughs> yeah, that's a good... Uh... Oh, Fourth Games is watching, he said, I, I best get the new 7F finished before you start filming. Yeah, Dane, <laughs> honestly, don't panic because it's a long time yet until I start filming, so, uh, you know, don't worry. And Dane, we need to have a good chat about... Um, I men I don't know if you heard, heard just now when I said about the... Uh, I'd like to speak to you about the variants of the 7F for filming. Oh. Okay, now we've. This is the point where we are going to be going over sets of points. So remember when we were approaching Peterborough and I was looking out the left side of the cab? This is yep. This is why, because I was like, I think I'm going to go over some points now. I will shut the regulator yeah. for a moment. I'll let you concentrate on what you're doing and while you're focusing on stopping I'll just address some in chat. So um Jidza has said, yeah, like Bluebell wanted to save um an LBS CRK class, but it was uh save her or save the railway. That's the kind of thing we'll be looking at, like the financial decisions behind it. Um and you know, the logistical decisions behind it. Because it was a time where um particularly in the setting of Overhills in Wales, you know, alt collieries were closing down and people were out of work and it was a real struggle. Um, so that's something that we'll be looking at and going, well, they want to save this railway and they want to save all these engines and rolling stock, but how are they going to afford it? Because there's an awful lot of it's, social it's, um, aspects behind it as well, isn't there? Yeah. Um, so it is. It is going to cost a lot of um, a lot of money to buy a steam engine. I totally um, didn't just go over that set of points at twenty six mile an hour. 
It's all right. You were only speeding by one mile an hour. Sorry, we're already in enough hot water with the OOR. It's fine. If we set off before anyone gets a chance to get a picture, there's no evidence, yeah, so it's exactly. all good. Yeah, exactly. It's not like this is being live-streamed or anything. <laughs> live-streamed? <laughs> I think the speed limit here is 15, so I'm only doing... Oh, it's... Actually, it's 12. Sorry, 25. So I could... Open her up a bit. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's that up ahead? Yeah. It's exactly what I said you'd like. No, I, I love the fact that you just play into every stereotype about Yorkshire, that you spot a cup of tea from a mile off and you go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I, I need is, the camera. I need the camera because we're, we're approaching. Sorry. Um, the funny thing is, I don't even drink tea. You don't drink tea? I mean, on very rare occasion I drink tea, but not often. Also, aren't you supposed to stop next to that? The tender's got to be aligned with the guy drinking tea. Which is... Oh, is, is it? I think I might have overshot just a little bit. Wait, 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 wait Reese, Reese. Oh, oh you get look. Up, look, Reese. I was literally about 10 metres too far forward. I can't believe you just did that. You, you've just got yourself killed. What did I do? You just ran straight off the footplate. That's what you do, right? You just look at no. the horizon and step off. <laughs> you've got to stop. You've got a stable engine. So, you know, we've got to make sure the engine's not going anywhere. Make sure the brake's hard on. Then when it's uh, stationed and brake's on, driver's happy. Then we get permission to disembark. But you've got to stick your high-vis vest on. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll just put her in... In zero, in neutral. Right, and now, now we've got his engine sorted, and we've got his high vis on. Now we can hop off the footplate. I was a bit too excited about getting to that T. Right. And so now we've hopped off. We go to the support coach, and we tell them that they can get off. And then they'll start uh, prodding around with the coal and filling it up with water. Right, Peterborough. We've got. One one seven six oh six G and two two three seven oh one eight coal. So once we press the T button, let's see if it actually does anything. I have a feeling it isn't going to work. It doesn't help that I think I'm slightly too far forward as well. It also doesn't help that there's no sign of any watermark on your... Um... Well, no, I, I put it um, here in line with the guy. No, but I mean, if you look on the F4 hood, it's not on there. I did. See, there's the water tanker itself, but it should be there. Let's... Hang on, let me just press not... Yeah, see that... We're on the wrong track! I knew it. I bloody knew it. I've, I've set the scenario up wrong. <clears throat> so there's the water point. We're actually on the wrong track, but that's where the scenario took us. So, so, so we've... we've uh, we're, we're just... Like I said earlier, we're just simulating it anyway, so... We've done so well. So far, Reese, <laughs> you have mucked up every single stop I've mucked up two out of two stops right this is excellent well anyway we stop we are stationary here for 20 minutes 20 or 10 20 isn't it hang on I gotta check the timetable on Facebook I thought you'd said it were 10 for um, 10 for all at stops and it were 20 for the curling stop no I'm just double checking the timetable Right, Grand Firm arrive at 10.33, what time did we, uh, more or less, and depart 10.53. Alright, so we've got about 10 minutes. 53. Oh, we've got longer than that. Yeah, it's 20 minutes for the water stops. Right, so since we're stopped, let's have a, we'll, we'll have a bit of a chat and then we can also... 
you know, I'm going to make a cup of coffee and... Uh, yeah, right. well, while um, Rudy... You know, I'll get the kettle on. Let's have a, let's have a brew. I think well, there's yeah. teacups. Yeah, there's your, uh, your white teacups. So, support crew is going to start jiggling around with fire a bit. Start um, pulling oak coal down from tender, making sure it's all at the front of a tender so the firemen can get access to it. So, uh, yeah, while, while you're doing we'll that, have a, oh, go on. have a wander around the outside and uh, check the boxes. Check on all the, uh, check the heat of all the axles and you know, all the bearings, make sure no it's overheating, make sure everything's got good amounts of oil in it, um, top up as required. Uh, sort out the ash pan, give like a jiggle out, get rid of any excess ash. You know, all that kind of stuff while we're sat here being serviced. Jordan says it's lucky that you had a large capacity on the tender. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, apart from my own incompetence, that was also just in case train sim did anything dodgy. Um, I didn't actually account for my incompetence at root editing or uh, scenario I creation. Well, Sam reckons he did, but there we go. It's a good thing we got enough water that you know we can simulate the stops. So we don't actually, you know, because if you think about it, if we didn't have excessive water in the tender, we might not make the rest of the journey now. Yep. In fact, I'm just going to work out how much water we actually used between Kings Cross and Peterborough. Let's have a look. So we started off with one twenty. Thousand so minus one one seven six so six, so we use two thousand three hundred and ninety four gallons. Two thousand some or other. And then let's. I completely missed that. Two thousand three hundred ninety four gallons. So we actually use half of what. It's a four thousand gallon tender. So we actually use half of our water. So yep. and because we, we didn't do much blowing off either. Well, we did a little bit, but not excessive. Mm. But if we were to carry on now to the next water stop, which is York, because it's only a 4,000-gallon tender, because we've messed up this stop with the scenario editor. We? Me. We? Fine, I'll take responsibility then. <laughs> because I messed it up, we wouldn't make it to York. And that would be the live stream over. So it's a really good thing we've got the Gov uh, water carrier there, isn't it? You'd have had to hop in at World Editor and move it. Yeah, but how long does that take to save on a route this big? <laughs> About an hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, so we got two million two hundred and forty thousand pounds of coal started, minus two two three seven oh one eight. So we used two thousand nine hundred and eighty two pounds of coal. So that's what? About three tonne? You yeah, should, sounds about right. You've shoveled three tons of coal between Kings Cross and Peterborough and Grantham. Oh, no wonder I'm so tired. Yeah, after you know doing a full shift with Bahamas as well, I'm quite impressed, Sam. <laughs> Keeping it together. So uh, just while we're sat here stopped, I'm just going to have a very quick look at the chat because a few people have. Sorry, I need the mouse just for a sec, Sam. A few people yeah, yeah. have donated and commented. Howard Keen, my brother-in-law, is watching, ladies and gents. Hello, Howard and family. Hope you're all well. And he said, what is the charity? The charity is the Railway Children. I'm going to show a video in just a moment to show what the charity does and what they're all about. And just to update you, we started out this live stream with a target of £500 to raise for the charity, and we have smashed that. The last time I checked, it was £1,100 that we'd raised. And we've also got £72 in the chat, in the, from the uh, Super Chats on YouTube. Oh, it's actually showing 92 I think, if I'm reading that correct. SJB Media um, has donated uh, 20 kroner. It says, you had one job. <laughs> Just quickly, Reese, while we're stopped here, yeah. um, am I driving the next leg or am I firing the next leg? What do you want to do? Because I've driven to Grantham. Do you want to take over for a bit? Well, I don't mind either way, but I just want to know so I can get the fire in order, just because I'm going to go and to Lou and grab a drink and all that like, while we're stood here for ten minutes. Yeah, go on, you carry on, I'll deal with the fire, well, I'll get a chat to everybody and have a look at the... Um... Well, I tell you what, 
I'm gonna you, you go do that, Sam. I'm gonna play the video for everybody. Right to here. So Sam's um, going to the bog. Yeah, that fire is like going limiting, down. so it will need rejiggling before we go. Don't worry, I'm uh, I'm gonna shovel some rock on there. Don't put too much on now, though, because we don't want to waste water. You want to wait until about five minutes before we go. What time is it now? Yeah, we got like. Uh, was it 55 we're leaving? Three, I think you 53. said. 53, so we got uh, 13 minutes. So I'll shovel yeah. a bit on just to keep it going. I, I won't bother. I'd wait until it gets to like 200 pounds or it gets to like 48. All right then. Otherwise we'll just be you know blowing off and wasting all that water. All right, I'll, I'll just shovel a little bit just to keep it on and then... Um, right, you, you <laughs> go do your thing anyway, right? Yeah, I uh, will be back shortly. Okay, guys, I'm just going to play a video, which is um, it's a video from the Railway Children Charity. And it's better than I am at explaining what the charity does and what their mission is. So I'm just going to set that up now. I'll see you. It's about three minutes long. Around the world, tens of millions of children are struggling to survive on the streets, facing violence, exploitation and often death. Hands up if you think even one child is too many. Good. Us too. We are railway children. We fight for children on the street. We've been doing it for over 20 years and we're good at it. And we won't stop until we live in a world where no child ever has to live on the streets again. So how can we get there? Simple. We find out why children are on the streets and we change things so they never have to go back. Okay. It's nowhere near as simple as that, because a bed for the night might get a child off the street, but then what? Well, then our work really starts. For lasting change, we have to work on three levels. We fight to reach children on the streets before abusers, drug dealers and traffickers do. Finding them shelter, food and support is the first step. But we can't be everywhere at once, so through training and support, we turn people at key locations on the ground into our eyes and ears. Then they can spot vulnerable children themselves and help them before it's too late. We work with governments because if the system doesn't change, nothing does. We make our voice heard until we get the policy changes that keep children off the streets forever. In our first 22 years, we helped more than 300,000 children in the next five, we aim to reach 150,000 more. Here's how we're going to do it. In the UK, we'll be working directly with the British Transport Police to create a national safety network, safeguarding vulnerable children on and around the UK transport system. We'll establish safeguarding projects in six of the most needed locations and provide therapeutic services for children and their families. In East Africa, will work intensively on the streets in at least 12 cities, reaching 15,000 children and helping them recover from the impact of violence. In India, we'll increase our number of child-friendly stations to 25, working directly with government children's homes in those areas. We'll also train and support 15,000 government personnel to help vulnerable children. That'll mean 120,000 children will be protected and 96,000 return to their families. But we want to reach even more children and we can't do that on our own. So here's the plan. We'll make sure our time-tested model is replicable. Then we'll support and empower other organizations around the world to use this model to reach more children than we ever could by ourselves. Together we can create a world where none of our children have to live on the streets ever again. Are you with us? Hello everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> If you just watched that uh, video, did you? Is the audio? Did you hear everything on that video? Okay, just let me know in the comments. <coughs> um, I hope that gives you a, a good idea of what the charity is, the Railway Children, what they do, and what their mission is. 
It's a very um, worthwhile charity, I think. Sam just shut the fire doors because I was shoveling rock. Um, shoveling too much. It's okay. I, I didn't want the fire to go down too much. So we got you can let it go down to like almost nothing and we'll still be able to build it up in time. Reckon? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mike's just uh, put the link to the uh, Just Giving page on the chat. Yes, there's the donate button. And also there's a link in the video description below. If you are going to donate, please head to the uh, Just Giving page. It's called um, justgiving.com forward slash page forward slash Angry Welshman Productions and donate there. The reason is if you donate there, they receive 100% of the uh, the donation. Whereas if you donate via Super Chat on YouTube, which you can do, there is an option to do that. Um, YouTube will keep a cut of that. I think it's about 20%. Um, however, looking at the bar on the screen, we've raised about £92.13 pence through Super Chats. When the stream is over, I will make my own donation, which will be whatever that number is. So I will account for the 20% um, fee from YouTube. But I'm also going to make my own donation as well. But we won't know what the numbers are until the live stream's finished. So I don't want to say too much about that until we get to Edinburgh. Um, <clears throat> Reese, have we announced the competition yet? Not yet, no. We've only got a couple of minutes before we're heading off. So let's do that now quick. Do you want to take the lead on that, or uh, do you want me to do uh, it? No, you can do it, actually. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm just reminding you. All right. <laughs> so, I'll keep an eye on fire. While we're uh, getting ready to go, Rail Advent, Michael at Rail Advent has very kindly provided some codes. Um, and it, the first people to use one of these codes on his website gets a free calendar with shipping, I believe, as a bit of a, a giveaway for this live stream. Uh, I think we have um, 10 codes. Let's just double check the chat. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to set up the um, giveaway thing in time for the live stream, I'm afraid. Now, just um, before you go announcing exactly what we're doing with it, um, Michael is in the chat layer somewhere. Um, Michael, have you worked out the best way of doing this yet? Did we decide we were going to choose someone at random, or were we just going to chuck the code in and see whoever gets it first, or...? Well, why don't we just try one? I'd say get take the first code, put it in the chat, and just see what happens. Don't Is that alright with you, Michael? Mike has just said don't put all the, all the codes in, because I don't know how it works if that happens. Just do something like this. And he's profusely yeah. typing. So we'll just wait and see. We're doing a giveaway of a calendar from Real Advent in a moment. You need to be in the UK to enter. And how it's going to work is that I'm going to say a particular word in the chat. And the first person to type that word in the chat will win the calendar. Okay, that, that works. Do I get to choose the word? I'm just going to type that to him. Sausage wine. Yeah. <laughs> The first person to type sausage wine gets the calendar. Go on. For everyone watching, sausage wine, whoever types the word sausage wine first, all as one word, sausage wine, then uh, he said, we, can we DM someone after a winner is announced? Let's just see what happens. There is a slight delay between the live stream and the chat, so we are going to have to wait for a little bit. Ah, oh, it's George. No, it's not. Adam Bridgewater. Adam Bridgewater was the first one to type sausage wine in the chat. So, there you go, Mike. We've got our first winner. Adam Bridgewater, you have just won a real advent calendar. Um... We will. Let me just write that down because I will guaranteed I will forget. Let me just write. Might that I down. suggest? I don't think YouTube has the ability to direct message someone. No. Um. So I would suggest what we do, if um if you want to directly message, um the Angry Welshman Productions Facebook page. Um. And I think. Should we have some sort of proof like you are the owner of the account just to keep it fair? Or Well, I mean he's he's just said his he's hectica in on, on Discord, so we know who oh, that works. You know, we've got proof of who he is, so that's fine. We'll do we'll have to do it that way. Go on. Um if you want to um if you want to drop Reese a direct message on Discord, um 
when we'll get the code dropped over to you. Yeah, there we go. So we got our first calendar winner. But you found dodgy. I don't know what that means, station pilot. Anyway, what time is it in game? 50. We got three minutes, Sam. Get shoveling, get shoveling, get shoveling. Oh, I'll be right. Right, just while we're, uh, before we leave, I'm just going to show everybody. This was a commission from Force Games. Um, these were made as a bit of a joke. Um, giant cups of tea and a teapot. Because we're going to do something special with them for some Facebook real or type, you know, real type videos that I'm going to do in the near future. Um, but it comes from the office asset scene that I had made by Dane for Over the Hills. But that included a, you know, an actual cup of tea and a teapot. So I thought for a joke, why don't we make a giant one, just you know, for this basically? Because as the joke is, railways run on tea. So there we go, we've got our cup of tea sorted. Not as funny as I thought it would be, but there we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one's laughing. Oh well. Adam is the winner on my end. You will organise how to get a code to him. I tell you what, how many, co how many codes do we have? So, um, just something else to mention, Reese. Seeing as um, you're keeping an eye on the chat and everything, I'm happy to keep firing for a bit longer. Okay, if you're happy doing um, that, yeah, that's fine. Just because it, it buys you a bit more time to keep an eye on the chat. Yeah, so, it is. Swap the, over, the chat, um, the chat is, um, yeah, that's fine. The chat is being a bit, um, you know, spending a bit more time on it than I was expecting. Right, it's 52 almost, so one more minute until we're going, so let's whack that blower on. Oliver is playing Age of Empires 4, the Anniversary Edition. Well done, Oliver. I have bought that game, but I haven't yet played it. That's one on my list to do. That's what happens. Steam has these offers on games. I go, ooh, that's discounted. I'd buy it, and then, like, three years later, I'm like, oh, I still haven't played that. I do like them. Yeah. It's like, ooh, yeah, that's dirt cheap. I'll get that. And then, it, you know, you scroll through your games and you go, oh, yeah, I've got that I never played. Jizda, Jizda says can confirm that railways run on tea, it makes drivers work. I think it should just be like part of the railways procedures now. Well, when I was a youngster in the youth group on the Worth Valley, um, there was a particular guard that I was uh, training with. He said that rule number one on the railway is always ensure your own personal health and safety. And then, following that, you ensure the health and safety of others. And a subsection of that is ensuring that your trainer always has a cup of tea. Oh, absolutely. Because if they don't have a cup of tea, you're endangering yourself. It would help oh, with the engine, with the time. engine in gear, wouldn't it? It would. So we've taken on water, <laughs> he says. Well, we've still got plenty. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's nearly full. I'd love to know, like, how much water we've got to use to actually get that to move. I bet it'll be coded for, like, 4,000 gallons, so we'll have to get down to, like, 3,000 before we notice it's moved. Well, it's coded for 4,000, but we've actually got 120,000 because of the edit that Jordan did. <laughs> But I mean, the animation will be scripted for like that. So I'm, I'm actually about to do some or say something really competent. Oh I'm, boy! I'm taking it easy to blow steam through the cylinders because we've been sat stationary for about twenty minutes. We've probably got quite a lot of condensate in the cylinders. Hey, how about that? Yeah. He's been competent. He says as we're about to go straight through a red signal. <laughs> well, it. In theory, that shouldn't be red because. Oh no, it's, it's not. It's for the wrong that's line. The, sorry, that's for that line, isn't it? That's ours. The little uh, shunt signal. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy. We're doing well for competency here. You were doing so well as well. You were doing really well. Like, slight, yeah, blowing steam through and then. Slight redemption. Instantly afterwards, it's like, nope. Success doesn't want you to win. <laughs> 
I'm just taking it easy while we uh, make our way out to the siding just to blow that steam through. We'll open her up just a bit more. But not too much because there's 50 mile an hour speed limit. Real Advent says, yeah, that's not your signal. Yeah. Jordan says, I thought I set it up as 240 million. Crosston Junction's just taking the mech there. He says, we says something competent whilst being on the wrong siding. <laughs> I mean, in fairness to me, in absolute fairness to me, if it was real life, even if we were in the wrong siding, we could have just run the hose to a different, you know, to the different siding. So, yeah, fair enough. Although, in reality, we would have been on the far left, so like we weren't running a hose over the lines. But true. Well, that was the plan. That was what I did plan for, but I think I set the wrong road in the scenario editor. So the question <laughs> is, will we actually be able to take water at all? Well, I think the other um, point watering points should be okay. In fact, we'll check them as we get closer. But like I said before, we do have we do have enough coal and water to make the whole journey without taking anything on. Right, we can shut those. Is it still 15? Oh, until the last yep. coach leaves the siding, which I think we're nearly there. Still 15. Here's a good question for you. So the speed limit is 15 because we're leaving that siding. And I, I'd like to know if anyone has any actual thoughts or experience with this. We're leaving the siding, so the speed limit is 15 until the last coach is clear. Or is it until we pass the signal? See, so it's, it's just... The last coach. Because it just so happens we went past the signal and the speed limit increased to 25. It's our last coach because the speed limit is for that bit of track you're on, so until your whole train has cleared that bit of track you still need to go that speed limit yeah like if you were going over points if you went over points at 10 mile an hour with your loco but 30 with your back coach you'd probably derail it yeah oh boiler pressure's right then oh it'll be right we better get her working then So speed limit's 25 because I think we're going to go on to the, um, we're going to go back onto the main line up ahead, haven't we? Yep. Yeah, there it is. So we're 25 until we hit there. <clears throat> but we are losing boiler pressure, so I'm going to notch her right back. It's alright, it'll creep back up again when you open her up. Yeah, once we throw that regulator through the roof and the, uh... You know, we start drawing the fire, then we'll make some steam then. Yeah, a load of people in the comments are saying it's uh, until the last coach is clear. Yep. So arguably, but here's a question, right? We're, we're passing now from this spur onto the, back onto the main line. So the speed limit's 25 until we're clear at this point. How do we know when our last coach is clear? Easy. <laughs> You're just going to look behind, are you? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, I didn't even think of that. The yeah, last coach is clear of the siding. Open her up. Great, right, give her the beans. Full power. <clears throat> Reg through the roof. Let's go. What's our next stop? It's Holgate Yard for... Yeah, it's Holgate, isn't it? No, sorry. It's Doncaster is our next stop. Yep. Why is it saying... Um, is that saying... Grantham. Grantham. 
Isn't that where we've just been? It is. Hang on a minute. Oh, it wants us to go back, doesn't it? <laughs> it want, that's, that's what's happened, is we've gone into the wrong road, look. It's then, rooting you to go back to it. So why didn't it just put us in there? Like, we went over that set of points, it could have just put us in there. <laughs> right. You know what this means now, Larry? You said it's mucked up the whole scenario, because it's always going to be telling us to go to Grantham. No, it should, it should snap to the next place, shouldn't it? No. As taskless is stop at Grantham, so unless we stop at Grantham... Mm. I would be really tempted to slam on emergency brakes and back up. Sorry guys, we are just going to have to... Um this is a train sim thing, not a real life thing. But if we don't clear that off the checklist, it's gonna. It might muck up the point setting for further on. It will. It's gonna ruin the scenario for the rest of the of the day. And, and if if it doesn't set the points later on, because it's like expecting us to go there, that could you know we could get to Leeds, you know, however many miles away, and then that could be it. That'd be game over. So this isn't actually part of the live stream now, guys. This is just because Train Simulator is Train Simulator. But it uh, does give us a chance to sit in the observation coach. It does. Um, although we will have to... There we are. Very nice. Um, if we don't do yeah. this, it'll just muck up the rest of the day. So we got we got to do it. We, we've got to. So... Yeah, yeah. Now, if it were real life, we'd have to get permission to back up, but under the circumstances, I don't think we'll bother. No, we'll, we'll just back it up into the correct side in, just to say that we've been to that road, and then we can carry on and just pretend that we're running late. We'll just say there was a delay taking water, because the traffic, the tanker was stuck in traffic. <laughs> Alcidian says, can't you just use the world editor and drag the train back? Unfortunately, no, because it'll lose the game. You'll you'll lose uh, the progress of the game that you're at. And we don't really... We want to keep it as one solid run if we can. There is also a difference between the world editor and the scenario editor. Yeah. Well, this is fun. <laughs> I would um, notch forwards where you reverse her a bit. Yeah, that's what I've just done. There was a delay load in the gravy. Oh, I tell you what, that's what we'll pretend. We left the siding and then the gravy truck arrived. And because Sa Sam can't possibly carry on the rest of the day without gravy, we've got to go back. That's true. If it's a free room, then you can change the points yourself, so it means you need to keep an eye on the map. Yeah, it's because I set up the scenario, and Sam is about to give me a rollicking because he said, do a test run, and I was like, no, I can't do a test run. This I is did why tell I, him to do a test run. Yes, this I also, is um, why I should I also have done a test do, run. Yeah, and I also always do free runs myself, so like, if anything like this happens, you're not stuck. But like Jordan says, you have to keep a close eye on the map, but you can change where you're going then and you don't end up having to go backwards. How much further It's a backing signal. Fourth game says this is a weird looking king. It is. This uh, king class has been upgraded to a, have a, a cab. 0.38 front. miles. Yeah, we're nearly there. It, you know, let's just get it done. I know it's a few minutes out of the we're way. Just running, okay, we're just running like a 14 coach auto train. <laughs> Great Western, we're forward thinking. Forward thinking, in, backwards going traveling. backwards in direction. <laughs> 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 oh dear, twenty-five. That's all right, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Seeing as you've like killed us, fire. Yeah, Jordan's railway simulator saying the, that they also recommended that we do a test run. Yes, all right, fine, fine. 
I will take I will take the rat for it. Let's shut the reg off because we're about to enter that side in now, aren't we? Let's just save really quick before we go over these points just in case anything bad does happen. This will be it now, or derail and we'll save too quick close to it to stop all and <laughs> Boss Games asking, when you joked earlier about drinking, did you commit in the end? Well, well not yet, but with how it's going so far, we might be. <laughs> just for a few shots of whiskey in that cup of tea earlier. I don't think we're far away now, are we? We're, uh... We can't be far off. Well, we're still showing 0.38 miles. Also changed points on us, don't just then. Has it? No, showing. Yeah, we're, since we're, we're a little flat, where the speed limit changed. Huh. Well, since we're actually going to the correct siding, we could take on water. <laughs> <laughs> go on, we'll give it a go and check what the water in points work. Yeah, we won't stay, but we'll just um, just test that it does actually work. It's not a bad shout, actually, is it? So if not, then um, if none of other watering points work, um, then we know we don't need to worry so much about stopping next to them. Also, why is that water still going up? It turned like off. To be honest, you could probably have the water taps running for the whole journey. And we... Thank you, we've just had a yellow, so... I caught that. Yeah. I don't know if you caught it. I, I just heard it. You just do the classic Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Let's just give us a little bit of braking while we're going into the sidings. In a ten mile on Amazon. Fifteen. I think the speed limit is uh, the least of our up. concern, anyway. <laughs> We've committed so many cardinal sin sins today. But this is a train simulator problem. This isn't actually our fault. Well, it is my fault a bit. But it's, it's because train sims train sim. Let's just get it done. And we'll get going. And we'll just have to make up for lost time on the way. 10 mile an hour speed limit here. Oh, somebody's just joined. It gives us a chance to have a look at this beautiful inspection coach. Look at it. It's available on Bossman Games' website now, that inspection saloon, and it is stunning. At least we've demonstrated that a, uh, you know, 14 coach auto train, it will work in principle. <laughs> It'll work in the train simulator. Right, see, yeah, we actually need to stop it. So, I don't understand, like, if I've set, I set the road correctly, because it wants us to stop on the correct siding, why did it route us in that, that siding? I don't know, but you'd have found this out if you did a test run. Yeah. <laughs> if if only <laughs> all the people on um, Grand Firm Station platform are like, what's going on with our steamer? <laughs> Um, Croston Junction, I've seen your comment about the colliery route, I will update you on that when we get going again. Um, we're just concentrating a bit at the moment. Stop. Again. Right, see, that should be, see where that guy is. That's where the watering point is connected. So let's just test it really quick before we carry it. Right, hang on. T.
Yeah, see, it doesn't work. Hang on a minute. It's because it's on the lower curve. Well, the watering point. Can you see there at the bottom how it's um, like the switch is in the middle of the loco? Oh, right, so the, lo the loco has to be where the guy is then? No, I think you must have, like, Transim thinks, Transim thinks it's about here. I bet you've set it to the cup of tea, not to the guy. No, I, I definitely set it to the guy. Well, Transim thinks it's where your chimney is, so it's like there. Try again. I think you need to go forwards, not backwards. I tell you what, we can. Oh, it won't, uh, show. It won't... It won't show up, will it? It oh. will. Click, click. Oh. I'm not going to edit anything, I'm just going to click it. Yeah. If I Little don't... Tanker. Yeah, see, it's a scenario object. Yeah. Play. See, as long as you don't edit anything, it's fine. You'll have to go forwards, I reckon. How much time have we lost? Oh, who knows. I reckon you want to go... You see that little white arrow thing on the hood? Yeah. You want that to be over the tender. Stop, stop, stop. Give that a go. That might be a bit closer. Hang on, let's go back. Let me just give, give me the mouse just a sec. Yeah, I oh, see that yeah, it's, it's, it's on. Ending, the, yeah, it's in the wrong place there now. See, it's still not working. No, we'll have to try it later. Right, we're like twenty-five minutes late now. Yeah, but at least the, just, uh, at least the scenario is going to work now. Yeah, it's registering. We've stopped, so we can go. Attempt number two. Let's go. If at first you don't succeed, lie, cheat, and win. So we was we were due out at fifty three, and it's now one two. So yeah, we're leaving 20 minutes late. Sorry guys, I've kind of neglected the, dis the chat a little bit the last few minutes. That's because train... Oh, well, boiler pressure is right there. Yep. You've been neglecting your reverser settings as well. Yeah, I've been hemorrhaging steam. So all right, once we get up and running, we'll uh, we'll get the fire going. I hope so. <laughs> Crosston Junction says, "Is it because you didn't put the refuel command in the scenario editor?" Well, you should theoretically be able to take on water there anyway, because it's set as a scenario object. Um, so it ha it. You know, it, it has worked for me like this before, but I do understand what you mean. Fifteen miles an hour now, over the points. Right, we're off and running again. Quality Scenario Productions by AWP, says Michael. Yeah. We'll try again. You, you could make good money out of this, you know, Reese. Well, considering it's the most lucrative live stream we've ever done, we've raised like. Oh no no no! I meant like the scenario. You could you know like release AWP scenarios. 
Have you ever just wanted to sit at your computer and be really frustrated at things that don't work? Well, here I'll buy this AWP scenario. Exactly. Creating scenarios that almost work but don't quite for your annoyment since 2010. I can't see the coaches. Rhys, what are you doing, man? I'm trying to look to the end of the train. Oi! <laughs> what? Shift two, and then you can just arrow her back. Right, so we're out of there, so it's 25 now. Full reg it. Well, we need the steam, so uh, I've got to. Full reg it. I just want to check something. Just since we're in a mood for breaking regulations. No I tail knew it. Lamp. How do you? I knew. I, I knew you wouldn't have done that. How do you know we? How do you do it? I can't remember how you do it. You press H. Ah. Oh. To put the lights on, but because the um, Caledonia works, locos have like control whatever for your lights. I knew you'd have just put the loco ones on, but not the uh, carriage ones. Right. Judza says, should start making models, Reese, but they all have one thing slightly wrong with him. If Reese made models, Judza, they'd be all like lopsided. Huh? The left side would be like a foot shorter than the right side. Well, this is getting a little bit personal. Okay, 25 over the next set of points, and then we're on our way. <clears throat> and let's hope that was our only hiccup of the day. I'm just doing what you said to do. There we are. And we're all clear. Full power. So. Not your back. There we go. Right. Now we're up and running again. I can have a proper look at the chat. Meanwhile, I can have a panic. What about your coal? Well, my coal's fine and my water level's fine. It's just the needle on boiler pressure gauge going, Nyaum. Yeah, boiler pressure's not looking great, Sam. <laughs> I'm hoping by ragging it now we're going to really get our fire burning hot. So am I, because if not, we've got a problem. <laughs> I mean that steam generation rate should be coming up now because you got plenty of rock on the fire you got a decent water level ragging the hell out of it chucking the fire through the chimney that means you need a notch back yeah it's like Reese is trying to make this difficult or something we're still throwing the fire through I'm down to 15% we're still throwing sparks out did you take the handbrake off? Yeah. She wouldn't be moving. She would be moving. Just very slow. Yeah, it's off. Go on, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. I started to doubt myself then while you were flicking through <laughs> the uh, through the coaches. I was like, please, please say it's off. <laughs> Oh, we're getting there now.
Right, we're going through the tunnel and hopefully the boiler pressure is going to start coming off. There shouldn't still be sparks coming through the chimney. What have you broken? Well, no, there's something wrong with the engine, yeah? I'm just shutting off a moment. Let's open up. She shouldn't still be chucking sparks out the top like that. Has anyone got the manual? Well, the boiler pressure's hardly moving. I don't know, just give it another couple of minutes because the boiler pressure's stable. It's, it's not going down anymore. But I have a feeling something's changed with the model because I don't think it should be... Uh... Well, there's no big bounce of steam, so we've not got the injectors left on. She shouldn't be chucking sparks out like that either. Reverse is 15%, so it's not that. Yeah, sparks are... they're gone now, look. I wonder if it's because of the amount of coal. I don't know what happened then. Well, basically, Grantham, we've just set most of their fields on fire. Um, <laughs> So there's probably a firefighting uh, crew going on behind us now all the way. And speed's not going up very much either, it's probably because of the, the boiler pressure. Well we are operating at like what, half pressure? Yeah. But it is, it's coming around slowly, the wa fire's warming up. Best thing is just to keep that reg in the roof just to keep it uh, making that fire hot. Don't worry guys, we'll get it back. Oh wait, what's the gradient? One into two, oh it's downhill. I think this is not far from Stoke Bank now. So what snacks have you got for today, uh, other than your jelly beans? That's it, I've just got jelly beans. What, for a whole live stream day? Yep. You didn't get any lunch or anything? Uh, nope. I've got crisps, I've got biscuits, I've got drinks, I've got uh, sandwiches in the fridge, I've got pizza. <laughs> I was all set. I am not all set. I've not really had time to get set. <laughs> That'd be right, I'm a through. So as you see guys, the boiler pressure is holding steady. But the steam generation rate is starting to really go up now. We are injecting as well, Reese, so when I knock that off, we'll go up a bit more. Yeah. It'll come back.
<laughs> Michael has pointed out a whole pack of jelly beans is a large amount for Sam on a train day. Michael knows my eating habits from steam galas, so yeah. Right, I'm just having a look on Discord really quick. Righto. Just trying to find the code now from uh, Michael. Well, there we are, boiler pressure's going up quite nicely now. Right, I got the codes now. That's good. I just found them. Um, Croston Junction. Remind me when I take over driving and I'm not concentrating on firing quite so much um, and I'll get you an update on that route line. Right. So I'm just going to send the first code to Hectica. Tick T. Copy link. So Hectica, if you're watching, he's decided to donate the cost plus what would have been added by gift aid because he can't actually gift aid because technically receiving something by like doing it. I just felt it was the right thing to do. Well, that was very kind of you. So I've sent him a link to the calendar and I'm going to type the code and I'm not going to read it out like I normally would do because then everybody else knows the code. <laughs> That is definitely something you would do. Here, have this free code prize. I uh, just read it out so everybody else gets it before you do. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. The first real advent calendar code is gone. There will be more before long. Right, uh, if you're happy just to drive as well for a moment, I'm just going to grab another drink, okay? Yeah, I mean, frankly, the driving's taking care of itself. Yeah, there's not really a lot I'm doing for the driving. I'm just going to go grab a drink, and then I'll uh, I'll be back, alright? Won't be long. The new Great Western King, fitted with autopilot.
Am I enjoying myself? I am enjoying myself. It's um, quite challenging. is back. Speed's creeping Welcome up. Welcome back. Yeah, look at that, the spoiler pressure's on the 50 down now. Oh, that's good. See, that's the thing, you know, it's it's a bit counterintuitive because you think, I need to save steam, or I need to raise steam. How do you raise steam? By using more steam. Yep. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, all you're doing is you're creating a draft through the fire, and the stronger draft you create, the more air you draw in through, and the more air you draw through, the better the fire burns. Henry Yang2623 says, have you got 10 boxes of chicken pie next to you? Well, we at uh, our last water stop, we had a tanker truck come and pump the, half, the Gov water carrier half full of water for the loco and half of it was pumped full of gravy for the uh, buffet car. <laughs> oh look, Train Simulator's favourite camera view. I think it's because of the um, like the fences and stuff, the lofts yeah. on the side of the track. It forces the camera not to go any further, which is really annoying. But there we are. I hated this view in Microsoft Train Simulator, and I hate it in Train Simulator because you can literally just hold down the four button, and you're just yeah, yeah. You know, something I've just realised today about Train Simulators. Micro yep. Microsoft Train Simulator came out like. What 2001? Yeah. Late, late 90s, early 2000s. So really, Microsoft Train Sim had a run of about 10 years, 15 years, as the dominant um, train simulator. Train Simulator Classic has been around for about the same time now. Yep. And so, by the sort of, you know, the spacing or the, the dominance of games at that time, it's about time it's replaced, really, isn't it? Which is what Chains in World tried to do, but Completely isn't quite failed. there yet. Well, it's, as far as I'm concerned, Chains in World has failed. Because it just can't even do a fraction of what this Train Sim Classic can do. Yep. Like, but. No route editor, steam engines have no firing capability, routes which are really just too short. It's got an awful long way to go before it becomes close to being the replacement for this. It does have the potential there, but... Oh yeah, it's definitely got the potential and the visuals are spectacular. Visually, Train Sim World is, is brilliant, but it yeah. just needs an awful lot more commitment. Yep. Also, Reese, um, I think we've peaked out with his generation rate. Pretty much. Boilers. Oh, the pressure's really flying up. Speed's going up all the time. 
Jidza says train sim world stuff is quite sad. It's, it has potential, but it's not there right now. It's just it really does have a lot of potential, and there are times I've quite enjoyed playing it. But it's almost like you open the regulator and hit the buffers. That's how I feel when I play Train Sim World. I don't know if, if anyone else feels that way. One thing I, mean, I hope they do is give us multiplayer. They keep teasing it, but they've never done it yet. Oh, what station is this? This is Newark. Well, thing to remember as well is that Train Sim Classic was heavily based off Microsoft Train Simulator. Which is why Kuju were involved, because Kuju did Microsoft Train Simulator. Um, did they? So, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, Kuju, um, were, they were involved in Microsoft Train Simulator. Which is why this is quite similar to that game, because it's essentially a development of it. Um, Honestly, I didn't know that that was the case. Yeah. Whereas, I think Train Sim World is a development on this, but they've kind of, instead of taking what this has and building on it, they've kind of skipped over it. Yeah. And they've sort of, instead of improving stuff that already exists, they've just gone straight for new features. But that's come at the expense of the existing features that people have come to, you know, expect. I think the biggest thing by far that has made this Train Sim Classic what it is is the route building and the massive amount of uh, customizability. Yeah. I route building and third party devs. Yeah. Like being able to make your own trains or your own reskins or build your own routes. That is, for an awful lot of people, what attracts them to this game. And the, yeah. fact, the fact that you can build a route and then share it, and as we've seen, you know, third-party developers coming up, especially route builders, who've conglomerated together and created fantastic routes. Where Examples: you know, um, Stainmore, yeah, um, Modern Age Developments, on really track simulation. Quality. Yeah, but they're taking like on track simulation. I use them as an example, and even this one, the you know this route. They're taking already existing routes that have been re released commercially by DTG and other companies. They've merged them together and they've improved them and updated them so that, like this route here that we're driving now, the East Coast Main Line, is a it's a route merge by Alan Thompson Simulation, but it uses about six different routes. Reese, 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 we're whoa, blowing off. Whoa, whoa. We're oh, blowing off. Right, sorry, I thought it was I thought we were panicking. No no no, we're celebrating. Hooray! It's on attacking ten miles. That's alright, you know, we're back to where we were now. Rail Advent says train sim world is getting better. Yeah, that's true. I mean I'll give them credit, it does seem with every release release they make that it's improving. And I really would like to see that improve all the time. I'd like to see it get better. Um, I mean, my ambition for train symbol was always, well, I, as I've said, you know, in the article which we wrote for um, Rail Advent, my whole life I've wanted to do this, what we're doing now, play a game driving a train but with a friend. Now, this, yep. the way we're doing it is through a bit of a hack. We're using a computer program to share a desktop, but it would be so nice as if Train Sim World had the ability that you control your own player, a bit like the way Railroads Online works, that you control your own player and then you interact with a shared locomotive. Yeah, now if you had, if you took rail, Railroads Online and you took that sort of player controlled functionality and you merged that with the customizability, customization that you can have in Train Sim Classic and you merged that with a uh, graphics you have in Train Sim World, then you'd be on to a winner. And I think those are sort of the, the three bits that you kind of need to have merged together to make that sort of ideal train simulator. <coughs> oh, Dark DJ Productions has commented, said my new Hornby P2 arrived. Hooray! Hornby P2 for the win. So 
so how many miles we got now? It's 30 miles to Doncaster. That's a nice decent run. I wonder if we can... Um, also, Reese, we're now about... Are we two hours into the stream now? Three hours. Three hours. Yeah, 8.45 we started, wasn't it? So we, we're going to stop at Doncaster Platform 8. Hopefully the routing actually does take us to the right place. <laughs> we're up to 80 mile an hour again. Railroads Online wow. is great. I would like to see it progress to feature UK content. Me too. I think the, en the game engine that they've got is phenomenal. And the idea of the gameplay is great. And obviously they're kind of restricted by uh, what they've developed already, the American theme, which, all right, fine. They're American developers and all that, you know, that's, that's the, what interests them. But you are right, I would love to have seen them have a UK division. If we did expansion packs for different countries, you know, because if I remember rightly, like, I don't know if I've updated it, it's been a while since I've played, but it's basically one map. Yeah, it is. So, <clears throat> they could bring out, you know, like, a UK map, or a Australian map, or, you know, a Swiss map, or, you know, that kind of thing. I really like the game in principle, but, like, someone, I, I when I played it before, someone had a really good idea. Imagine if you had the Railroads Online map, but you had Welsh narrow gauge locos and track and assets and everything and then you had yeah. like slate quarries and lakes and north wales narrow gauge type scenery i would love that but it would all be done in the same style of railroads online yeah that would be immense Yeah, Michael says it would be a dream to have Welsh narrow gauge, wouldn't it? You know, I, that would just be the peak for me. Dr driving little quarry hunslets around, picking up slate, using machines and loading up wagons with slate, and then like gravity trains, loading ships. How awesome would that be? The thing is, as well, is I still like the way that Railroads Online, it gives you a map with scenery, and it basically says, build a railway around the scenery. And that's what I really like about it, is that you're forced, by the nature and by the, the landscape around you, to come up with engineering solutions to get your train across the scenery. Which is, in real life, that's how they built the railways, especially in, you know, the Wild West. They yep. had to find, they had to scope out and find the best route, you know, whereas Train Sim Classic is more of a model railway, I think. You're building a layout with scenery to make the layout look good. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a very different type of route building. Yeah. I've got to agree, though. Train, train Sim Classic is very much... For me, anyway, it's a digital alternative to a model railway. That's that's the way I view trains in classic. Um, certainly, with the route building aspect of it, the driving is a bit different, but. <laughs> yep, good idea. Henry Yang says, isn't London King's Cross to Edinburgh Waverley the same route that Tornado runs on? Yes, it is. Amongst others. Bit of wobbly track there? Just a little bit. Tell you what, that wobbly trap when you're on the footplate going uh, 
you know, 75 mile an hour. It's blooming scary. <laughs> It, uh, it properly throws you about So when are we going to have the food service uh, started? I mean, it's well, it's got to be about lunchtime, hasn't it? It's 10 to 12 now. I'm well, not far off, Lon. I mean, we had the um, six tonnes of gravy pumped on in uh, Grantham. <laughs> well, you know Doncaster's Yorkshire, don't you? Mm-hmm. And we're stopping at Doncaster platform, yeah? Yeah. So we've thrown this potato out of the window to say what food we want, not the yep. signal box. Yeah. As per, you know, traditional food requesting methods. Yeah, scribble it down on a note, stuff it in a potato, lob it through the signal box window. Smashing the window in the process. Yeah. Knocking out the signal, man. Um, so we've put in as food requests, which means at Doncaster we can collect the um, 20 tonnes of Yorkshire puddings we've ordered. So we're going to need a, a CCT van fitted to the train then? No, we'll just store them in the overhead luggage racks. Oh, makes sense. Loose of course, and then every time we go around a corner it'll just rain Yorkshire puddings. Whee! Ah, oh, what an idea. So, um... Next time I go away with Bahamas, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's put all these Georgia puddings in the luggage racks? Uh, I don't know. Model Rail Dan says, "What about all the sausage?" <laughs> well, the ovens are on. Well, that scared me a bit, Len. Let's have a very quick look in the uh, buffet carriage, shall we? Yeah. Um, what are you doing? Oi! There we go. What's going on with this auto fireman? You just turned it on! I have no idea how that happened. Because you were pressing control while I was firing. Oh, right, okay. So we're in the buffet car now. We've got... Um, Red, Red grape juice. juice, we've got sparkling. Uh, what else have we got? Cornish pasties, cheese and onion pasties. We've run out of sausage rolls, so on Sam's potato we put uh, we put loads of sausage rolls on there as well. There's the gravy in the pots warming up. So it's, uh, it's all in hand. We're almost at Retford. So did I, um, Michael, when we had that little sort of juddery bit. She's been doing really well, but we haven't topped 90 yet, have we? No, but you've not really tried to.
God, we've been going for three hours, 16 minutes, Sam. Are you tired yet? Yeah. yeah. You've not been doing all. I'm tired. Flagging a bit now. Are you? Yeah. Well, we got Doncaster. I'm going to make a cup of coffee at Doncaster, I think. <laughs> we still got a long way to go, mind. Aye. Oh, we're not even halfway yet, are we? Don't think so. Well, there's a question for everyone in the chat. When are we at the halfway point? Well, I, I thought York was about halfway. See, for me, York's like as far as I ever go on the East Coast Main Line. Well, Model Brill Dan's uh, comment is a little bit dramatic. <clears throat> I mean... He said He's got a point. He does. It wouldn't be an AWP stream without a dramatic crash killing everyone on board, spilling enough gravy to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool all over the British countryside. I mean, you know. Halfway maybe Darlow or Thursk. I'm assuming it means Darlington. Yeah. You know, I, I once drove from Hull to Edinburgh when I was living up in Yorkshire. That was five hours drive, and it really shocked me how far it was. Yep. And I think, you know, maybe it's because I'm a southerner and all that, but the journey from York, from Hull up to Edinburgh just, you know, and I was going a good speed as well. You know, you're doing 70 plus miles an hour. But 70 it's, plus? Eh, it's my way of saying maybe a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got 10% to use, haven't you? Callum says York is the halfway point. Cool. Stolen MHR property says try and get the percentage to a thousand. Do you want to go out, dog? Go on. Uh uh. Is that for our target? Just letting the dog out for a week. Go on. It's hammering down with rain outside, he doesn't want to go. Go on. Uh, it's just started raining up here in Yorkshire. Go on. Right, so York's the halfway point then. He's not a proper Springer Spaniel, this one. He doesn't want to go outside in the rain. <laughs> He's just standing in the door and looking at it. I can just imagine him like having a Yorkshire action, just looking out the window with a pipe in his mouth going, Oh, look at this bloody weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He won't go out. Alright, go back to bed then, come on. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> well Sam, you are in bed, you've been in bed all day, haven't you? Shh, don't tell everyone. <laughs> Sam live streams from in his bed. So he, doesn't Pretty even much. Have, he doesn't even have to get out of bed to do a live stream, he just lies in his bed. Of course, it does make it even more tiring. Um, but yeah, basically um, my bedroom is in the loft in attic, Yeah. Um, so because of like, the shape of the roof, I've got quite a big floor space, but I've got very little vertical room, so um, I don't actually have room to have like a desk set up anywhere, so because of my setup, um, basically I've got my laptop plugged into a TV, which sits above um, above my stairway, and then I've got my bed opposite it, so my bed is my computer desk. Sam, I've just realised something. Yep. We're doing 95 miles an hour. 
You're the one driving, don't look at me. I wasn't really paying attention because I was like, oh, we're not doing anywhere near 90. And now we're Ladies doing, and like, gentlemen, the locomotive driver. Sorry, I'm not going to slow down because we're uh, we're on an uphill gradient. Uh, Daniel Mobley, yeah, lads, less about what you've got. Um, Craston Junction, no, I wasn't on during the Great Britain tour. Daniel Mobley says he imagines you standing on the footplate with nightcap and pyjamas. He wouldn't have a yeah. nightcap, he's going to have a Yorkshire flat cap. Even in bed. Aye. <laughs> and his Harris tweed pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> 8213 Productions has donated £2 to Super Chat, says recent Sam Power! Well, the rig is through the roof, so we are giving it what we can. We're um, we're cheekily making up for uh, that twenty minutes we lost earlier. Yeah, just a little bit. I, I need I to mean, check the timetable. Actually, we're six miles to Doncaster, so I'm going to have to shut off in a minute. I don't know about you, Reese, but that looks like it's saying. Um, what else that read to you about eighty? I think it's about um, 85 at most. Yeah, I, I, I'd go with it. Yeah, go with like 85, yeah. yeah. So it's fine, we're only doing 85. Just looking for the timetable. So we're due in Doncaster 11:35, and it is 11:56. So we'll see how late we are. Adam Bridgewater has a good point. Should have got a loco without a speeder, no speeder, no problems. That's right, if you don't know what your speed is, you're not speeding, are you? <laughs> you just look out the window and go, yeah, that looks about right. Right, how far have we got? Four miles to Doncaster, so we're going to have to start slowing down before long. Yeah. Yeah, looking at that, I think we're going to have to start slowing down pretty soon. That's I'd say about now. Shut the rag. Eject her on. Let's give her a bit of break in. How long are we stopped at uh, Doncaster? Five minutes for in the plat. Yeah, is it five minutes? What have we got after? Holgate loop. Assuming Holgate loop's dark, isn't it? Yeah. Assuming that train sim actually gets the uh, the road right this time. Yeah. Right, let me just um, shut fire our door and then lock our jaws. Right up. Let's just release the brakes now. We still got two and a half miles to run to Doncaster. Well, while you are in control of the work, I'm just going to go shut my bedroom window. Michael said. On account, it started chucking it down. Michael said we might not be able to go 95 miles an hour over junctions. <laughs> Michael Wait. underestimates what? our ability. What does Michael know? <laughs> All We've done it do before, is... we'll do it again. All you have to do is believe and hold on for dear life. I mean... I'm going to bring it down to about 40 mile an hour, I think. I'm not entirely convinced that the passengers, you know, food and drinks will be able to survive going over junctions at 95 mile an hour, but everything else will. 
I still like that story of um, Coronation Scott when it were uh, doing its like record run and it got up to um, I think it was 114.6 or something like that mile an hour but it got up to it in such a place I think it were coming up to Prue it had to slow down yeah, they because it had like, been going so fast, it went over like crossovers way too quick. It smashed up crockery in uh, in dining car. Yeah, I, I remember hearing that story. It was like that. Yeah, they went flying into crew, and they just like, oh, slow down. Yeah. But I can just imagine them doing that, and I can imagine it being exactly like it is on our live streams. Pretty much. Like, oh, that's a bit quick. Slam on the brakes. Double yellow, next signal is yellow. Yep. If you get a double yellow, it's an advanced warning. Yep. Well, I'm down to 37, so I'd like to think that I'm a bit more in control this time. Yep. He says. I mean, technically, I could still be doing 100 right now. I would have recommended it. 25 mile an hour for the crossovers, so we'll start slowing down for them. Right, so we're going over the crossovers now, so let's get down to 25. Feather diagram is showing that we're going hard to the left. Yay. Is that hard to starboard or hard to port? Hard to port, pretty much. It's a shame. Hard to port doesn't sound as good as hard to starboard. So it's 12.01. What time did I say we were due in? Uh, if I I think. Yeah. I don't know if like, we were due in or due out, but. I'll double check. I might actually stop properly at a station this time. Well, hey! Hello, Doncaster, birthplace of Flying Scotsman. Get back from G the platform edge, you crazy people. Move! She's about to smack me in the head. Ah! Out. Ah! Out. Thank you, lady, for just uh, hitting the driver in the face. I'm actually going to pull up at the signal as well. Let me just uh, press number five to see, did we get in the platform? Oh, yeah! How about that, Reese? I did something competently. Look at that. We, we're actually uh, succeeding a bit now. So five minutes in uh, Doncaster. Right, did you want to go make a drink or anything, Sam? Nope. I think I'm just going to make a very quick cup of coffee while we're here. Yeah. I'll tell you what we can do. Um... Oh yeah, let everyone off. Open the carriage doors, because we have to do that manually now. Yeah. And of course, don't forget, when you're um, stood at a station, everyone piles up to get photos of the engine. Oh yeah, that's right. Right, what's our water level? It is 116332, and we've got 2234103 coal. So let's do some mathematics real quick.
Right, so we have used 3,668 gallons of coal. Gallons of water, even. Gallons of coal. Two, two, three. No, that's not right. Two, two, four. Minus two, two, three. And we've used five, eight, nine, seven pounds of coal. So that's nearly six tons of coal since we left London. Oof. So we've we've nearly used a whole tender of water. Three thousand six hundred and sixty eight gallons, so we'd only have about three hundred and something left in the in a single tank. Yeah. So there we are. Proof that um, the gov was the right choice. Michael says we can do another giveaway. Yeah, let's do another giveaway. I know. The word this time will be Cornish pasty. The first person to type Cornish pasty in the chat will be given the next code. And don't worry, we've got quite a few codes to give today. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's da, gonna da, da, win? Da, 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 da. And it's Callum, of course it's Callum. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the patrons on um Yeah on um, the Discord server. So Callum, you're the winner of the next code. I'll get that sorted in the next few minutes, okay? I'm going to go make a quick cup of coffee if I've got time. What time are we... We're due off, like... Well, we're due off. <laughs> oh, we're... Ah, forget my cup of coffee. We're just going to have to go, aren't we? I think so, yeah. We don't really have the time. Because we're running no. so late, we just got to get going. We'll have to make up for it. All right, then, if you're ready, I'll take the break. I'm ready. Just, um... There we are. Look as yours. That's on. That's off. Off we go. I don't think Dark DJ Productions got the memo because he put Pornish Casty. That's close enough. It's close enough. And if you don't particularly like Cornish pasties, you could call it a Cornish nasty. Did anyone check that the doors were shut? You're the driver. <laughs> <laughs> eh, close enough. That's alright, that pass those passengers were smacking my head as we were driving into the platform. So I'm using the doors to take them out Get as, revenge. We as we leave. <laughs> She feels a bit sluggish. Hmm, I wonder if someone put the handbrake on. No, I'm sure I took it off. Yeah, it's definitely off. Yeah, oh well. Dark DJ Productions checked all the doors. They're all closed except one. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the one door that's taking out every passenger on the platform. Well, that's why we tell them to stand behind the yellow line. That's true. The yellow line is there for a reason. If oh, you stood in front of the yellow line, you're liable to get sucked off. No comment. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that we're meandering our way through Doncaster. What was I going to say? This. Let me check the map. Yeah. Next stop is Holgate Loop. 
Oh, we've already done all the wiggly bits through Doncaster then. Tyne Yard is our big stop, isn't it? Yeah, that's 30 minutes at Tyne Yard. Right, so now that we've left Doncaster, we got to get the gravy going because we got to serve the first course. Aye. So what's the starter for today? Um. Um. <laughs> um <laughs> just pass. A, a bowl of gravy. <laughs> I mean, if it was me, it would just be, um, you know, you'd have gravy and you'd have uh, Yorkshire puddings and uh, and gravy and Yorkshire puddings there we go that's our menu thanks to our chef de party Sam uh, you have some gravy as well can't forget the gravy uh, with a side of, oh the cylinder cocks are open whoops let's wind it right back Right, let's find Callum on Discord and give him his code. There we go. Callum, if you're still watching, you've got your code sent to you on uh, on Discord. Right, sorry I was just catching up on the Discord comments. There's been so much interest in this stream, hasn't there? It's been mad. Yep. So it's 20 past 12. It's if it were any other stream, Reese, we'd be pretty much done by now. Well, I was going to say 3 hours 40. I think our longest previous stream was um, Bristol to Kingsweir, which was about three and a half hours. Yeah. So this is already smashing that record and we're not even halfway. Yep. So Yeah. <laughs> right, Doncaster Holgate Loop, which is in twenty eight miles. So for you guys to know Holgate Loop is just outside Yorkshire. And York. York, even York Station. Don Don Doncaster's in Yorkshire. Yeah, we're already in we Yorkshire. Are, we are in White Rose country. Hooray! And the land of tea ferrets and white roses. 
And of course, Yorkshire puddings. Ooh. Black caps, uh, whippets, uh, pints. Uh, Pint with an head on it, then you'll know. You sing it in the in the Yorkshire calypso. Uh, Yorkshire Airways, remember if it didn't in Yorkshire it's not worth really visiting. <laughs> Raymond the class 47, hello, how are you doing? We're doing good. We've got plenty of steam, we've got plenty of gravy, we've got plenty of Yorkshire puddings. And uh, apparently the longest we've done, Reese, is Swansea, um, which oh, were 3 hours 15 minutes. That was, um, yeah, we did Swansea to Shrewsbury, didn't we, in the cathedral. Yeah. That was quite a, yeah, that was quite a long live stream, wasn't it? Aye. Uh, hey, and I'll tell you what we can do with, um... With Princess, what would be a good one? What's that? Um, two part stream. Maybe do it in one go, maybe do it in two, depends what we feel like. But uh, steaming over Shap and steaming over Beatuk. I wish there was a root mage of that. So do I. It would be so nice to be able to do it all in one pop. Um, but yeah, Preston to Glasgow. It's very sad, the guy that uh, made that route, he passed away, I'm afraid, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, which is a shame, because he's done some magnificent... Uh, some magnificent work for Train Sim. Great Northern Productions is uh, singing in Yorkshire in the chat. Ah, it's marvellous, isn't it? <laughs> hey, we'll have to um, we'll have to work on that advert at some point, Reese. Yes, we need to. After um, I'll have to work on my accent as well, and <laughs> you know, try, try and go as heavily with it as I can. Oh yeah. As full the ultra as you can go. Aye. Right, so since we're running nicely now, just gonna have a quick uh, look at the Just Giving page. Yep. Right, so as it stands right now, we've raised 226% of the um, the target. We've raised £1,135. That's on Just Giving. And looking, <laughs> looking at um, the Super Chats, we've raised what I think is £94.67. So I'm going to have to do some maths on that. Oh dear. I know, I hate doing maths. What did I say? 1135. And then Super Chat plus 94.67. So the total so far is £1,229.67 raised. I mean, can you believe that? From a train simulator stream? Yeah. I mean, to be honest. I didn't really feel like um, this was going to be something that special, you know? I didn't think we were going to make uh, that much money for the railway children. Uh, Unbelievable. Just as a reminder for everybody, I... Um, if you give money via the Just Giving page, all that money goes directly to the railway children. None of it comes to me. It all goes straight to the charity. If you donate via the Super Chat function on the live stream, first of all, that money goes to YouTube and they take 20% as a cut. 
and then it comes to me and I'm going to make a donation with whatever the number is on the screen. So there's a little green bar on the right side of the screen. At the moment it is showing £94.67, I think. And I'm going to make that donation when the live stream is finished and we'll, we're all sorted. Twenty miles to York. You know, really, we should have had York as the servicing point. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that. But Halfway, and we could have gone to NRM. Yeah, we could have gone to the NRM for an hour. Had, Hello. Some, had some lunch. That being said, the NRM don't do um, mainline steam anymore, does it? No. It's, um, they've shut it down as a mainline steam facility. As part of their whole um, modernisation plans and trying to inspire the next generation to be railway engineers and all that kind of stuff, which they've done by getting rid of the engineering workshops and replacing them with a spiky red plastic thing. Um, but yeah, you can go have a um, you can go have a look on the NR NRM's Facebook page and see how popular their decision has been. <laughs> yeah, it's very popular, as I can tell. I find it quite comical, really. I've, I mean, the, the reaction on the posts they've put up about this new Wonder Lab are just absolutely overwhelmingly negative. Oh yeah. Um, like not even just a little bit negative. It's like overwhelmingly negative um, but yeah it's I mean, it just seems like a bit of an odd decision really Com getting rid of the railway workshops and replacing them with absolutely nothing to do with railways and then claiming that's going to inspire the next generation I mean I have to be honest what would have inspired me more was what did inspire me more actually was being able to walk on the viewing platform in the workshop and see locomotives being restored. Yeah. I found that far more inspiring. So did I. And not only that, but that bit is where they had all the interactive stuff. You know, they had like the little oh, wooden yeah. trains where you could put them together yourself. And yeah, all the all signaling, signaling bells you could play with and do all codes and little model railway where you did signaling for it. And that, that for me were like you know, growing up and going to NRM, that was what inspired me, like, well, the whole, wow, this is great, isn't it, you know. And that's the bit they've got rid of. And they've replaced it with, like, a red plastic statue instead, it's just... I've got to be honest, like, when we were growing up, was the day when the people, the managers and all, were people who would have once been railway men. Yeah. Like, they would have actually worked on the footplate of steam engines and they actually cared about it. Whereas, yeah. it's not just the NRM, we're seeing this in all different areas. The managers are being taken over by younger people who don't have that same personal connection. Yeah. And they're running it as a business rather than as what it's intended for. I mean, some, um, that, somebody made that a That reverse is creeping up a bit, Reese. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 we're in reverse now. Hang on. <laughs> Something happened then. I don't know what that was. But, like, somebody made a, an offhand comment about on one of their posts years ago. And I thought it was quite funny, but it's also sadly true. Like, somebody said the next big step for the NRM was going to be to get rid of the turntable and build a children's soft play in there. Yeah. And I was like, it's funny, but actually, there's a sad element of truth in that. But that's the sort of yeah. thing, thinking that these people have. Yeah, it is. Um, Crawston Junction it's... says he remembers looking at the workshop where Sir Nigel Gresley was in there in pieces. Yeah, I had exactly the same thing. Flying Scotsman and Sir Nigel Gresley. I saw both of them in the workshops and I was like, that's awesome. Callum but again, I think... Go on, I'll let you get your comment in. He wants me to check Discord. Ah, right. Um, 
but yeah, I think there's, the problem is that the people that have made this decision have a fundamental lack of understanding about what, you know, the museum is actually for and about. Um, and it's this whole, you know, trying to attract new people and keep the visitor numbers up and all that kind of stuff, which is great, but it's a railway museum, it's supposed to be about railways, and there's nothing wrong with making something that's more interactive to try and get, you know, youngsters more interested, but... And make it about railways. Exactly. I can you know, give you a really good example. Didcot Railway Centre have just built a new outdoor playground. And it's yeah. in the shape of a pannier tank and a, uh, some van thing and a towed brake van. And there's yep. slides on it, there's climbing things, but it's in it's in keeping with what their mission is. So that is the perfect example of how it could be done. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're catering to the modern audience where people are taking families for days out and you need entertainment for kids, granted. I, I know firsthand about that one. Um... But it's in keeping with what you're... And it's not only if it's a railway museum. It's like if you're a, a science museum or an aeroplane museum, you need to have things that are relatable or related to what you're actually doing. Yeah. Um, just as an update uh, for Michael, Callum has said he'd, he would like someone else to have the calendar. So he was the one who won the last code. He wants to give it away to someone else. So I think what we'll do is we'll just rerun that. Um, we'll just rerun that last one, should we? Yeah. Can do it now if you want. Yeah. Do you want to think of a code word for people to say in the chat? What have we had so far? We've had sausage wine and we've had Cornish pasty. Shall we keep it on topic? Shall we go for um, Shall we go for ball pit? Go on then. So first person to say a ball pit in the chat. I mean, I'm not like being controversial, is so. there? Someone's just put straight away Cornish pasty. Crawston <laughs> Junction had it copy pasted ready just in case, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Dufferin Media. There we go. Dufferin Media, you are the winner of that code. So, if you're on Discord or anything, can you just let me know what your username is? At uh, DJ Productions, you could buy a lot of little ones, or you could buy one very big one. Don't worry guys, there is going to be lots more chances to win uh, a calendar on the giveaway. Have we got um, about 10 codes, something like that? 10 codes and we've given two away. Well, given one away, one's been rejected. <laughs> so, uh... How rude. I know, right? Dufferin Media <laughs> has won a code, so, um... I don't know. Still where... ain't more chances. I don't know. Are you on Discord, uh, Dufferin Media? Or Facebook? Just either give me a Facebook message or a Discord message. And just say, hey, I'm this guy. Uh, Reese. Yeah. We are not far off from York. Right up. Yeah, we're on that approach now, aren't we? We've got. Um, where's that go to? That's the line to Leeds, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah. I don't know if it's that one or that one. I think it's that one that goes off that way. I think Leeds is like there-ish. George D one nine four eight says um, the next. When will the next code be? Well, we're going to stop at York for water at Holgate Loop. So that's when the next code will be. And then we'll do one at York Station as well. Are we stopping at York Station? Yeah. we got ah, right. six miles to Hullgate. Dufferin Media says this ah, is yeah. York. Username. 
a wild V Y B E. Okay, Duffer and Media, I'll be in touch on. Well, either you drop me a DM or I'll drop you a DM if I can find you, and I'll let you have your code. Left to Micklefield and Leeds and straight on to York. Right, okay, we're getting double yellows now, so I'm going to start slowing down. Yep. We still got five miles to run. I wonder why we're getting doubles. With uh, speed limits going over crossover. Oh, we better get slowing down then. Osman Games has popped back into the chat um, and oh. said we're making good progress. Oh god, Sam. Uh, oh god. It's a good job I saved it not so oh long ago. Oh god. I'd say it's about 45 miles an hour. It says 70 on the sign. It does say 70 on the sign, doesn't it? There is no way you could go over that at 70. No way. Apparently there is. It's a 70 mile an hour crossover. We're up and we're up again. It is. There's multiple signs for it, isn't there? Yeah, 70 and 70. There is no way you could do that at 70. Oh, she doesn't sound happy. Because someone just dumped the brakes on her and she's still got 17 inches uh, uh, in her I wonder who did that. <laughs> <laughs> Bossman Games, good afternoon, chaps. You're making great progress. Hi, Ben. Thank you so much for your donation. We are plodding our way on and we're almost at York. And Ben, just for you to know, we've, uh, we've raised about 1,200 quid, which is unbelievable. I cannot believe so many people donated. Uh, what was I going to look at? Calculator, wasn't I? Just so you know, Reese, there's like three and a half miles to go, so you probably want to be keeping an eye on the loco at the moment and worrying about your calculator when we're taking on water. Okay. I was just going to let it go up to about 45 or so. So we're on the um, we're on the approach to Holgate, on the on the sort of approach to York. At some point on the left hand side of the track, we're going to go past Yorkshire Model Engineer Society. Correct. Where I uh, I've run there a couple of times with my live steam engines. Yeah, right. I went visiting, and uh, it's a very nice setup actually. Um, yeah, it was really good actually. I, I, I thoroughly recommend if anyone ever gets a chance to go. The problem is they don't really open for the public, but they, they do kind of have some open days that are not really like public open days. But public do go there. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird how they do it. Um, what I'm thinking, Reese. Yeah. I'm thinking we want to make this water stop as quick as possible. Well, we um, get time for, to get back on schedule. Yeah. I think we want to make the water stop as quick as possible, get into York. Um, and then if we need a rest, we can have a rest in York. In well, the let, platform. Let's just um, check what route we're going in first. Because it should all be set. Look, we're going into the sidings. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's, well, that looks actually, that's correct. That's set correctly now. 2.1 mile. HR126 has donated $5 to Super Chat. Thank you very much. And he said, do you happen to have the old GTA 5 videos? If so, would you be able to upload them to Discord? I will double check, but to be honest, they're probably gone. Um... But if they are still on YouTube, yes, I can post the links onto the Discord server. Unfortunately, they had to go because, as it turns out, the music on the radio in the game was triggering the YouTube's um, copyright protection thing. Hence why they they ended up being uh, demonetized and all that. 
Really silly, I know, but uh, there we are. Terry Bartlett says I would love to give coaches a try, but I'm saving money for Eastbourne and the Blue Burley. Bluebell Railway's Giants of Steam Gala may be a trip to Scotland on the Jacobite. I think any moment now on the left is going to be where the York Model Engineers are. Uh, there's no point gaining too much speed because we will be slowing down for Holgate siding. In fact, there's the feather. You can see on the signal up ahead, that's the feather for turning off. Yep. So, so we'll have to be uh, reducing to about what I saw there was 30 miles an hour. Do you know what? Um, something I was going to say is a lot of people... You know the rail strikes that's been going on in the UK over the last few months? Yep. A lot of stupid people commenting on something saying, oh, trains are easy to drive, you only have to go forwards and backwards. If anything, even just playing a game, I know, and I'm, I'm going to take a bit of flack for saying this, because you can never compare Train Sim Classic to the real life in terms of signalling accuracy and all that. Oh my god, that's the point! Um. Ah, hold on, hold on, oh my god, hold on. Every so this is now three out of four stops like you've mucked up. Every single Yorkshire pudding fell out of the uh, out of the luggage Luggered racks. racks. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's fine. It's not a problem. Why is the ejector <sighs> closed? Because somebody who is the driver in control of the brakes has closed it. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't just completely drop both anchors and kept myself. Full ahead. And we're wheel slipping. I just wanted to demonstrate the wheel slipping ability of this engine. Again. Again. Just like that. Um, <laughs> it does look nice though, doesn't it? Dear. Right, um, I need to check the timetable as well to see what time we were due in and what time we were due out because this stop was 20 minutes. Speaking maybe of which, you should, you know, maybe you should stop and wait until we're taking on water first. I mean, you just slammed the brakes hard on so everyone's gone flying forwards and then you've gone over to squiggle a bit so they've been thrown left and right as well. Then you've just set off at a rocket pace, so they'll have been flung back into the seats again. Right, so I set the... See, we're going to have the same problem with the line in the loco again, I think. Well... Give it a go. So the tender should be where the bloke is standing. Yeah. We'll give it a go. Is that too far? I mean, it should technically work. No. It's not working again. Now, I, I, I've got a feeling it's train sim being train sim. So I'm going to just make a note of it. See, the tender's on the water point. Only just. Mm. I mean, we can set back a little I, uh, bit. Yeah, try setting back a bit. I'm just going to make a note of the... Um, do you want to set it back a moment? I'm just writing down the water level. One, one, five, 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 two. Call two, two, three, three, one, nine, nine. Yeah, you only gotta go back a few feet, haven't you? Still not taking on water, is it? Nah. I've got a feeling that for whatever reason the 
watering points just don't work, do they? Well, you added a scenario editor, didn't you, Avalon? Re the world editor. I think um, that's where you've gone wrong. Um, I mean, it's worked for me in the past, doing it, but maybe because if it's only long... you'd done a test run. I know, but at least, at least we're not, you know, completely buggered for this live stream. It's yeah, it's not having it. Well, it's a good thing we've got the Gov and it's a good thing we've got the modified tender because otherwise we would be stuffed. So I'll, I'll explain now, guys, in just a moment. I'm just writing down the numbers. So we've made it to Holgate Yard, which is just outside York Station. Since leaving King's Cross, we have used 4,448 gallons of water, so that's a whole collet tender. And we've also burned through 6.8 tonnes of coal. So I'm not sure how many tonnes the King's Tender actually does hold. Um, do you have any idea, Sam? How much what? Coal that a King's Tender holds. Is it about 12 tonne? <laughs> no, I would imagine it... Well, a Stania Tender holds... Uh, nine ton of coal and four thousand gallons of water for you know like a black five or a jubilee or so it's probably similar ish then isn't it i would imagine it would be about the same that seemed to be um the standard i think lnr tenders held a bit more water you know four wheeled ones yeah um but i would imagine it would be somewhere around about those numbers four thousand to five thousand gallons and about nine ton right we were due to arrive at holgate 1208 departs 12.28 and it's now 12.40 oh boiler water's a bit full yeah and uh, someone brought up the hood while we were injecting with both injectors sorry <laughs> yeah I just say we've had uh, 6 to 8 tons given as answers for the uh, king's tender 6 to 8 tons is it well, we've had six tons in the chat and eight tons in the chat, so well, it's boss which would make has said eight tons. So I'm going yeah, to which would make sense to... because a Stanley attender uses up the full loading gauge, whereas a King's doesn't. I'm more inclined to believe Bossman Games. Oh no, I just said that, and he's corrected himself. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> there you go, six ton then. Judging on the time, I would say let's give it five minutes here. What do you think? What time were we due out? Well, 28 and it's now 42. Well, I'd say we'll go at quarter. Yeah, let's go at quarter uh, two. Just... Because that, that'll have given us a reasonable amount of time to fill it up with water. James Wright says, how have we lost time? Well, we had to mess around at Grantham because it was... Uh, for some reason, Train Sim routed us onto the wrong road. And it, for some reason, it wanted us to back down onto the, the road where we were taking water. <sighs> And of course, because it's a scenario, if you miss a, an objective in the scenario, it won't let you continue on with the rest of the scenario, which is really annoying. So we had to back up and go back to the siding correctly just to make the scenario thing work. So just while we're here, we'll save. Tell you what, Reese. do you want to do a crew change at York? Yeah. You want to drive Hop over a bit? Yeah, that's fine. I'll let you take it into the station and we'll swap over on platform. Maybe you'll drive a bit more competently than I've been doing so far. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> right. We'll take the brakes off. So it's just a, we're going to sort of skip our water stop a little bit here, aren't we? Well, like I said, with uh, Bahamas, if we get two hoses on it, we can do it in... Uh, seven minutes oh we'll just pretend we got two hoses then uh yeah we've got two hoses from tanker i'm just going to take a quick screenshot while we're here i love um i love bossman games comment there it odd six tons or 5345 pasties well, that's a lot of pasties but every single one of them has a very large calorific yield as slimming will keep telling me but um, there we are. <laughs> right, so... You know you don't need to get rid of the F5 hood for screenshots, don't you? Uh, it depends on how you take the screenshots, because you do the Control and S one, don't you? Yep. 
whereas I press you, F, F12. Ah, uh, yeah, if you do F12, it'll, uh, it'll keep it in there. Proston Junction says, do you usually do free roams or uh, what? Well, we have. I done, do free roams. We have done free roams in the past, but I've the last few virtual footplates I've tried to set up an actual scenario so that we have things because I like being able to see like this the distances between each point. Um, it just makes it a bit more interesting for the live stream. Forty seconds, would you out? It's fine. Less than half of the ideal fire mass will last us, right? Yeah, but we're only going into the platform, aren't we? Yeah. We're not even going to get up faster than about 30 mile an hour, I expect. Right? Well, we're going 0. 0.6 of a mile. <laughs> Michael says Sam only wants Reese to drive into York because of his history with driving into York. <laughs> got, PTSD, got PTSD from my last stream. I've just got visions of a Midland single on its side. <laughs> Flying through the air. Just with uh, York Station just pitifully close. Well, I'll tell you what, since we're going to make it to, to York Station, I'll um, I'll play the, the Railway Children video when we're in York Station, shall I? Yeah, we can do a screw change there and have a toilet break, leg it to platform toilets. Yeah, we might as well do that in York Station then. Yeah. Something which I would love to do in future live streams is have AI traffic. Because it would be yeah. nice to have other trains, even if they're just like, you know, not scenery, but moving around, just like, just to have something to look at to make it Even feel. if we were in platforms or. Yeah. It's, it's well, just I'll tell a, you what. It takes so long to set that stuff up and make it work. I was just going to say, challenge for, um, challenge for anyone in the chat that wants to be involved with AWP stick out a recruitment thing we are looking for someone to create us some AI trafficking scenarios we are a minute late leaving whoops uh, <clears throat> right so now the plan guys is we're proceeding from Holgate's loop into leave the um, cylinder taps open yeah, okay. Just because we're priming. Apparently I'm banned from York Railway Station. Not entirely sure why, but okay. Speed um, is 25. George, E1948. How often do virtual footplates occur? Well, they occur whenever Reese isn't working or too tired. And we're both available, so about twice a year. Yeah. Uh. Unfortunately, this year, you know, the I did come up with a streaming schedule earlier this year based on Fridays <laughs> that I was <laughs> off, and that just went down the toilet very quickly. Yep. So. <clears throat> it re I think it was after about the second one when you realised you were actually working. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, oh well, that's gone out the window now. Okay, so look where it's done with the routing. Ah, I love Train Simulator. Train Sim is awesome, isn't it? So I think we're going into Platform 11. Oh yeah. Michael said it would be free a year, but Reese cancels one a year due to last minute work commitments. So now we're approaching platform 11. Now I chose this platform based on we'd be closer to the NRM. Not entirely it's sure. Normally, um, it's normally one of these outer platforms that gets used for rail tours. That's what I thought. It'd be one I of think the it's normally. I think it's normally 10. Um, tens of when I've been in with Bahamas, both times I've been to York with it. National Railway Museum is just up ahead on the left, isn't it? Uh-huh.
definitely not panicking. <clears throat> There was no panic in my voice whatsoever. That's all right. We'll let you off. We'll let you off. Right. Turn the blower. Uh, ejectors off. Yeah, she's your loco then. So we'll just right. let everyone out. How long are we stay in here? Five minutes. Uh, something like that. What time are we due out of York? Oh look, it's Watch. um. I'm just gonna look at the timetable, but we're massively behind time anyway, so it's. Uh, can you stick a um, no, copy 12, of... 12.35, so see we're already uh, near, okay. we're going to leave here 20 minutes down. Yeah. Can you um, stick a copy of the timetable in the Facebook group? Yeah. I'll keep an eye on it and then uh, see not... what miracles I can work driving. <laughs> right. Facebook chat. There we go. You got the timetable now. Lovely, thank you. Um, and just while we're sitting here, since we got five minutes, I'm going to play the uh, the video, the railway children video, just for us to see. Okay. Yep. Um, I'll, I'll, now, if you want, sorry. if you want, around to, uh, the world, tens of millions of children are struggling to survive on the streets, facing violence, exploitation, and often death. Hands up if you think even one child is too many. Good. Us too. We are railway children. We fight for children on the street. We've been doing it for over 20 years and we're good at it. And we won't stop until we live in a world where no child ever has to live on the streets again. So how can we get there? Simple. We find out why children are on the streets and we change things so they never have to go back. Okay. It's nowhere near as simple as that, because a bed for the night might get a child off the street, but then what? Well, then our work really starts. For lasting change, we have to work on three levels. We fight to reach children on the streets before abusers, drug dealers and traffickers do. Finding them shelter, food and support is the first step. But we can't be everywhere at once, so through training and support, we turn people at key locations on the ground into our eyes and ears. Then they can spot vulnerable children themselves and help them before it's too late. We work with governments because if the system doesn't change, nothing does. We make our voice heard until we get the policy changes that keep children off the streets forever. In our first 22 years, we helped more than 300,000 children in the next five, we aim to reach 150,000 more. Here's how we're going to do it. In the UK, we'll be working directly with the British Transport Police to create a national safety network, safeguarding vulnerable children on and around the UK transport system. We'll establish safeguarding projects in six of the most needed locations and provide therapeutic services for children and their families. In East Africa, will work intensively on the streets in at least 12 cities, reaching 15,000 children and helping them recover from the impact of violence. In India, we'll increase our number of child-friendly stations to 25, working directly with government children's homes in those areas. We'll also train and support 15,000 government personnel to help vulnerable children. That'll mean 120,000 children will be protected and 96,000 return to their families. But we want to reach even more children and we can't do that on our own. So here's the plan. We'll make sure our time-tested model is replicable. Then we'll support and empower other organizations around the world to use this model to reach more children than we ever could by ourselves. Together, we can create a world where none of our children have to live on the streets ever again. Are you with us? Hello everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> that was a little video just to show uh, 
the mission behind the Railway Children, the charity that we're raising money for today. I think it's better for me to show that video to, uh, you know, they just tell you that what their mission is and how they're achieving it better than I could, you know. Right, are we ready, uh, Sam? Uh, we're ready. It's one minute to go until we're due out. So we're, we're leaving um, York exactly 20 minutes late, so we've actually made up 10 minutes. I think, if I've calculated that right. I like how Sam is now just trying to uh, show up, you know, show me up here that I check in that the doors are actually shut before we go. <laughs> doors are shut. There we go. Um, James Wright is off. It's um, it's probably either my desktop fan of my computer, or laptop, I should say. Either that or it is the engine blowing off in the background. It's one of them. It probably could be the engine blowing off in the video because you'll still hear the train sim vid noise. Even when the video is playing. Right then. Next stop, Tyne Yard, mate. Righto. Right away, drive. You know, I've um, in work, Sam. I get taxis quite a lot for my work, getting to and from uh, different places. Yeah. And as soon as I get in, ta in the taxi, the first thing I say is right away, drive. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one p.m. now. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's just before one o'clock. You see how? In the space of four and a half hours that we've been live streaming, the computer clock is actually running slower than the real clock. Yeah. So in the game, it's five to one, and in real life, it's just gone one o'clock. So there's already about seven minutes difference. And that's just the way that computers work and train simulator works. Um, but what can you do? James Wright says, hopefully you can fill up at Tyne Yard. I hope so. But even if we can't, we do have enough uh, coal and water to make it all the way to Edinburgh. And I've got a gut feeling because of the way the scenario is and and the way train simulators be in, that we're not going to be able to take on coal and water. And If, if that's, only we could have tested it first. And every single stop that we make, Sam is reminding me of that. So uh, there we go. Callum did another super chat. Thank you, Callum. I'm just going to have to scroll up to find that one. He said the train at Platform 11 is full of gravy. Which, yes, that makes sense. Um, as we uh, bounded into Pla into Holgate Yard at uh, <laughs> throwing ourselves all over the track. I think there was just another super chat. I just had a notification. Or is that a donation? I can't tell. I think it might have been a, a Just Giving donations. I'm just going to load up the Just Giving page a moment. Now, just want to point out, ladies and gentlemen of the chat, Reese is now firing. So, expect bad things. Oh yeah. Um, I, I probably should shovel, shouldn't I? <laughs> and you've got to keep up with the injectors as well. I find I and K are the best injectors to use. Okie dokie. Um, it's, you've got to hold the water to open it and shift hold the water to close it, but the steam is just a press yeah. for on and off. So 
So now we're uh, making our way north out of York, swinging around and heading what was one of the first routes ever made for train sim. Newcastle to York. Ooh, um, Reese, I know you are busy with your firing, but you will want to have a look at what Michael's just um, tagged us in in the Facebook chat. Hang on. Um, we are now well and truly over the uh, 300% mark. That is an incredibly generous donation. Seriously? I'm going to have to go have a look now in just a moment. I just finished sorting the coal out. Let's find the Just Giving page. Oh, apparently one of my comments on my own Facebook has uh, been removed for bullying or harassment. Okay. Sounds about right. Okay, that's new. Um, <laughs> it's my own personal Facebook, not, um, you know, not AWP. I was just making fun of a friend. Never had that Bullying before. and harassing. Yeah, I've <laughs> never had that before. And I've, I've used the same words many times on Facebook. Anyway, go. let's have a look at this uh, Just Giving page a moment. Right. I think coal is okay. That's... Yeah, dampers are on. Turn the blower right down, crack it open slightly. You've got enough coal. Just giving, let's load it up. You doing all right, Sam? Yep. Oh, someone's just dropped out of uh, Discord, apparently. Okay, so we have reached 309% of our target. We've raised £1,549 out of our £500 target. So we have more than twice smashed our target, which is unbelievable thank you ever so much for everyone who's watching i can't believe how well this live stream is doing so the most recent um oh my goodness Jaden robinson is the most recent um contributor or donator i should say and he says i just want to say thank you to you and sam for holding such a fantastic fundraiser and to everyone else behind the scenes who has made this possible Thank you, you're halfway guys, you've got this in the bag. And he donated 500 US dollars. 500 dollars. I mean, guy, 500 dollars? I mean, I was not expecting to see numbers like that today. That is unbelievable. Isn't it just? 500 dollars donation, that is incredible. Jaden, and I'm gonna have to do like a roll of honor or a video or something after this. I I think we can. I think we should put together a little video. Why? Well, we'll have to say thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll put together a little thank you video. We we'll, we'll can have a think about what we can do for it. Yeah, I think so. Do you know what we could do, Sam? Go on. You know your Yorkshire Day reskins. Aye. We could do uh, or something similar to them. But instead of calling them like ferret or something, have the names of the people who've donated to the live stream. Could do. And then like that could be the thank you video is all of those engines running past the camera showing the name. That would work, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Lewis Owen has donated twenty two minutes ago twenty pounds with five pounds gift aid. Thank you very much, Lewis. An hour ago, we had uh, ADY77014 donated £10 with £2.50 gift aid. Thank you very much. And his message was good luck. One hour ago, Callum, OTH investor, A up, is what he said. Now that we're in the land of Yorkshire, that makes sense. He donated £3. Adam Bridgewater, 
he donated the cost of the calendar, so £12.49. I thought it was only right to donate the cost of the calendar plus what would be donated via gift aid too, since I can't add the value to receiving a prize. Good luck, boys. I cannot believe the generosity of everybody today. It's been overwhelmingly positive. In, and I have to say, you know, the train sim community at times has been very well known for being very negative. Well, you'd agree with that. I think everybody would agree with that. Yeah. There are times where the train sim community can be quite toxic and quite negative. But today, I'm genuinely going to say it has shocked me by how generous many of you have been and how po overwhelmingly positive, you know, to raise money for a cause like this. Everybody's come together and donated, made things possible. Developers have worked on this, you know, to give me the coaches, uh, you know, their time. Jordan has given me his time to make the modifications to the king. Oh, it's unbelievable. I cannot believe how well this stream has gone. And we're it's only halfway. We still got, fantastic. we've still got all the Americans um, to wake up and join, and hopefully yep. there'll be even more uh, interest from across the pond. Fingers crossed. Right. So we'll leave the um, the just giving page for a bit. I'm gonna keep shoveling. So, while we're cracking on and the Loco's pretty happy and Reese is having to work now, um, <laughs> Crosston Junction, um, I believe I promised you an update on the colliery route. Um, so, the colliery route is coming on slowly now, um, I've not been on it for a bit, but I've, um, I've got all the track work laid out, more or less. I've got all the immediate line side scenery laid out. I'm just trying to work on getting wires on the telegraph poles. That's my next big project. Um, and then when that's done, it's moving on to the more distant scenery. So it's progressing quite well. Um, I've got a good collection of uh, reskins done to go with a route, which I keep adding to. Um, the latest one I'm looking at is the Matrix Trains four-wheel and six-wheel Great Western coaches. Um, and then, yeah, so it's plodding on quite nicely. Um, the BLS pack as well is fairly steady away. Core tank reskins are still done. I've actually got a load more sound recordings from this last tour I've done to send over to Steam Sound Supreme, so hopefully I'll get them slapped on. Um, and then that'll be uh, a bit more progress on that. Uh, yeah. I'm currently standing up at my desk and my legs are starting to ache. <laughs> We've been <laughs> and this is where, four um, and a half hours. This is where lying down with your feet up works quite well. Yeah, you're lucky you are. <laughs> Not like the rest of us who have to sit at an office desk. Yeah. I'm just going to have a look at the chat now while I'm standing up. Duffer Media says Facebook is apparently bullying the Welsh for the banter. Yeah, that is that is true. Banning my uh, comments. It's, it's complete racism. Let's see, Dark DJ Production says we've absolutely smashed the target, which is amazing. I can't believe how well this live stream's done, how much money we have raised for the Railway Children. I wonder if we're going to get like a certificate or anything from the Railway Children, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Honestly, we'd have, it, to, get if, it, if, we'd yeah, have to get it scanned in and made into an asset for train sim. Honestly, like, if... If, uh, if they do give us something like a little certificate or something, I'll print it out and I'll have it uh, framed and I'm going to put it up in my office because I'm genuinely proud of that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like you said, I'll scan it in and maybe we can get it import imported to uh, train sim. That would yeah, be make it up cool. as like a headboard or a billboard or something.
Oh, we're blowing off. You're welcome. We can soon solve that. Yeah, I'll open both inje injectors and we'll ruin that. George D1948 says, Mad to think that as far as I know, myself, Rhys, Sam and Michael have witnessed Australians, English and now Americans. Eighty-six miles per hour. We're doing really well. I'm trying to coax as much as I can out of her. Want to make up for that last time. Ooh, sixty-two miles. We've got a good long run here, haven't we? Yeah, this bit is quite a long one. Now, up until this point, it's been like uh, thirty-mile hops. That seems to sort of be where all the stops were, but this next leg is the longest one. So, this is going to be... I should have added a stop at um, Darlington, really, shouldn't I? Yeah. I reckon this will be about 45 minutes then, at 90 mile an hour. Yeah, something like that. Let's see if we can cut it down to 40. Oh yeah, a comment which I completely missed earlier was um, about the super chats. I've only and I only just realised is that the bar on the YouTube screen with the green bar is actually uh, dollars. So it's one hundred and two dollars. Which uh, looking at my conversion thing on um, the YouTube Studio, it's about eighty pound in um, eighty pound forty seven in super chat revenue. That's pretty good. So there's all the money on just giving, and then there's the, the super chat revenue as well, which is, I mean, that's mad. I mean, I was kind of wondering whether to to say these this charity live stream, should we do something like this next year? I'd be up for it. And make it like an annual thing. I mean, I'd, I'd be up for it. The problem is, you're limited on routes. I mean, this this is why I've really kind of strayed away from doing a run like this for as long as I have. Yeah. But thinking about um, it, next year, the I mean, B BHBP route fully all the way from Paddington to Penzance will be ready. Yeah, there's, there's a Great Western Main Line to do. That's one I would like to do a full stream on. Um. And of course, there's uh, timings available for Steam for that, isn't there? There so is, yeah. That, that's one that I would really like to do. A, a recreation of the Cornish Riviera Express, but keeping to the timetable. Um, because we have one readily available, which we can use. Trainspotter123 says, do you know when the uh, Castle class is coming out? It's out. <clears throat> is it out already? Oh, not the castle. I'm thinking of the king like we're driving. Yeah. Um, we don't know when the castle is coming out. Um, it's, as usual, with a lot of train sim stuff, whenever it's ready. But it's not far off now, as far as I understand it. The um, George D1 Bossman Games has, uh, just quickly, Bossman Games has responded with a wink. Yeah. Um, which would indicate like it's coming out imminently. Imagine now he's going to post during this live stream, the castle's out. Because <laughs> uh, I did say all along, if the castle's released, then we're going to drive the Great Western Main Line. <laughs> yeah. That'd be really awkward. A little bit late now. Nah, it's alright. 
it'll certainly well, it'll be what we drive next year for the if you know we do the the next um, charity live stream next year. And we're going to say if we do one for Great Western Main Line, it's got to be a King or a Castle. We'll go for the same, you know, we'll go for a proper rake of coaches and we'll do full length at Great Western Main Line to, to the um, Steam Era timetable. I mean, that would be pretty cool. The only thing we've got a problem with with that is that in the Steam Era timetable, they would have put uh, Collet Goods in between the local and the coaches at, um, I think, Newton Abbott? Yeah. You know, and we won't really have that as an option. No, but we'll be able to. Um you know, we'll still be able to keep to the timetable with it. Yeah. With his brakes and everything. Because, of course, they would have swapped the loco out when you got to Plymouth to go over the uh, over Salt Ash. Yeah. Um, which, obviously, we wouldn't be doing. But Somebody who said, someone just said now... Um... <laughs> ah, ben said when it's ready. For some reason, when I had um, an emoji to a message, it deletes whatever I've written. Oh, that's so, good. I didn't know why that is. Um, yeah, so the Castle class is coming out when it's ready, is the answer. Yeah, basically. Um, George D1948 says maybe next year if the full West Coast main line is out. I mean, is someone making a full WCML? Cause I I've, don't know. I've, I've only seen bits of routes, you know. I, I mean, I suppose it would be like this one. You know, someone will do a route merge at some point. Yeah. 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 Speaking of, <laughs> um, do you do a bit? Save, 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 save. Um. But yeah, if the full West Coast Main Line comes out, I think the full West Coast Main Line with uh, the newly released Princess Royals. Oh yeah, like if if recreation of the Royal Scott, that'd that would be a good one. That would be one I definitely want to do. But. I think at the moment, I think a section of it's missing. I certainly don't know of the full route anywhere. So we'd have to do like the longest sections we can and then exit the scenario and reload into a different one and go through all that. See now that's where this route is what I like because I, I've always wanted to drive a full route and I've been banging on about it for years is full routes from A to B. You know. Yeah rather than stopping and starting and merging and going into different routes I want to drive the whole thing but I realise that that comes at a cost yeah um, what was I going to say they did have a route labelled as WCML merge when I did an open day they had a TS route and there was panel controllers. Oh, that's weird. You never know. Maybe, you know, maybe give it a couple of years, something will come up. Um, as somebody said, uh, run the full lane for the Great Western main, main line with Port Talbot Railway 813. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be savage. Do you know what I would like to do a lot of something like that? I mean, Michael's kind of hinting at this here as well. Um, Cold tank. Do a long, a long length run, but do it as a stopper or like a drop off pick up goods or something like that. Um, which I think, yeah, that would be something interesting to do. Up well um, and onwards says hello from New Zealand. Hello, good morning slash good evening. I'm not sure what it is with you. <laughs> Probably good morning by now. It's half past one in the afternoon here in the UK. Let's have a look at the timetable. When are we due into Tyne Yard? 1337. So see, we're, yeah, due, we're, due we're, in in, we're due in in 20 minutes, but it's, and it's still... 50 miles away. Yeah, we're not going to make that, but... Um, we left York 20 minutes down on our original time, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, we. It, I think we were about half an hour delayed by the time we left Grantham. All that messing around because of the scenario. But here's a good point. Will it route us into the right place? We won't know until we get closer. I mean, this is the place here. 
that's where we're stopping. Yeah. We will have to wait and see. Evening. Apparently it's evening in, in New Zealand. NZ Rail Highlights says yes to a local race. Yes, the fans of AWP, but let us in on your co-op hack. Um, Reese, yep. fire mass. I'm a shoveling. Tower just is a hungry beast, is this lurker. She is rather hungry, isn't she? Um, Croston Junction, it's not really possible with the way that the loco set up in Train Simulator. It's something I mentioned to um, Chris at the time of making the pack, but basically with the way it's set up, it's got to have like a live and exhaust. What are we doing? 93? Which station is this now? North Allerton. But it's missing a platform for some reason. I don't really know what happened there. See now we're starting to see the uh, original train simulator scenery. <laughs> yep. We're travelling back in time. This is... Oh, auto fireman enabled, hang on. We're about half an hour away, aren't we? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, Boss Bossman Games, it's the, um... East Coast Mainline Merger from Alan Thompson Simulation? Yeah. So it merges a few different routes together. Um, Michael, yeah, casually doing 93. Well, we're running late, aren't we? We're qualified for up to 90 and we've got 10% on top of that, so we could go up to 99. Bossman Games, yeah, real, um, it's um, Alan Thompson Simulation. And I think it's about six routes, but they're all merged together. It is a bit of a hack, but you get the full uh, 390 something miles to Edinburgh then. Terry Bartlett says we're not far from Darlington now where the A1 Trust and the P2 Loco uh, company have built their brand new engine shed. It would be nice to hit the turn on this uh, run. I mean I can push her but I don't think she's um, I don't think she's capable with the load we've got on. She seems to be sitting happy at about 93, 94. Yeah. I mean, let's see what happens if I notch, notch the reverse up a bit. I went to about 22% and she was doing 95. Yeah. It's getting a fe very fine balance between that reverser and your firing. Force Game says, what's the total length? 397 miles. That's from London, King's Cross to Edinburgh, Waverley, 397. So it's by far the longest run that we've ever done, isn't it? Easily, easily. I mean, we and we ran from... Do you remember we ran from Penzance to Paddington once on the Western Main Lines? Um, yeah. But I can't... That was... De we did uh, the Class 40, didn't we? I don't know if I were around for that one. 
Were you not? I don't think so. I know we attempted to do a Steam one and we ended up failing after a couple of hours. I know I did, um, I've done, on my own, I've done um, Paddington to Penzance with a Duchess, ignoring speed limits in about five or six hours. Right, Reese. if you're on the ball with a firing, we'll push for a ton. Alright. I'm up for it. But, uh, <clears throat> you are on a slight a uphill gradient. Have a look and see where we are. Oh, we're not far from Darlington. Yeah, there's not many squiggly bits around, though. There's a bit of a corner there, but I think it'll still be line speed. So we're going for a hundred, are we? We're going for a hundred. Steam generation is maxed out. Real Advent, yeah, we're not planned to go through uh, Darlington. But I wish I put Darlington as a stop now. Yeah. But, um. Good thinking. said it's Reese Hiccups. Mm. 96.5 miles an hour, Sam. Yep. But look at a steam usage. Yeah, we're starting to hemorrhage steam, aren't we? Well, not quite, but... Ooh, that's a bit wobbly. Oh, and we got a yellow. Oh no, that's the wrong line. So. Yeah, it's fine, oh, it's... we're still within the speed limit. Downhill. Come on, this is your chance, Sam. Let's do it. Let's hit a ton. I'll shut off the injector to give you as much as I can. Here we are. All the steam for you, mate. Come on, let's, right. hit, let's hit a ton. Let's do it. She's just creeping up ever so slowly, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, if we notch back, we start losing that, that speed a bit then. Yeah. The 25% the seems to be about ideal. I think I don't think I can really push it anymore without hemorrhaging steam. Well, we're still generating more than we're using, so give it a go just for a moment if you want. Let's see if we can... Extra 2%, let's see what that does. It's just pushing it into 97 mile an hour. That's a 90 zone ahead, isn't it? Yeah. 
Fourth game says cab wobble intensifies. Oh, that's a big downhill bit. We'll get it now. Come on. Just in <laughs> case. Just in case. Oh, that is a uh, quite a cab wobble there. Ninety-eight. Yeah, I, come on. I, I am concerned about this ninety zone. We're blowing off. I'm gonna have to inject. Come on. If you're blowing off, we've got room for a bit more oomph. Come on. 92.1, 98.2. I think we're slightly uphill now. Yeah, going into Darlington. Whoa. This is his 90 zone. Ninety-eight point one, ninety-eight point two. Come on, King Edward. Steam's dropping. Stick a bit more curl on Reese. Yeah, I was trying to not touch it as much as I could just to give you that extra bit of steam, but I gotta shove some rock on. I'm afraid. I don't think we're gonna make it, are we? There's too many variable gradients by here. I think we're now going uphill again. Yeah. yeah. That was our shot then, wasn't it? Oh. We were close, though. We were so close. 98.2, wasn't it? Aye. Keep going. If there's a hill we're going up, we've got to go down it at some point. Um, Bossman Games has asked you to check your discard at Reese when you get chance. Oh yeah, I will. And just shoveling some rock on fire. Oh, that's a tight corner. Be right. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Tell you what, I do love the cab bounce on this. It's something that you don't really appreciate unless you actually go on a local on the main line, but being on the footplate is an incredibly bouncy thing. Um, it, you know, it moves around an awful lot. Is that for a speed reduction? Yeah, it What's is. What's that? 85. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Since you're slowing down, I'm gonna stick the injector on and check my Discord messages. Reese, we're priming. Yeah. Sorry, I was just replying to uh, Ben's message. Wobble, 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 wobble. Sorry, Sam, I'm just replying to Ben really quick.
<coughs> We've been running for five hours, Sam. Oof. How many miles left? Uh, many. <laughs> <laughs> Lots. 25 miles to time. KT LNER fan 1995 says, uh, Did Reese crash yet, Sam? Um, no, I've not crash. A few minor acts of incompetence, though. Yeah. I think they could be forgiven, though. But just not, I mean, by, not by the Office of Rail Regulation, but, uh, <laughs> you know. One of them's down to train sim, so we can't blame you for that. No, that w the train sim one has really annoyed me, i got to be honest. I just That's knew train well, sim... isn't it? There's always it. summer. Yeah, I just knew the train sim was going to do something. It was going to throw something at us. But at least, you know, we thought ahead and knew. We were like, yeah, train sim's going to be a an arse. So we better... Prepare for that. Yeah. I'm just going to chuck some rock on and then i got to check my blood pressure. And I've just realised I haven't taken my blood pressure tablets today. Yes, because we're doing something nice and relaxing here. That's not going to make your blood pressure rise at all. I know, right? <laughs> Just checking my blood pressure, Sam. Injector right is running and uh, you've got enough rock. It's a lot higher than it should be. It's this live stream is causing me to uh, <laughs> really stressed. I just had the uh, notification for something. I think we've just had another donation on uh, Just Giving. Lovely. It's been ages since I've driven this route. I don't think I ever have. I used to drive... <laughs> no, I mean the Newcastle to York. I used to drive this route all the time. Back in the day, it was one of the only good routes. But now, I haven't done it in so long. I don't think I've ever done this route. 
Um, Croston Junction saying about your blood pressure, it's putting up with Sam for five hours. <laughs> Just think what it'll be like when we get to the end. That's a bit wobbly. <laughs> Seventeen miles. James Wright is going to have to go to work. <clears throat> That's absolutely no trouble, James. I mean, I wasn't expecting everyone to watch the full uh, the full live stream. We've already been going for five hours, and we're not even in Newcastle yet. We've still got... How many miles left? Edinburgh. You know, we've still got 150 miles left to run. Eesh. We've probably got another three hours or so. Yeah, I'd say about three hours. It takes it to about eight hours in total, which is kind about of what, what I should expected. Be. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're due in a yard. Da -da 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 -da. It's 40 now, and we were due in at. Da -da 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 -da. Right, guys. We were due in at 37. Were we? Due out at... F yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Oops, speeding. Um, <clears throat> I've got a nice little surprise for you guys. Oh, hang on. Let me just turn the injectors off very quickly. Nice little surprise while the fire is okay. First person to type Boss Man Games in the chat. Someone give me a Boss Man Games, and then I'll tell you what it's for. And no, Sam, you can't enter. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Joy of having uh, been in the voice call and been able to get in quicker. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to use it. Let's play Train Sim as just one. Let's play Train Sim. As a courtesy from Bossman Games themselves, you have just won. The Great Western Inspection Saloon. So we have a code for you. We'll have to get that sorted out. Let me have a look. Number three. Q. Mm. Is that an 80? Go for an 80. So let's play Train Sim if you can get in touch with us either on Discord or Facebook Messenger on the AWP Facebook page. Um, we'll get a code sorted for you from uh, Bossman Games. And Three small speed limits just quickly because I can't see them. 75 and then 90. Okay, cool. Yeah, 75. You're only doing 81, so you're alright for a minute. Yeah. Let me just see if he's going to give me a code. Let's play Train Sim.
There we go. So, yeah, uh, like I just said, let's play Train Sim. If you get in touch, either the AWP Facebook page or the Discord server, just drop us a DM. And once Bossman Games gets back to me, I'll uh, we'll get you a code sorted. Durham. Passing through Durham, we should be able to see Durham Cathedral on the right, I think. We're in Geordie Land. I don't know if Jordan's still watching. Hello, Geordie Land. I wonder if this is the furthest north a Great Western King has ever been. Probably. Should we give another calendar away as well? Uh, we'll get to his. Um, we'll get to his water stop. Train spotter one two three says I was the first person to say Bossman Games. Um, no, you weren't, because just above you is Let's Play Train Sim. And just bear in mind, we you know the competition's going on the chat that I can see. So don't worry, there'll be more chances for you. For to win something. In fact, there's another chance right now. We're going to do another uh, Rail Advent Calendar giveaway. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it before we get to a stop because at this stop, this is our lunch stop, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So, how about we do Durham Cathedral? Since we just passed Durham, first person to type Durham Cathedral gets a Rail Advent Calendar. You know, because we like picking nice, simple words that don't take much typing. <laughs> I know, right? Blummer. Looks like Blummer is the winner. YouTube user Blummer. So Blummer, if you can let me know your Discord name or get in touch on the Facebook page or the Discord server and we'll get a code sent to you. And let's play Train Sim. Same for you if you want to let me know your Discord server name then we can get that sorted as well. Right, let's get that injector on. Six miles. Don't worry, chan uh, guys, there's plenty more chances to get um, a code of some form for something. Oh, we got messages. Yeah, Bossman Games has got two more codes available, so we will have a little bit later on, we'll do another uh, Bossman Games giveaway. We've just done uh, another Rail Advent one. I think we've got a few more uh, a few more Rail Advent ones. I think there's ten in total. Yep. Ah, oh, Jordan's returned. Jordan! We just passed through Durham. We're on our way to Newcastle. How many miles? Oh, crap. It's three miles away. What do you mean, oh, crap, it's three miles away? I forgot you're driving, so it's fine. 
Oh, nice slow. Yeah, I've got a lot of milk bottles in the middle of track trackers. Yeah, I got quite a few assets missing. I think it's, well, it can't be the overhead uh, catenary because that's on the side. I have noticed there's a few routes I got these milk bottles, so I've got missing assets. Do you want to press the 9 key just to check uh, that the road is the right one? Um, yeah, do you want to have a check? Just get that into running. If you're happy with the speed, I would start slowing down though. Oh, yeah, no, I am. It's only going up as far as the yard entrance. Yeah. Oh wait, it just came on. I think we just hit the right zone. Reese, not a good time to be sorry. looking at the map. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not yet, you're not, but you could be. <laughs> but looking at the map, it looks like oh, look the diggers! Look at the diggers! I am We've got bigger oh, priorities right now. I'm Reece. such a dad. I'm dri every time I drive past a thing like that I go diggers look at the diggers I usually got two screaming kids in the back and go look at the diggers oh look at the tractors <gasps> train or something like that Jordan says we've already gone through Darlington it's time to cry what's the speed limit going across missed no it. idea 25 is it I would say it probably is. Yep, there's the points. 25, um, and we're at 50. Oh dear, oh dear, Sam. Yeah, if oh only dear, someone wasn't... Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, no, no. Some... No, don't you try and pin that one on me, mate. If, so, if only someone wasn't <laughs> on the map. <laughs> you, I was on there for about three seconds. Besides which, I'm fine. We're not leaning. Jordan, the boss man games giveaway was the um, it was the inspection saloon, and we got two more codes uh, codes to give away. We got the first one. Once we come to a stand, I'm gonna have a quick look at get, trying to get these sorted. Um, YouTube user, let's play train sim. Get in touch. Let me know uh, to get your code and Blummer. YouTube user Blummer, let me know so you can get your code as well. But you're going to have to be on the AWP Facebook page, which the link is in the description below, or the Discord server, and again, the link is in the description below. So Durham, uh, oh, not Durham, Tyne Yard, we've got a 30-minute stop here, because this is for water, coal, and, and lunch. food. Yes, because we're, and it's a chance for us to go stretch our legs. I need to let the dog out, I need to have my medicine. Um... Just to get away from the computer for a few minutes, because it's, I mean, we're five hours and 20 minutes in now. Yep. So it's quite a nice little place to have a bit of a break now, actually, thinking about it. Okay, uh, Blummer has got in touch via the Facebook page. Okay, sorry, mate, I'll take a look at that. There he is. No. No. You'll know where to stop, Sam. Yep. Well, as a driver, I'm looking out for this sort of thing, you know. Yeah, there's the bloke with the tea mug, and then we've got... You can uh, just see a little arm sticking out of the side.
<laughs> did, you, did you butter the bread, mate? You did, didn't you? You buttered the bread. You buttered the bread. I hate you. Do you know what the best thing is, Reese? Yeah. I wasn't looking at where it was when I stopped. You did. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking straight ahead. Yeah, okay. Right. So, uh, we have arrived um... at Tyne Yard. Let's just check the time now. It's 13.53. So 14... We were due in at 37, so we're about 15 down now. So, we've met up five minutes or so, la. So, what time should we leave then, do you think? Well, we're due out at 14.07, which is, uh, like, yeah, 15 minutes 15 or so. 15 minutes. But would you would you out of Newcastle at fourteen twenty two? Um which is like Half three miles away. Me. So I'd say we maybe leave here late and have a quicker stop at Newcastle. If you want, yeah. So given it's um it's two well, two minutes past two real time, shall we aim to set off from here at twenty past? Yeah, I'm up for that. In I'm, real time. In real time. Um, it still gives us a chance to have a bit of a break, Len. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the live stream running and we'll just look at the engine. Um, but obviously like, I'm, I'm going to go and make a drink and stuff like that. You're going to probably go as well. Yeah, so, I'm going to nip downstairs <clears throat> and get some breakfast. So for everybody <laughs> watching the live stream, I'd like to thank you uh, for watching up until this point. Five and a half hours is a long old time. We're going to take a 20 minute break for... Um, you know, refreshments and toilet break, that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to leave the live stream running and we'll leave you with a view of the engine. One minute, Reese. Oh, go on. Before you go. So we're going to... You've got... Yeah, you've got the icon. <laughs> it's, it's working! No way! <laughs> See? Uh, what Reece. on earth? Now... How oh. much? <laughs> Oh, Sam, I hate oh, you that, so much. That's, that has made my day. That is... Are you kidding me? Two times it's coal, failed We've got coal me. going in, and we've got water going in. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. That's a fluke. <laughs> it's an absolute fluke. There is no fluke to it. It's, it's a fluke. Skill. Fluke. <laughs> I, I call it... It's a complete fluke. Uh, oh. Love it. Well, while that's filling up, Let's go get us lunch. So um, Sam, it's, oh, I did. Oh, I didn't take. I didn't note how much um, water or coal we had before you did it. It's all right. We'll be able to look back on to, uh, on the live stream. Yeah. Live stream, yeah. All right. Never mind. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it there. Made my day. That's that's annoyed me greatly. That <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, tell you what. Shall we just? We'll try and position it so that we can. Um, I'm just thinking so we can have a quick look over and we can still see what the um, what the water level is at. You want just, it looking um, at, in the, the white writing in the sky if you can, in a bit of the blue of the sky. If that makes sense. It's a bit higher yeah. if you can bring it down just it, a touch. About there. Um, yeah, that, uh, you still can't see the tender... Well, the tender one doesn't matter. It's the um, it's the water level, the boiler, and the fire mass that we need to worry about. Just because we need to not let them drop. But... Yeah. So I don't right. know wh why that worked and the other two didn't. I don't know what. So was... it's all down to where you stop, isn't it? <sighs> Shut up, Sam! I hate you. <laughs> right, I'm going to mute uh... my microphone, and we'll be back at about quarter past ish, something like that. Not like that, yeah. We're blowing right. off anyway, but the boiler's bit, full. Folks. Yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes. Go get some lunch.
Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm not sure if Sam's back yet, but it uh, won't be long, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's only ten past two in game. So there's another ten minutes. So, uh, since we're waiting here, I'll start making the fire ready for the next leg of the journey. And we can do another giveaway, I think. Uh, let's see. Real Advent says what? Oh my goodness, the fire mass has gone very low. I'm, uh, I better get shoveling. Only just realized that the fire was basically dying while I was away. I had a feeling, you know, I was making my coffee and I was like, I bet you that fire is going to, you know, get pretty low. So what I'll do is I'll put £200 on and I'll wait a little bit and I'll put another £200 on. Yeah, we'll build it back up that way. we got a few minutes until we're leaving. What have we got? Yeah, like eight minutes until we're leaving. So let's build it up nice and slowly. <coughs> Albin Cronblad, hello. How are you doing? We've only had a very quick lunch. Sam is still uh, munching away. I just had a quick sandwich because I had most of my food around the table. So I just wanted to... You know, take my medicine, get a drink. Let's play Train Sim says I've sent you a DM on Discord. Yeah, I'm gonna check that now, okay? <laughs> ah, so you've noticed the fire mass, Sam? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, ever so me, slightly dying. Me and Reese, to uh, me and Michael totally haven't been tagging you in the group chat for like the last 10 minutes going, Reese, I was, fire! I was watching a Mark uh, Felton video and eating my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I've just shoved my toasty down my neck and uh, had a quick yoghurt. I got and a cup of coffee and a drink. I got some crisps and some biscuits nearby. So we're more than halfway. Five hours forty. We still got, I'd say, at least another two hours left to run, isn't it? It's going to be at least... I reckon so, yeah. At least two hours. I mean, what's... Berwick is 70 miles, and then Edinburgh left left 120. 128. If we do 60 miles an hour, that's two hours. That's two hours. So I reckon two hours is about right with us stops and everything as well. Yeah, because we got another water stop at Berwick, so uh, there we go. Two minutes and we're off from here. Yeah, I was just going to do. Um, uh, I was probably going to play the video again just while we're waiting for the call to come round. And do, we'll do another giveaway, shall we? Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll set off, I reckon. All right, then I'm going to just mute my microphone while I play the video then. It's just a, a reminder for everybody why we're here and the mission that the Railway Children Charity is doing to, well, what, we're gonna, what they're going to spend the money on, basically. Around the world, tens of millions of children are struggling to survive on the streets, facing violence, exploitation and often death. Hands up if you think even one child is too many. Good. Us too. We are railway children. We fight for children on the street. We've been doing it for over 20 years and we're good at it. And we won't stop until we live in a world where no child ever has to live on the streets again. So how can we get there? Simple. We find out why children are on the streets and we change things so they never have to go back. Okay, it's nowhere near as simple as that because a bed for the night might get a child off the street, but then what? Well, then our work really starts. For lasting change, we have to work on three levels. We fight to reach children on the streets before abusers, drug dealers and traffickers do. Finding them shelter, food and support is the first step. But we can't be everywhere at once. So through training and support, we turn people at key locations on the ground into our eyes and ears. Then they can spot vulnerable children themselves and help them before it's too late. We work with governments because if the system doesn't change, nothing does. We make our voice heard until we get the policy changes that keep children off the streets forever. In our first 22 years, we helped more than 300,000 children. In the next five, we aim to reach 150,000 more. Here's how we're going to do it. 
In the UK, we'll be working directly with the British Transport Police to create a national safety network safeguarding vulnerable children on and around the UK transport system. We'll establish safeguarding projects in six of the most needed locations and provide therapeutic services for children and their families. In East Africa, we'll work intensively on the streets in at least 12 cities, reaching 15,000 children and helping them recover from the impact of violence. In India, we'll increase our number of child-friendly stations to 25, working directly with government children's homes in those areas. We'll also train and support 15,000 government personnel to help vulnerable children. That'll mean 120,000 children will be protected and 96,000 return to their families. But we want to reach even more children, and we can't do that on our own. So here's the plan. We'll make sure our time-tested model is replicable. Then we'll support and empower other organizations around the world to use this model to reach more children than we ever could by ourselves. Together, we can create a world where none of our children have to live on the streets ever again. Are you with us? Alright guys, so uh, yeah, that was the video which showed the uh, the mission behind the Railway Children Charity and what they do, what they strive to achieve. And I've got to be honest, on a personal level, that um, since becoming a father myself to two kids, that sort of thing, you know, the kids on the street and how they get involved in these activities, or end up being dragged in, I should say, you know, it's it's really horrifying to see what people around the world are going through and yet especially young children are being exposed to and anything that can go towards stopping that and providing interventions before that happens is uh, well it's all for the best isn't it I don't really consider myself like a major charity campaigner or anything but the fact today is the first time I've ever really used my platform for anything like this like a charity uh, fundraiser and I'm very happy with how it's gone and I'm very happy with how everybody has responded to it so it's really uh, really positive to see everybody's come together to donate money for a really good cause and we're not it's not over yet we got another two hours or so left to run we're not there we haven't made it to Edinburgh yet and yeah the challenge is to get all the way to Edinburgh and we're at Tyne, Newcastle. So the next stop is Newcastle Station. So we've got a bit of time. We've got two minutes till we're leaving. And the fire was allowed to drop a little bit, shall we say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by yours truly. Pull a so, bit. So now, at least I've got the fire roughly back in the right place. We're just starting to blow off. But Sam is no, going to... still need more. Sam is um, going to absolutely rag it to um, Newcastle I, I to really absolutely am. It So full uh, forward, full power, everything you got. Draw that fire. Just, just, just before we set off, Reese, I just want to um, point out, look at that tender water level. It's almost like it's full. And w w watch the core level very closely, because something amazing is going to happen in a second. Look at that, it goes up. Wow. <laughs> is that because you parked on the right spot by any chance? I did park on the right spot, Reese, and not only did I park on the right spot, but I did it without looking at where the spot was. He's never going to shut up about this, is he, guys? I should do a, a YouTube poll. How many people think Sam should shut up? <laughs> <laughs> you should do too. How many people think Sam should shut up, and how many think Sam's absolutely bob on the money? Luck. Beginner's luck. That's what it was. Beginner's luck, eh? <laughs> Sh shall we see about that at Berwick? Oh, I'll watch it now. If he if he butters <laughs> if you butter the bread again at Berwick, I'm just gonna shut the computer down and end the live stream. <laughs> right, Sam. It's right away whenever you're ready. Right oh. 
You're not going to uh, open your dampers or blower or... I'm trying, I can't. Is the auto fireman on? No. I, my keyboards uh, didn't work then. Right, okay, I've got it now. Right. Go on then. Off we pop. I think we had that weird uh, parsec error thing going on then. Yeah. We'll take it nice and steady. He says. I can do steady. Nice and steady. <laughs> Wumpf. <laughs> See, that's, that's steady. Yeah, we can do better Ked than that. Kedrick says, I wonder how their butts are coping, in, are coping up with uh, five hours of sitting down. Whoa! There we are, that's better. Yeah, I gotta be honest, my arse is starting to struggle. I've had to stand up a few times during this live stream. Because we're approaching six hours of continuous streaming now. Not gonna lie, it's... Uh, oof. It's hard going now. It is indeed. So because we've been sat stationary for quite a while, the boiler's probably cooled right down. Yep. So what Sam is going to have to do, as we leave this yard and approach um, Newcastle, he's going to leave the gear right forward, and he's going to use a lot of steam. And the reason for that is it's really going to help to draw the fire, and it's going to make it uh, help make it hotter, hopefully, and warm the boiler through as well. It's quite an interesting thing to simulate in game, isn't it? That um, it is. You may have boiler pressure, but if the boiler's cold, you may have the pressure for the moment, but it's going to deplete. Exactly. It's all about that steam generation rate, and it's quite difficult to simulate um, sort of like heating and cooling of the boiler, um, and of course of the fire as well. Because you could have a fire mass which is ideal, which we're still quite below, so you need to stick more rock on. Yeah, I know. Um, but you could have a fire mass that's ideal, and if the boiler's and the fire's cold, it's still not going to generate steam. I'm just looking back through the comments from you and Michael in the chat about how you... <laughs> 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 Michael is literally like... Reese, you're at three hundred and fifty pounds. Reese, you're at three hundred. Reese, you're at two seventy, two hundred and forty. Reese, what happens at two hundred? <laughs> He's back. <laughs> then there's me like, tagging you away. Reese, 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 Reese. Ah, that's a good one. So since now that we're on our way from um, Tyne Yard to to um, Newcastle, let's do another Bossman Games uh, giveaway. Yeah. So, Bossman Games has asked me a question to ask you guys. The first person to get the right answer in the chat wins. And the question is, who was the chief mechanical engineer of the Great Western Railway in 1940? So first person to type it in the chat, the an the correct answer that is. We're going to see loads of people commenting Durham Cathedral now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on the chat. Oh, two wrong answers, three wrong answers. Yep, yeah, we've got one. George D1948, Charles Collett. There we go. George D1948, you've got the right answer. Charles Collett is the right answer. The chief mechanical engineer of the Great Western Railway in 1940 was Charles Collett, I think. 
<laughs> at least, at least let's, that... let's hope that Reese is correct now. Well, I'm a, I'm just reading out Bossman Games' question, so I'm assuming he's got it right. <laughs> I hope he has, because otherwise I look like a proper uh, idiot right now. But there we go. So who did I say? Even more so. Who did I say was the right winner? George D one nine four eight. So, George, give me a shout on either Facebook Messenger or Discord. Let me just write Reese, it down. Are, are you ready to say goodbye to your boiler pressure? Yeah, go on then. I didn't want it anyway. Right. <laughs> Um, now, so, uh, George, I'm not entirely sure what you've actually won from Bossman Games, but um, I'll, I'll message him now and ask for the code and we'll find out what it is. It's a magical mystery prize! What an odd station Newcastle is. Do you know, it'd I know, be really it's, it's bizarre, isn't it, the layout? We should, do, um, we should do an industrial race at Newcastle and we should just do laps. That is like, actually quite a funny um, idea. Industrial logos doing laps of that. That's brilliant, Sam. No, yeah, well, that, well, that's I think brilliant. We should, we should make it into a race, that. Yeah, not necessarily just industrials, but, you know, 06 O's. On a little uh, circuit race. Uh, George D one nine four eight. If you join on the Angry Welshman Productions Discord, then you'll find me on there. Um, just drop me a DM there, and I'll send you the code. There we are, look, getting rid of your fire. Who needs fire anyway? Injectors on. It's a good job we're stopping at Newcastle, really. We're going to need it for a blow up. Yeah, Michael, jot that Newcastle race down as an idea in group chat so we don't forget it. <laughs> oh, six O's doing laps of Newcastle Station. <laughs> Michael says your pressure's well down. I know, I know, I'm trying to do two different things here, I'm trying to sort these right. um, Discord um, things. Uh, I've not got him down to double digits yet, but I'm trying. That's right, you've been drawing the fire, making it nice and hot on the approach. Yeah, now I've got to stop. Yeah, we're only going to have a couple of minutes in Newcastle now, aren't we? Yeah. Pannier tank laps around to the, the circuit of uh, Newcastle Station. Here we are. We're going to have to get a, um, a screenshot, I think, going across the bridge. Sorry, I'm just going to pause and... I was going to say, as long as you pause it, because if not, that's going to be like... Why I, man? Why I, man? Why I... Why I... And Dire then... Straits and a bit of... Um... Oh, what's it called now? Uh, Mark... Alfredo saying, pet. Mark Knopfler. Hi.
George D one nine four eight. I haven't had nothing come up for a direct message off you on Discord or Facebook. The Great Western King proudly going where no Great Western King has ever gone before. Hi. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a, a, a Plymouth station around here somewhere? I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, look at the castle. No, we're looking at the king, Reese. Oh, the yeah. king. Sorry. Hmm. Now, why have we got a red signal? Hmm. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Well, we can go past it. Why'd you have to go past it? Well, I don't know why it's gone red. No, I don't need to go any further. It shouldn't be red. Plim Castle. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I was going to draw forwards, but... Yeah. No, I don't know why that signal's red. I, I mean, the road looks okay. The road is definitely set. Bit of an odd one, but uh, at least it's going the right way. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, it's weird. You're not going to grab a screeny with Castle and King? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's get the valve gear in now. You had the valve gear in it. No, I meant I won the whole, like, loco. Yeah. Let's get shoveling ready for your next bit. Right. Well, while you're shoveling. Oh, yeah, bear, let the passengers off. Well, on account of the fact that all the stops you did, we didn't. <laughs> Alright, there we go. George D1948, I got you. You have won an inspection saloon from Bossman Games. It might be missing a bit of door, though. Oh, right. The door's embedded in the platform. I told you we shouldn't take Great Western stuff this far north. I told you it wasn't right. <laughs> Didn't I, s I said on the comments when it was announced we'll have to take the platform chainsaw with us. Oh yeah, the angle grinder, we got that. Right. Well, we've taken on passengers. We're running late, so let's crack on. As best we can without any pressure. Why are your dampers shut, Reese? Oh, I don't know. What are you doing, I can't, man? I, I can't touch... Right, I think it's because the auto fireman went on. I can't touch it. For some reason, my key co keyboard control's not working. Parsec is starting to play up a little bit here. Can you can you do it? Otherwise, I'll just do it with the... Yeah, you've done it. Right, there we go. Dunk. There we are. Right, let's go again. Yeah, go on in, let's go. We're almost on the final leg, guys. How late are we now? <laughs> I'll let you know when we get underwear. So it's... Let's call it 14.35 departure from Newcastle. And we were due out... 14.22. So we're 13 minutes down. 
It's not too bad, all things considered. Well, considering we were almost half an hour late, I think we've made up quite a bit of uh, made up quite a bit of time there by cutting things short. There's a bit more to make up yet as well. I don't trust that red signal. No, me neither. There's something about it that's throwing me off. It's okay though, because we can't see it now, so it must be green. Oh yeah, absolutely. Michael's saying, who is the host PC? I am the host PC. <coughs> so you're right, I shouldn't have a problem, but it does seem... There does seem to be a few buggy bits every now and then would pass out. Check Discord. Michael says we're quite brave setting off with just 128 pounds per square inch of pressure. Well, I blame Reese for that one. I don't. <laughs> we'll make up the pressure as we go along, but I think the um, just having the dampers open and the blower on is not really going to cut it. So no, I mean this is because I keep looking at um, Discord and the chat. Yeah, you've got to focus on the job and look at I'm, Discord and the I'm chat when you my get best chance. To, I'm trying my best to multitask, but it's. Uh, difficult it is so it, difficult it turns out let's play train sim has already got the inspection saloon so he said give it to someone else so we're going to rerun the boss man games inspection saloon uh, prize in a minute but i think we'll do another um we'll do another real advent calendar shall we yeah sam do you want to give him a code word this time well i think Let's go for... Shall we go for Newcastle Castle? Newcastle Castle. Newcastle Castle. Well, that's your word. And that would be Crawstone Junction, I believe. Would you agree, Reese? I would say so. So, Crawstone Junction, if you want to uh, drop Reese a direct message somewhere, Discord, Facebook, your method of choice. So, that's the calendar as well, wasn't it? That's the real advent calendar. I do like Great Western two turn whistles. I think we got the same problems when we set off um, before. Yep. I shot off the injector because we're uh, down to 107. Yeah, the next one's for Crawston Junction there in the calendar. Get in touch, Facebook or or uh, Discord, one of them. Let me know. And it'll be a real advent calendar for you as well. Yeah, we're just gonna have to um <coughs> we're just gonna have to let her sit until she draws draws through enough air to get that steam generation rate up. Yeah, just leave the reg in the roof and just hope for the best. Just wait till she gets herself heated up. And this is so, the... Berwick, where's his next stop? Berwick. 
It's about halfway between there. I'd say it's. Yeah. We've still got a fair run to go. 140 miles, isn't it? Aye. We are losing steam, but we need that. That steam generation rate is coming up nicely. I'm trying to get you a uh, double digits, Reese. More coal! Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be proper on the ball, Willis. It took me about half an hour to get it back again earlier with firing. Hundred and three pounds, yeah. She is gonna come to a stop before long. We're gonna get to the boot digits. Come on, my beauty, come on. <laughs> no, her steam generation rate's coming up lovely, mate. I reckon she's going to draw that fire. She's going to warm up really quickly. 100. Hey! 99 PSI, Reese. Come on, King. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I don't know, Lee's amateur fireman. Yeah, sorry guys, this is me messing around with the um, Discord and <laughs> giveaway codes. This is why I need it automated. This is why, you know, the. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at getting like a chatbot or something to do it. But look, the, the steam generation rate is coming up pretty quickly, mine. Come on. It's not actually that much below the usage rate now. <laughs> I don't know if there's any point leaving the blower fully on, is there? No, love isn't. It won't do anything when you're drawing uh, air through. It's only when you're stationary you want the blower on. When you've got a draft reel, a draft will be much stronger than anything the blower does. MRHSD says has donated five pounds in the super chat. Thank you very much. And he said, uh, "What car do I have?" Well, I've got a Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> Suzuki Swift. And that's right, Sam. You've just got your first car, haven't you? I have. And he's just passed his test, ladies and gents. So, a big congratulations from all of us to you, Sam, for passing your driving test. Well, I mean. Someone's got to pass the test, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I can't, can't have any of these uh, <coughs> amateur drivers around. No, that's right. <coughs> <coughs> hey, we're making 30 mile an hour on a, on 94 pound in the boiler. Yeah. Generation rate is coming up slowly. Have faith, have faith in me. She's coming back. The f fire mass is still too low. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Not far off the generation and usage rate being matched. Almost there. Ooh, watch out for that water level. I know. I'm trying to avoid injecting as much as I can because it'll tank your pressure. In fact, we won't even be able to inject before long. Exactly. <laughs> and then we've really had it. Yeah, boiler pressure's tanking now. You're going to have to wind back. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> you won't have a choice. <laughs> oh dear. Have faith in the process, Reese. It's coming back. Look at that. Generation rate's going up. She's worn through. Come on. The mighty king. Come on. I'll let a, the boiler pressure go down a little bit further, but then I'm going to have to stop injecting to let that boiler pressure come back. I won't worry about it. I'd stop shoveling now. Uh. Let's 
See, this is where the uh, the long length of the stream is starting to catch up on us. <laughs> stream fatigue now. Oh, I've just been uh, I've just been uh, served by Bossman Games there. He said Sam may have passed his driving test, but the L plates are on the king. <laughs> Poor fireman. <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, really struggling here. I'm shutting off just for a minute the water. There you go, steam generation rate is higher. How oh, would you? Trust in the process, Reese. Trust in the process. I'm just going to let that pressure come back up a little bit. Oh yeah, somebody needs to tell us when we cross the border into Scotland as well. Because I've got a little something for when we cross the border. Oh, you've not got your bagpipes, have you? Nope. No, no, no. I've lost oh, them. I don't know where they are. <laughs> they were lost in a house move. You had us worried for a moment there, Reese. I know. There's a question in the chat, is 6024 air fitted in real life? Yes, I think it is. Reese. Sam, 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 what are you doing? I'm Pass not. Uh, the, the reverse has gone all screwy again. It's Parsec. Parsec's having a real moment there. We've had a few times now that the keyboard commands are going a little bit screwy. My audio is. Right. Do what you need to do with fire and boiler and uh, light driving will take care of itself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh Sam, finally somebody's fighting in my corner. It. Yes! Yes, Ben! Wasn't called you know what it is, ben, it's heavy is, hands on the reg. Yeah. We've been having an easy morning all morning driving and then uh, when we had his water stop earlier, he were ragging it when we set off and it took me about half an hour to get back up to pressure again. So now I'm driving, I thought I'd give him the same treatment, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're winning, we are winning slowly. Should we come back round again? Just needs a little bit of time running at 30 mile an hour just to warm that boiler through, get the water level back up. It's not, alright, it's bad, bad boiler management, but um, I would say... People on mainline rail tours, they don't have the distraction of running a live stream, dealing with the chat, checking their phone all the time, and then all the Discord um, or the you know the giveaways codes. This is next time we do this, I'm going to try and get a chat bot to do it. It would just make it so much easier. Right then, let's turn that injector off for a minute. Leave it on, Reese. We only got 85 pounds of boiler pressure, mine. I know. Uh, get that um, boiler water level cracked up. Well, it's 0.6 now. Yeah, get it up to like 0 0.8, 0 0.9. We'll get it up and then we'll relax it a bit. Bossman Games tried a deep fried Mars bar never again. I tried it when I actually went to Edinburgh on a little couple of nights trip and I tried the deep fried Mars bar at the Chippy. I don't know if any of you seen, there's a couple of films where they filmed in Edinburgh 
I think Harry Potter was one of them. They actually used this like long street and it's all cobbled stones and um, but there was a chip shop on this street and I uh, I bought this deep fried Mars bar. How much do you think it cost just for the deep fried Mars bar? Sam, you there? Yeah. Um... Deep fried Mars bar, how much do you think? It's going to be like a fiver, isn't it? Six quid. Oof. Six pound. I can't remember exactly. It was like six pound twenty or something, but just for one Mars bar. Deep fried. Yep. Now, now, don't get me wrong. It was really nice. I really, it was really tasty. But <laughs> the two reactions to a deep fried Mars bar, ladies and gentlemen. Bossman Games says never again. <laughs> Reese says it was really nice. It was nice, but I would never, never do it again because it's just <laughs> way too much money for what should be like a forty p Mars bar. I'm showing my age there. 40p. How much is a Mars bar now? Like £1.20 or something? Something like that, yeah. It's ridiculous money. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, like that chip shop in Edinburgh, they're doing it for tourists, aren't they? So you're paying tourist city centre prices. Right, water level's looking good. I think the time has come. I'm going to top up the coal a bit and then the time has come to turn off the injector so you can have some steam again. If you get it up to like 0.9 thereabouts and let it go off, that rate should whack up plen. One of the Avengers films had a scene in Edinburgh and they even ended up in Waverley Station. I didn't know that. Yeah, D George D one nine four eight says next time virtual footplate occurs, we should have other cameras showing different POVs. The problem is the way that we're running this is a a bit of a hack. So we're only we're using my train simulator. So Sam is sharing my desktop using a computer program to do so. So the easiest way of describing it is essentially it's like I'm plugging my keyboard and mouse into Reese's computer over the internet. Ah. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's just save real quick. Yeah. So you minim train sim minimized for some strange reason then. I caught my um, start key on my keyboard then. That's what that was. Right. Um, but yeah, essentially. Yeah, essentially, it's just like me plugging my keyboard and mouse into Reese's computer, but over the internet. Sir Liv says thirty miles an hour on the East Coast Main Line is disgraceful. <laughs> it is. We are holding up all sorts of other traffic behind us. Um, and we are going to be in trouble with network rail. This is why we should have a class 47 on the back. <laughs> right, um, I'm, just, I'm yeah. leaving everything alone now for the boiler pressure to come back. Yeah. But yeah, as you were saying, Reese, I mean, the reason why um, we can't really do with a camera views and that is that um, the quality on my end is a little bit iffy it's definitely not 1080p um, so trying to view the hood and see what the actual values are for everything is quite challenging um, especially when you've got it against a light background so we've got to sort of constantly have the top left hand corner of the screen against some at dark um, which makes it difficult to switch camera views. Now if TrainSim brings out some form of update where it puts a background on all that text at the top, you know, like a little black box around it or something, so you can actually see the text, um, then we could show off more camera views and everything then and we'd still be able to drive it. So Crosston Junction doesn't want the uh, calendar. What is going on? All the giveaways we're doing today, people are messaging saying, no, I don't want it. We keep giving them away and then they keep giving them back. Yeah. That's literally like the fourth one now where they've said, I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, uh, get out, Sir Liv, I'm going to block you for saying that. Do you know what he said? He said a Princess Royal would have handled this just fine. He's right. <laughs> 
They're right. No. Absolutely right. No. I told you it was sacrilegious taking a great western engine at least. No, Lee's let me tell you something. Line. This is gross incompetence and I refuse to accept that an LMS locomotive <laughs> would have handled my incompetence any better than me. <laughs> See, your, your name has ruined the Great Western Reese. Ruined it. Yeah, I've not done very well for the uh, reputation of the GWR up north, have I? <laughs> oh dear. It's alright, we are coming back slowly. Look, steam generation is right up. Boiler pressure's coming back. Speed's picking yeah. up. Yeah. Like I said, once you've got that boiler filled up, and you could just ditch everything and it'd bring itself around, then. Probably want to stick on another 90 pounds of coal or so. IDK13 says this run was cursed to begin with. Oh, Bossman Games, a princess roll as a king with an extra set of wheels. Spot on. Pretty much is. It's got... It is. I don't yeah. know. Would, would you say it's a king or would you say it's a castle? I'd say it's probably more like a king. Bigger boiler, isn't it? Yeah. But hey, those extra set of wheels would really come in handy with your firing, wouldn't they, Reese? <laughs> yeah, well, bigger well, firebox, bigger boiler. Why it would help better steam generation. Help to distribute the fire along the fire bars better. <laughs> Oh, this is getting very personal about the GWR all of a sudden. <laughs> the chat. Just bear in mind, don't judge the GWR based on this. This is my incompetence. Uh, BMG says it's a king, most at key measurements, all the same. Reese, fire. Yeah. I'm just trying to let it um, keep burning, you know. That'd be right, get some rocks to come. I mean, we're up to almost 120 pounds now. Come on, LMS way a little and often. Ugh. Spits patriotically. I'll, I'll have to um, link you that YouTube video, Reese. Well, the uh, training video, because I, I did see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. In fairness, that I did watch it. It's quite a good one. It's actually, you know, considering it was made in the 1940s, it's actually really quite good. Pretty good quality as well, yeah. isn't it? Or is it 1930s? I think it was pre-war. It was, I think so. Yeah, it was definitely LMS anywhere. Yeah, it was definitely LMS. It might even have been wartime. I don't know, but it was, yeah, very well done that video. Even you know, like the animations, it yeah. showed the animations of the the boiler and everything. I thought, oh, that was actually really well made. Yeah. Berwick. How far from Berwick are we? 55 miles. 55 miles to go. So you know you said, Berwick. oh, it's only another two hours if we're running at 60 mile an hour. Well, so far we've averaged about 30. <laughs> yeah, which means it's another four hours. <laughs> but don't worry, speed is picking up, chaps. Moral of the story, Reese, when we get to Berwick, don't let the fire mass drop. That as well, but also I'm gonna do the. I'm not gonna do giveaways while we're running anymore, because that's yeah. just distracting me like crazy. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait until we're stopped. Then you can take the fire for a bit, and then I'll do a giveaway. A jailer, jailer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you, you can take the control back to fire, someone because I can't do it. Because I handed <laughs> it over to someone who knows what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go for that. So this route is now Newcastle to Edinburgh. Yep. Which is a just t a just trains route, I believe. Boiler well, pressure is 125 now. Well, that generation rate ain't far off maximum now. Boiler's nice and hot now, guys. 
We're getting there. We're getting there. It's only taken... Oh look, about half an hour. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Now I can leave that on 28 and that'll uh, max it out at that. Someone, a YouTube user called Lime Lameishdach. I can't pronounce that name. I'm sorry. We said I remember the Germans did a bunch of training videos. Those were very good for their time. But were they the type of training videos from Germany that can't be showed on the telly anymore? <laughs> really? That's the. That's kind of the problem with a lot of older German stuff. No, it's not. Honestly, I'm not me. Not not to be funny or nothing. I mean, a lot of. Uh, there's an awful lot of things from that time period you're not allowed to show anymore and it's not because the subject's a problem it's because of the the symbols and you know yeah that sort of thing and i know i've got a personal connection to this because a lot of my my grandmother was from germany in that time period um so all of her you know like personal documentation is covered in it in those symbols you you all know the symbols what i'm on about so, remember um, remember when you gave us a stream briefing and you're like, we're going to avoid controversial topics and swearing. In fairness, I didn't mention it. I didn't actually say what it was. It's censorship. Is that a 50? Yes, it is a 50 zone. Hmm. Boss, the boss man games has got it spot on. It was a certain Austrian painter. Yes, that's probably the best way of describing it. Where are we now? Yeah, it looks like you've got a bit of a, a chicane coming up. Look. Oh, is uh, it yeah, a lot Middles of <laughs> Middlesbrough, isn't it? The L Morpeth. Morpeth. I think this is where the line splits to go to Middlesbrough. If I'm right. Is it? There is a bit of a there is a bit of a curve there, isn't there? Yeah, there is a slight curve. I think it is worth slowing down for. Is that? Just a little. Is that a 70 after the platform? It is, yeah. Go through the platform, then back up to 70. Cool. Lime Dash says... Oh, they did one about uh, dangers of snow and overhead power lines. In the 60s, there was one about fires and diesel locomotives. Oh, that's quite cool. I might have a look for that. This sounds like it'd be quite interesting to have a look. Repton926 says uh, you come off at North Allerton for Middlesbrough. Oh, yeah, of course you do. Yeah, Middlesbrough is much further south, isn't it? I've just whacked the blower on while we've shut off, Reese. Yeah, that's fine. Just because your generation rate had plummeted again. Don't know, but I've shoved quite a lot of rock on. This is quite a sharp angle that we're banking at. I should use the proper word, canting. Sam's playing with his whistle. I haven't done an awful lot of whistling this live stream. <laughs> I'm normally the one that's like... While you were. Yeah, I'm normally the one whistling all the time. <laughs> Boing. There we go. Oh, this car's actually waiting at the level crossing for us. There we go. 
You got the road now. Yep. I'm gonna have to check the donations because I think there's been a few more donations made. Yep. But the water level's fine. I got a splinter. <laughs> Yes, I pulled it out. Oh, ow. So I was distracted by a splinter then. So I had to rebuild a workbench in my garage the other day. And I used uh, some scaffolding planks that I stole from work. <laughs> um, as you do. Because I'm not paying for any wood. How dare they think I'm going to pay for wood. That's quite expensive nowadays, isn't oh it? Oh my god, the cost of timber is unbelievable. So by the front of my house, I've got to rebuild like a bit of fence. And all it is, is two or three big wooden posts with a couple of, you know, longitudinal and horizontal um, beams. Just And all it is, is a fence just at the front by the side gate. I costed up all the timber from B&Q. How much do you think it was going to cost just for that? Oh, it's going to be a few hundred quid at least, yeah, if it's not like thousand. Three hundred quid just for some timber. Yeah. And I was like, how can you possibly justify three hundred pound for timber? You know, that's that's mental. And it's not even as though like you're building a house or nothing. It's just for a, a fence. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. NZ Rail Highlight says, just after I'll must be aware of the gradient. It's quite a decent one. Well, it's a good thing that the steam pressure is coming back. The boiler pressure is up to 180. Fire's good. Water level's good. So I think we're actually in a pretty good position now for uh, tackling. We'll be right back to time we hit it. Crawston Junction says, timber prices through the roof due to the insect eating half the bark of Canadian trees. Yeah, that makes sense, but also just greedy people. <laughs> there's also, um, I know in this country at least, there's a lot of um, tree disease going round at the moment. Oh yeah, there is, yeah. So I'm just looking at the Just Giving page at the most latest donations. We've got Gallus has donated £5 and said you should have used Bob the Pacer. I don't think there would have been the same level of interest in the live stream if we used uh, Bob the Pacer for this one. Oh, on the other hand, there could have been a great deal of interest. Yeah, I suppose. George D one nine four eight says thank you for the BMG pack. So here's a fiver, and he's donated five pounds plus one twenty eight one twenty five gift aid. Very kind of you. Thank you very much. And that's the latest of those donations. And on super chat, we've got Lime Dash has donated. Hang on, why isn't the coal going up? Injector on. Lime Dash has donated CHF5, and I think that means Swiss francs. I believe it is. And he said, use this as your first step towards a Jaguar XJR. Lime Dash, that's very kind of you, and I really do appreciate the thoughts, and I would very much like a Jaguar. Um, but for the purpose of this live stream, we're running a charity live stream. So all of the super chats and donations, everything like that, are going to be donated <laughs> to the... Um, to the Railway Children Charity. So thank you very much for your consideration. But yeah, this one, all of the proceeds are going to charity. So, uh, just reading out some comments um, about purses. Bossman Games says, if you used a purser, you'd be going past Finsbury Park about now. Where's Finsbury Park? <laughs> Down in London. Oh, so we wouldn't even have left the capital yet. Yeah. I think we'd have spent <laughs> the last six hours trying to get the engine started, wouldn't we? <laughs> Oh dear. It would have been a rougher ride as well. Oh yeah, see the way the cab's bouncing all around, we'd have been boing boing boing. <laughs> Force Game says tree disease, is that the new word for corporate greed? Spot on mate. Timber is supposed to be dirt cheap. I mean, they're supposed to be able to hardly give it away, let alone sell it. But there we go. I mean, I, I wish that we we uh, viewed timber the same way as they do in North America. 
like I met a bloke in Alaska when I used to work on cruise ships and he used to go chopping trees down in his spare time basically as you do in Alaska um, and he had a small truck that he would load, chop it all up load it on and he'd take it to the sawmill and for every four trees that he took there he would his pay, he didn't get paid his payment would be that they would chop one of the trees up and give him the timber yeah so he would bring you know four logs and every one of those logs was go would go back to him as timber sawn timber and he could either sell it or he or trade it or use it to build his own houses but that's what he used to do he was a, a builder but of course like building being a builder in alaska is a lot different to being a builder in this country because everything is yeah. built out of wood over there it's a very much a different way of life you know log cabins or timber houses it's incredible and it lasts like in this country timber and wood just rots within a couple of years in Alaska in America timber lasts so much longer and I don't know what it is what it is whether it's the environment or whether there's treatment or whatever it just lasts for so much longer Lime Dash says, I wonder how this run would have gone with the Great Western Cathedral. Well, I did contemplate actually using the cathedral for this. But um, oh. given that the, the king was recently released less than a month ago, I thought, uh, you know, I thought it would be more appropriate to run the king. Oh, we're losing steam. Why are are we... you injecting? I am. Yeah, I just shut it off for a bit. Ace Larkin says, in Alaska, they don't have health and safety, but they do have bears. So swings and roundabouts. He's right there. He is right about that. Um, you know, brown bears are a little bit nasty. But also everyone in Alaska has a sidearm. Except for those that have lost them to bears. Except when the bear steals the gun and shoots them first. Those ones have bear arms. Well, they got the right to bear arms, haven't they? No, but that's what I'm saying. The bears that have nicked the arms have got bear arms. How many codes do we have left, Reese? Quite a few. Rail advent ones. Do you want to just have a quick look in our um, Facebook chat? Uh, let me have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So we've been running 6 hours 42. How much longer do you think we've got to uh, run to Edinburgh? At least an hour and a half. It's going to be, isn't it? At least an hour and a half. Probably more like two hours. I reckon we're going to be done. I reckon we should be done by six, sparing the unexpected. Yeah. Maybe a little bit sooner, but I'm allowing for a bit of overrun there. This is 
Accrington. Acklington. Michael's just said we've got about an hour and a half to smash the 2k mark, Len. How far are we from 2k? I think it's about £500 left, isn't it? Don't know. So out of all the people watching the live stream, how many are from America? Have we got any Americans watching yet? That was a wobble. <laughs> now we've got 450 quid left to raise, I believe. £450 left. That's a nice that's nice is that banking. Michael said his heart sank on that wobble. <laughs> I did wonder, are we, are we coming off? I mean, the speed limit's still well within 10. Yeah, we're well within the speed limit. Boiler pressure's now dropping. It is, yeah. Which injectors are you using, Reese? The exhaust injector. Which ones? Which buttons? O and L. You're using the wrong one. Use K and I instead. I've just turned everything off a minute. Yeah, use um, use K and I. We use less steam. Yeah, I'm trying. I think the exhaust and the live and the other way around. I was wondering why it was taking so long for pressure to come up. I think we're very in the chat with all the wobble we're having. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Whoa. What's that? Is that Whoa. a 90? Yeah, it's a 95, then an 85 through Alnmouth and then back to uh, 95. But you're Still within the limit, it's done. 83, so I wouldn't worry too much. What speed are we doing? Oh, we are slightly downhill grade. What's it go to after 95 and then 120? Oh, there's uh, assets missing from this station. Yeah. I don't know what uh, what I'm missing. Very well, you're missing the platforms. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, which routes or which pack I'm missing. I'm not sure. 
So Brilliant. apparently this is where we've got a hill. Michael says, I think everyone is uh, individually invest in us making and succeeding. <laughs> Alma for Almwick coming up. Yeah, notice how your water level's nearly at the top, but you, it's the boiler pressure's still climbing. Oh yeah. I'm just saying that it's, it's worth using those uh, the K and I injectors. So, which one's the live and which one's the exhaust thing? Because I would have thought the exhaust would have been more economic. I don't know which one's which, to be honest. I just know that K and I uses less. So I would think that K and I would be the exhaust, and O and L would be the live. Yeah. But I don't know if um, I don't know if it's usually the other way around. But because it's a Great Western loco, Chris has swapped them. Oh, maybe. Because I, I was going to say normally, O and L is the uh, exhaust injectors. So maybe, like you said, he swapped them round. It, it might be because it's right hand drive instead of left hand drive. He might have put them on to the way, so it's like whichever side it's at. But I think we're missing some assets here. I think it is possible that we're missing something. It does look a little bit bare, doesn't it? Tell you what, to sail as a hill here, we're smashing it. Oh, coaches. Yeah, I think that we must be missing a fair bit of uh, see. We're missing a fair bit of scenery, aren't we? Yeah. See, now it's back. So I don't know what that was all about, but the, uh, the scenery's all back now. What grading are we on, Reese? Because I can't see it from here. 1 in 179. Ah, oh, that's barely a hill at all. Hey, and Reese, you're almost up to 200 psi again. Hey! Only took 45 minutes. <laughs> Um, everyone's talking about the gravy. I think we we spilled all of the gravy a long time ago. <laughs> well, we've we finished the main course now. We're serving the uh, we're serving the last course now, which is just biscuits to dip in the gravy and we'll scrape it off the walls. <laughs> so that's oh, that's one for bread. our American friends. We're just what, giving out bread for people to wipe the gravy off the walls of the coach. <laughs> <laughs> That serves as a clean-up job. Well, I tell you what, there's nothing like uh, gravy on the glass for bringing out a nice sheen. <laughs> oh, I'm getting real streaming fatigue now. Yep, still got another two hours or so to go. Well, hour and a half. We were approaching seven hours stream in mind. Yep. How long did we sail this route? Is about 400 miles? Just under 400, yeah. So a question for everyone in the chat. Does anyone know of any other routes in Train Simulator which are longer? Because if there's not any letter longer, this would be like, well, obviously it's not the longest because you can go like in squiggly bits, but the longest direct route you could do in train sim.
Western Main Lines is not as long as this one. Now it's about, what's that, 220 or 280, something like that. Can't remember exactly how long, but it's definitely shorter. So the question is, Reese, Berwick is 25 miles away. Will we blow off before we get there? <laughs> I think we might. I mean, we're not far off it. Looking at the steam going up quite quickly. Paddington to Penzance is 304 miles apparently. Yeah, I see a bit less. Well, it's nearly 100 miles less. Yep. 397. In which, case, in which case, by the time we get to Berwick, we'd have been done. That would have been done by now. Right, well we appear to be gaining, uh, gaining pressure again now, so I'm going to notch forward a bit more. That's it. A bit more speed. We're not too far away now. Just to put that little curve there. <laughs> Oliver says if it's ever released for train simulator classic we should do the virtual footplate of the Indian Pacific average runtime seven days oh we, we could cut at least a day off that I mean I would like uh, honestly now what what, uh, what, 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 what whoa it's all gone screwy again that wasn't me I, I didn't that was past did you press it. were no. you shoveling no Every now and then it just goes weird. I'm going to go ahead and just assume it's Parsec acting out. Because after a certain amount of time, Parsec just doesn't like to play anymore, does it? Yeah, it occasionally jams up with keys. Oh, we were doing so well as well. We've nearly got your pressure back line. I know. But actually, going back to what uh, Oliver's just said about the Indian Pacific... I would really love to rerun a section of the rail tour with 3801 uh, when it ran from Sydney to uh, Perth in 1970. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I would, I would love some Australian routes would be fantastic. Um, you know, especially around that sort of uh, you know that area. 
if there was some proper Australian roots and some locos as well, yeah, it'd be smashing. Because, like, we've done a lot of these virtual foot plates and we've done British stuff. It is yep. about time we do something else, you know, like, I want to run the big boy. Um, even UP844 would be a good one. But it's, yeah. it's knowing what routes to use is the big problem, you know? Yeah. Because we got the same problem with American routes. It's like, we don't know what full routes exist. Like, yeah, you got Sherman Hill. But, Please, um, what injectors are you using again? Just the live, the, the I and K ones. Uh, just wondering, because the pressure's dropping still. It is, but you're at 28% forward. Yep. I'll just turn everything off a minute. No, it, it should be able to manage that 28% forward. You got a yellow anyway. Still I don't know why. Still got 16 miles. I don't see any speed limit. It's 125. Let's save just in case. Um, NZ Rail Highlights has a good point. There is the um, there is that New Zealand route that came out. Yeah, um, the loco is apparently very difficult to drive. Yeah, it's very advanced. I've had a go at it once, and I think I got about two miles and then blew it up. <laughs> well, that sounds perfect um, for us to be, both be equally incompetent at driving it then. Oh yes. Fifteen miles to Berwick. I don't think we'll be able to afford to stop for too long at Berwick. We'll just we'll do a shorter water stop there. We'll stop and go, I reckon. Because yeah. we've been running late. In fact we could probably just skip it altogether because we've got the um, you know, we've got the the gov. No, we'll we'll stop and go, we'll we'll make sure we do a stop. But we'll we'll just stop and go, we'll stop fill up with water and coal and go well, and we'll make sure we don't do no like the fire drop there's no coal there uh, water I mean Croston Junction does did say we could act as a footplate crew on a heritage line and just do a few round trips yeah I mean we did talk about doing the Keefley and Worth Valley on a timetabled yeah. service. We did. Um, I wouldn't mind trying like the West Somerset as well. Yeah. Or even the, I mean, the only problem with the only problem with doing a heritage line is you do spend a lot of time sat around. Yeah, that's that's the only thing, you know. Like run rounds in train sim are a lot quicker than they are in real life, so you don't have like you don't have that same, uh, you know, time at the ends. Reese, I think you're over shoveling are you a bit. Shoveling? No, it's not me. Um, I'm not touching it. That wasn't me. Yeah, the keyboard commands on uh, Parsec are going a little bit messed up. Is the Scottish border after Berwick? Berwick was over the border. It's just over the border, is it? I thought so, but I could be wrong. I'm sure someone in the chat will correct us on our knowledge. It's 
tell you what we'll do Reese. once we've stopped, if you leave Loco to me, we can do another giveaway. Um, I'll sort out like refueling and getting fire and boiler in order and then uh, you can sort out the giveaway and then when we've both done that we can set off again. Yeah. Ah, Berwick is just in England, apparently. So that must be his border town. Yeah. I think we just had another donation, so I'm just going to go check that very quickly. Couldn't see anything. Eight miles to Berwick. I think you were a lot better on the shovel than I am today. <laughs> Tom Coppin says Berwick is the most northerly town in England. It's half past three in game. We set off at nine o'clock from London King's Cross. Yep. It's been a long time. <laughs> Apparently we're going downhill now. We were. About to go up again. Derek has been swapped between English and England and Scotland 14 times. Sounds a bit like Hereford then. Whoa! Whoa. That was uh, a bit of a wobble there. <laughs> I do wonder if you get wobbles like that where, you know, the root merge thing. Could be. Maybe there's something that's gone up with the, the root merge. Could be. Tell you what is a long route we could do. What's that? Um, there is a Scottish route, a merger of a Scottish route, and I can't remember where it runs to. I think maybe Glasgow, but it goes. Um, it's like all the West Highlands, so it'd be like Glasgow to Fort William and then run round at Fort William and go to uh, Malague. Oh, right, yeah. Or vice versa. That'd be a good one to do. Oh, I think we got a yellow, have we? Um, Reese, I've... There we are. I was going to say, I was trying to bring up the um, hood land and it was not having it. Yeah. Oh, we're on the oh. coastline. I see the sea. The beautiful North Sea. Over there it's is North. It's full Norway. of oil. It's full of oil and Russians. Oh, 
Whoa. Getting very close to the Scottish border now, guys. I can smell the haggis from here. Sam's preemptively uh, slowing us down. Was that a 25 at Teedmouth down or a 75? 75. Cool. Weedmouth. What a great name. That's where Tweed is grown, isn't it? Yep. They just have fields and fields of Harris Tweed growing in on the mountain, so... It grows up in the form of suits, you know. Yeah. That's why when they plant it, you have to give them your, your measurements. And then they, yeah. uh, they plan it in for you. Yep. Oh, oh my, my legs are hurting. Twenty five up ahead for Berwick. Yeah. I think we will actually pass through the uh the platform at Berwick before we uh, go into the yard. James Ellison has arrived. Hello James, the Yanks are here. Right at the end of the stream the, the Americans are turning up. I wouldn't say right at the end, we've still got another hour or so at least to go. Oh, Ooh, Viaduct shot, Reese. Oh, hang on, hang on. Pause oh, it, low. Pause. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Let's do some quick screenies. Rod's down as well, Michael will approve. Where's the best place to take some screenies? Going other side at river. Going across the water, innit? Yeah, other side at river. Oh well, yeah, just over trees. Although, uh, I do need to slow down as well, so I'm just going to dump the brakes. You're doing 40, so... Well, I'll dump the brakes and I can release them when you've got your screenies. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you need to drive now. Oh, mate. You are the jammiest git ever. <laughs> you just dumped the brakes and then went into the siding perfectly. I was like, oh, are you kidding? We're only going to have time for a quick toilet break and then we'll be carrying on for the final stretch. Where are we stopping? Uh, keep going. It's right at the end. Right. Hey Sam, you said you were going to butter the bread for this one. The new, everybody here. There's only one problem, Reese. You don't know where to stop. There's no marker on the hood. Well, that doesn't fill me with much confidence. I think we've got further to go yet. Yeah, it's that Berwick GGL yeah. loop. Hang on. Hey. There it is. There it is. Oh, we've got loads of room yet. Now I'm looking for a giant teapot. Oh yeah, you'll see it. As this in one. There it is. I spy with my little eye a giant teapot. I think it's actually on the other side of the loco this time. Looks like it.
Michael says, is it even a photo if the rods aren't down? See, Michael knows. The guy should be on the other side. Oh, the guy's on the other side. That's helpful. Come on, Sam, butter the bread. And he's failed. <laughs> Not yet. Well, you've stopped about a loco and a half short. You can draw forwards, but you can't go back. Oh, yeah, all right, whatever. Also helps if uh, if you've not got someone who's fiddling with fire, so you can actually use your controls. Okay, you do what you need to do. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, he's overshot there. Honestly. No. <laughs> if you wait, are... wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think you might be all right this time, Reese. Yeah, yeah you're oh, right this time. Uh, uh, Look, that's entirely your fault. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. You said watch me butter the bread again and you failed. I failed because you were shoveling, so you were blocking that's, the keyboard. I, no, on. I stopped shoveling. Like me, and Sam, shoveling. me and Sam are on the footplate now, literally squabbling like children. We're just going to pretend to put water in. Anyway, we're only having... What time is it? Don't know you're cheating. You said you can't set back. It's all right. I've spoken to Signaler. I think that's going to be too far now, isn't it? Probably. Is it? Is it working? Yeah. No, let's give us um, give us a second to get my settings sorted. See, my regulator's still open. There we are. A little cylinder tap strain. Oliver says steam locomotives are incapable of reversing. That's about where we were last time, if your man placement is accurate. I'm nah, just... still not having it, Reese. No, it's, it's not going to work. I think I think it, you just got lucky at... It, uh... it thinks it's in the middle at Loco again. I think we just got lucky at um, that place. Yeah. Right, giveaway. I'll sort out the fire and boiler. Alright, I'm just working out the water a sec. One, two... It's alright, I'll handle it. Minus one one eight two three one. Oh, well, we only we only went through seventeen hundred and sixty nine gallons since Newcastle. That is. Right then, last giveaway. We're gonna do one uh, seven and eight. We're gonna do one calendar. And we're going to do one Bossman Games one. So, what should we say? Whoever can type Berek upon Tweed, Berek upon Tweed, into the chat gets the calendar. Go on in. That's the first one. First one to type Berek upon Tweed into the chat. William Tilston. You are the winner of the literally only one person has replied. <laughs> well, that's an easy winner, Lam. Quite an easy winner. Only one person's commented. Unless there's like lag or something, I don't know. But uh, you are the, the next winner of the calendar. Get in touch on Discord or um, 
or Facebook and we'll give you a code. And now for the last BMG one. Which is also going to be a BMG inspection saloon. I would like you to type in Edinburgh Waverley. Type in Edinburgh Waverley. Next person who I see types in Edinburgh Waverley gets the, the BMG code. G.A.G. Leonard. Right, G.A.G. Leonard. You've just won the Bossman Games Inspection Saloon. Now don't tell me you've already gone and bought it. Because <laughs> that's what seems to be happening. Uh, it looks like there might be a bit of lag in it. I think there might be. Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of responses then. Something else I think we should put to the chat, Reese. This next stretch is the last one. This is the last leg. So, I think we should ask the chat who they want on the shovel and who they want driving. Alright, I'm just going to run to the toilet so I don't influence the decision then. <laughs> so everyone in chat, let us know who do you think should be firing, who do you think should be driving for the last leg. Hang on, Sam, I just need five minutes to sort something out, okay? Yeah. So, so far, we've got... We have got three for Reese driving and one for me driving. Any more offers before Reese gets back?
Right, sorry about that, I'm back. Sorry, my, my family just walked through the door. Uh, they weren't supposed to occurs, come back until tomorrow, but there we go. I was just going to say, Reese, the thought occurs. You know the signal for this junction is, like, here? Yeah. Do you think that's why? Why, why have you put the water stop up here well past uh, the signal? Because the the road, what's it called, the, the actual road where the tank will get to is, like, miles away. Uh, fair enough. That was the logic, anyway. Anyway, should we get going? Final stretch, 57 miles. Let's go. Um, fire's in a good way. Yeah. So... Let's give it a go. You driving or shall I take over? Well, I'll tell you what, Reese. Where are we at? Seeing as the driving's quite easy, we'll let you drive. Okay. And I'll keep an eye on fire. Okay. And I'll try and avoid screwing it up like you did. Is the handbrake off? I never put it on, so. I know why. Would help if I took the brakes off, wouldn't it? It would help. It would help if you left the cylinder taps open as well. So we're off to a fantastic start. So here's me going, yeah, reach you drive because, you know, I'll be more competent at firing and then straight away <laughs> sets off without the cylinder taps open all the brakes off. It's alright. So we had a shortened water stop at Berwick. Fifty-seven miles left to. Uh, oh, someone's made a donation. I think. Can anyone see what that um, most recent notification was? I can't actually see anything for some reason. Ace Larkin has just said 400%. Does that mean we've just had the last donation? Um, we're over 2k now. Right, I'm just loading up the Just Giving page. Just one moment. Let's wind it back. 50% cut off. Reg through the roof. Just giving page, let's have a look. We have raised £2,000. 400% of our target. And the donation is by Jaden Robinson, who has donated £445. That's NZ Rail Highlights who um, has donated quite a lot to this. Uh, My goodness. Quite a lot to this stream indeed. He said five. Thank you everyone involved for a great stream and thank you to all who donated. I can't think of a better charity to donate to. Thank you to Real Advent and Bossman Games for the give giveaways. It's the home run chaps. So Jaden Robinson has donated a 445 and $500. So that's like 800 quid. That is fantastic. I mean, I, that's unbelievable. How have, what, how have we <laughs> raised 2,000 pounds for charity? I mean, doing these virtual footplate runs, just playing, playing our favorite game. And we've, we've raised 2,000 pounds. 
I mean, that is out of this world. Jaden, thank you so much for your generosity. You are very kind. I, I don't believe it. Michael said he's donated 1.2k. Jeez. 1.1k. Jaden Robertson, you are a legend, sir. Well, you know what I think, Reese. What's that? I think we've got to do a virtual footplate on that New Zealand line now. <laughs> I think so. We're going to have to uh, definitely um, do a, a New Zealand, a Kiwi live stream, aren't we? I think so. Yeah, we'll get something organised for that um, Kiwi live stream. I don't know when, or I'm not going to commit to like a date for it. And given that we've just done about eight hours of live streaming, it might not be for a little while. NZ Real Highlight said, "Me a legend. Now come off it. I'm just a real employee, given to the railway children. It's in my nature." That is very kind of you, sir. This, um, I'm, I'm genuinely taken aback. Look at this beautiful scenery. We are on the beautiful coastline now, and we're about. What scenery? Well, there's no trees or nothing, but this is that's the North Sea, isn't it? <laughs> if there was actual scenery here, it would be really uh, beautiful. <laughs> Hang on, what's going on with the engine? Why are we uh, we're stuck at 62? Is it because of the gradient? Do you think? Whoa. Your reverse is a bit high. I think it's probably that. Yeah, the reverser just went really weird. I'd recommend setting the reverser to about 28. And if you set it at 28, that seemed, that's what we had it at when we were getting up to the 90s, so it can handle that. I think if we stick it there, we should be able to get away without touching it. Oh, he's a beta tester for the d the devs. I'm assuming he's talking about the uh, the New Zealand route and loco pack. Ah. Uh -huh. Also, can I just point out, look, we haven't had issues with Lafaya since I've taken over. Oh, shut up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, were you shutting the fire all doors after shoveling? Yeah. Uh. So, GAD Leonard, if you're still watching, there's a, um, a Bossman Games inspection saloon for you. I'm sorry if I missed your message. There's been a few things happening. Um... Drop me a message on Facebook or Discord, wherever, and we'll get you a code sorted out. I think that we are on the verge of passing into Scotland now. I think we must be thereabouts if we've not passed it already. Anyone in the chat, if you can just let us know if we've... I've, I'm pretty sure it was on that stretch along the coastline where we crossed into Scotland. There used to be like a big... Um, sign. Sign, didn't they? Watch it, it'll have been on left-hand side and we'll have gone right past oh, it. But, yeah, the curse of Great Western Locos. We've, we've missed yep. the sign because we're on the wrong side. <laughs> Do you know what? I really, I genuinely think we have. I think we have entered Scotland. I'm sure of it now. I'm really sure that we are in Scotland. How many miles to go to Edinburgh? Uh, 51, 51 miles. We are on the home stretch. 55 miles is the marker. 
So yeah, we are, we'll we are in, in Scotland. We'll in, uh, Scotland. I tell you what, I did save something for when we entered into Scotland. But I think because we've missed the point at which we're going, we went into Scotland, instead I'm going to do it at um, Edinburgh Waverley. As long as everybody's in agreement with that. I'm fine with that. Alright, sounds good. Now, Bossman Games has said we've got to look out for any wild haggis roaming the moors. Now, he's quite correct, but we've got to find out whether it's a left-handed or a right-handed haggis. See, the haggis is an unusual creature in that two legs are shorter on one side of its body than the other, and they run around the hills in a circular motion. IDK13 says, can you suggest a last minute switch to Glasgow? A little bit late for that, I think, but, uh, you know, we'll try our best. NZ Rail Highlight said, I think we've passed it within the last few miles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that the, uh, it was on the coastline. Remember when I said, oh, look at the scenery? Because we were leaning out the right side of the cab, and we weren't paying attention on the left. So now we're going slightly downhill, 88 miles an hour, the speed limit's 95 so we're okay. Sam seems to be doing far better on the shovel. <laughs> I am going to use my age old excuse though that um, trying to run a live stream and do all the, the chat and everything and looking at my phone at comments and stuff. It really does distract you, and you've got to be... Yeah, you know. it is difficult, and when when we're doing these virtual footplates, and we're doing it so realistically, um, you really have got to be properly on the ball with a firing. Um, like, it is a constant thing. If you're not shoveling, you've got to be injecting, and if you're not injecting, you've got to be shoveling. Yeah. Boy. It was seen on the right hand side as well, I don't know how we all missed it. So apparently we're all just blinded, we've missed it. It's probably one of your missing assets. Oh, well, I've been a milk bottle while have gone past. We'd have just been a little milk bottle on the side of the track and that was the sign. <laughs> NZ Real Rail Highlight said he's been driving alongside us. He's driving the Bossman Games Black 5 and he's 35 miles from Edinburgh. Yeah. Great Westerner says, will we see the return of a great uh, certain Pannier series? Don't know and check out the, the video update from Christmas last year because that gives all the latest information on my series and, and videos. So we might, but it's unlikely. We have, however, got another um, similarly themed series, I guess. Yes. Um, in the works, which will be a new one. Um, I don't think we've announced anything about that yet, have we? No, not yet. Not properly. Do we want to? Not yet. It's not. Um, it's not ready. Right. Right, 92 miles an hour, we're doing well. Good what you can do with a full boiler, isn't it? Oh, shut up, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. T 
Terry Bartlett says, the route I would have liked is the Brighton Main Line with the Portsmouth Direct so we could have the Surrey Hills. Well, we actually tried um, that route merge of the Portsmouth Direct Line, didn't we? The London to Portsmouth. Um, I think so. We did try that with the Merchant Navy, but it did have rather a bit of um, problem. At the train sim didn't have a good time of playing it, did it? No. But I'm not sure if that was because of the loco was really advanced. But then, you know, this is pr fairly advanced. And train sim didn't like that, or whether my laptop was just having a bad day. But it did seem to, um, on that day, it did seem to really struggle, didn't it? Yeah. What I might do at some point is try rerunning that route, but with a, a less advanced loco, just to see if that makes a difference, whether it's the route or whether it's the loco. Yeah. I think that was one of the first virtual foot plates we did, actually. It was one of the early ones, wasn't it? It was Clan Line. It was we yeah. ran when the Merchant Navy pack came out. But I, I do remember that Train Sim really struggled at times. It was like when root t you know, the asset tiles were loading in, Train Sim really, really, really struggled. I mean, it could have been my laptop for all we know. It could have been Train Simulator. I just, we don't know, really. Yeah. How far away? 41 miles. You were missing a bridge there. I'm going to have to... You know, get on Alan Thompson simulation and see what packs I'm, I'm missing. Yeah. We are bouncing all over the place in this cab, aren't we? We are. It's a good job we don't get travel sick, isn't it? <coughs> <laughs> now you said that. <laughs> I do actually get seasick. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, considering my job is as a seafarer. But, um, oh, 70 speed, oh. No wonder we're bouncing around. Speed limit's gone down to 75. That is, that might have been something I should have uh, paid attention to. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese Davies, the driver of the train, not looking at the speed of the line. Again, I was looking at the chat. Come on, Reese, I've given you the easy job as well. In fairness, I was looking at the chat too much. Right, 75. That's but it not goes... an excuse. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I didn't see end at line there. I'm sorry I went through it, but well, it... I'm just I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at the chat, you know. It was like when we uh, drove on the North Wales coastal line to Hollyhead, and I tried to put Bahamas through the buffer stops at the end. <laughs> and I had to slam on emergency brakes, like, nope. Nope.exe. Right, what's the speed limit now? 85. Let's get back up to speed. NZ Rail Highlight says it's 3.30am, give me a break. Oof. Fair, I mean, fair plays to you. You've stayed up and you've, uh, you've put the commitment in. We've been streaming for almost eight hours now. And we're streaming during the day and not overnight. <laughs> I can't believe it's nearly half past four local time in the UK. We've been going since half eight this morning, Sam. Yep. Here's one hell of a shift. In it just. Right, speed limit here is 90. You see, I'm definitely getting stream fatigue now. I'm losing concentration. I can tell. Ace Larkin says, I think that was the excuse used by Blue Peter's crew as well. Honestly, Judge, I was looking at the <laughs> chat when the engine <laughs> slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Peter set the world record for fastest wheel slip ever. Go on. That is an engine I would like to run, actually, is, the, is Blue Peter. I wouldn't. No? Just because it's RSC. Yeah, but you know, it was uh, Ben at Bossman who who built it. Yeah, but I, I it's do... just. Uh... Oh, there's a definitely a bridge missing there. <laughs> I don't know what these assets are. But they're from. Obviously, I I need a pack. Did you notice that speeding sign there? I might have. 
You notice some speed limits coming at Reese? Might have. I want somewhere to save the game, but I don't do it because I think you're too close and might derail. Well, we're committed now. <laughs> if you derail us now, Reese. Right at if the we've very gone end. For, if we've gone for eight hours and you derail us now. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the run now, is that we're suffering from stream fatigue. And this is where we're most likely to make mistakes. Not like you haven't made any already. I made mistakes, let's be fair, I made mistakes in the first ten minutes, didn't I? <laughs> English Bob says he went to bed just after it started and it's still going when he's woken up. <laughs> well, it was a, it's a live steam marathon. IDK13 says he can't wait for the 24 hour stream. Buff! See, the next thing to do is, instead of running this as a virtual footplate, to run it as a non-stop race. Yeah. With uh, every man for himself, you've got to plan out your own water stops and coal stops. See, now and you've got to take, uh, take your life into your own hands as you whiz around out speed limits. Something I would love to do in the future, if they ever did come up with a game like it, is if you had, say, a preserved railway, but a server where everyone is controlling their own engine, you know, and you could, like, interact with each other, but set it so you could do, like, a gala, but have different people booked on at different times of the day. Yeah. So you just keep it going permanently. Ace Larrikin says, if only we could get you in a voice call for this long. If you could only get me in a voice call at all. The problem I've got is that the only time free I have, you know, I get, really, is it ends up being live streaming. Yeah. And I mean, this is like the last chance this year, because my family went on holiday for a couple of days down the caravan. So it's the last time, probably this year until next year, that I've got a couple of days full to myself where we could do a day like this, you know, a, a full day live streaming. And even then, as it's turned out, she's t she's come home early. You two did that on the Seven Valley with Tom, didn't you? Yeah, we did a while ago, didn't we? Yeah, but it's still... It's alright, but galas don't really work too well in multiplayer just because you don't have leave a train uh, in single player because you don't have leave a trains there. Well, that's what I mean is we'd have to have a game where it does actually work, where you have an online server and everybody yeah. is controlling the same route in the same trains, but in different shifts. Yeah. In a way, the only way I can think about it is if railroads online had an online server. And I mean, I Railroads Online? They made a, a massive... They missed a trick with that. If you could have had yeah. dedicated online servers, then you could have kept a route open all the time. So people mm. could work on it as and when they please, you know? Yeah. 31 miles to Edinburgh. Eighty-five miles an hour, but fair play. The the engine is uh, she has run well. Well, when I've been firing. Yeah. I'll, I'll be <laughs> no. I'll be completely fair here. Even when she had a bad fireman, she still she kept she going. still kept going. She was going at thirty mile an hour. Granted, it wasn't as quick as we oh. wanted. I was going to say, she she held 30 mile an hour with only 80 pounds, which is not bad going, really. I mean, that's quite impressive, I think. 85 speed limit there. Just going to ease her back a touch. I don't think I need to brake there, actually, because I'm pretty much 85 now. 
so let's just yeah we'll be right for that just coast through this uh, 85 section which is bouncing all over the place here yep oh Ro Romney Hive and Dimchurch line with the oh Terry Butler says in Roblox Romney Hive and Dimchurch has the ability where you are online and working trains with different steam locos I have honestly thought about trying Roblox because a load of people have said the Steam Locos that have been made for Roblox are actually really good. So that might be something to try one day. Yeah. Just to have a go. That's just me opening the blower. Engines just throwing us all over the place. Lime Dash says Simrail will also be getting a steam locomotive update in the near future. That's a game I have not tried yet, is Simrail. I would like I to actually. I've heard of it. No, it's 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 still like early access type um, deal. In fact yeah, I, right. I don't even know if it the first part has been released yet. I remember seeing an advert for it on Steam. Um, but I, I would like to start trying some of these other simulators. Like, I never got on with trains. I, I've tried it several times and I just couldn't get on with it. I don't know why. There's just something about it where I'm just like, nah, I don't like this. And I know a lot of people love trains with a Z. But, no. Nah, for me, I don't know what it is. I just can't get on with it. I had Trains 2006 when I was younger and I loved it. Yeah. And then I I've never, never had any it. other one. I could never get it to work. Never. Nah, I think Trains in Classic is, in my opinion, still the best one out there. But, um, what else was I going to say? What's the speed limit? 110, we're alright. Another game that I've been playing last night was um, Titanic Adventure Out of Time. Yeah. Did you ever play that when you were younger? Nope. Oh. I've never been a boating man, Reese. I've always been a train man. Fair enough. Well, it's actually a um, really good game. And if you ever get the chance to buy it, it's old. It's a 25-year-old game. But I'll be completely fair, it's brilliant for its day. But I got a bit of a confession to make. Last well, the night before last was the first time I've ever completed it. <laughs> so all those years that I had it and I raved about how good it was, I never completed it once. And the the reason was quite simple, is because one I could never work out how to get past the turbine room, because you have to fiddle around with all the controls of the steam turbine, otherwise the guy won't let you in the engine room to carry on the game. Um, and two. The CD-ROM that I had from when I was a kid, after a certain amount of playtime, it would just break down and stop. Yeah. So no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to work. And it's only in the last few years where Titanic Adventure at a time has been made available on Steam, where I've been and people have done fixes and all sorts for it, that I've been able to make it work. So I finally found some time the other night and I played it after watching all different playthroughs um, online from a guy called Spammels. He does lots of Titanic comment, content on his YouTube channel. And I finally played through it. And I was like, this is like a step back in time for me to when I was a kid playing this game. And even though I couldn't complete it, I used to love just walking around the ship. And in the future one day, when Titanic Honor and Glory is released, I'm finally going to be able to do that, you know, with the full ship. Yeah. Crawston Junction says, has he seen uh, Titanic Honor and Glory? Yeah, I've been watching that very closely. Hopefully it won't be too much longer until it's released. We need a game where Reese can try to drive the Titanic successfully on its journey. <laughs> Well, it's funny you mention that, try. because one of the other things I want to try in the next year or so is I want to try um, a game called Nortis Home, and I'd like to either make videos or live streams about it, but it's basically 
the newest ship simulator and it's actually made by people who make simulators for the maritime industry so it's not just a game like this it's actual simulated ships and there's all ship handling lessons and all sorts and obviously because I do that as a job I thought oh do you know what maybe a series of videos where I show ship handling might be something people might be interested in you know what Reese? not that I want to sound awful but why do I get the impression you do that and then you'd be like, oh yeah, I do this for a living, so it'll be easy doing it on a game. Nearly had an AMS with a car, man. Yeah, I know, um, I did see. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be like, um, I get the impression you'd be like, oh yeah, I do this for a living, so it'll be easy, so here's how you do it. Bang, and crash, then, um, and sink you the seen ship. You've seen Cars 3? Yeah. Where he goes on simulator. Right. And this is like, however many times, Piston Cup won a Lightning McQueen. And then he goes on simulator, and... He crashes and he runs over people and he catches fire and... Yeah, that's exactly how it's going to go. <laughs> I'm going to say, this is what I do in real life and then suddenly it just won't work. Bang! Lime Dash says Nautis Home is actually brilliant but it's still a work in progress. Yeah, it's, uh, it's another one of those you know, titles that's work in progress, early access, all that. So it is limited what you can... Oh, where's the sounds for the uh, inspection saloon? Within the other half of it, apparently. Okay, that's weird. One half of the inspection saloon has got sounds and one half doesn't. Um, I think it's something to do with interior views in train sim. I had the same issue when I was trying to set up... Um, you know when I did the Christmas pack? Oh, right. And I was setting up like the jingle bells inside of it. Oh, right. I had um, the same thing where I had to really carefully position it because if not, you could only hear it on one half. Right, so it's, pro it's a limitation of the game then? Yeah, I think it's like the audio bubble it has. Oh, that's alright then. Um, I was going to say, because Bossman Games is watching and he's going to be like, what have you done to my saloon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, yeah, Michael's just grassing me up. Look, he's like, Ben, look, they broke it. <laughs> Right, we're all right for a bit longer. We need to check how many miles we got left. So we're just having a five-minute break in the uh, the inspection coach, are we? Well, I just thought we'd have a look at a different camera view for a bit. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of missing assets there. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the milk bottles. Scotland's wild milk bottles. It's like a safari through Scotland. Come and see Scotland's wild milk bottles. Do you know what we need actually in this inspection saloon? Is some like a, like a little record player with some really nineteen uh, thirties jazz or classic music. Yeah, that would be really nice. Bet we could do it with child objects. Probably. Ninety four mile an hour. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I think the vacuum gauge does work, yes. Dump brakes and find out. Yeah, just drop both anchors. What station was that? Oh, we missed it. Never mind. <laughs> we are going quite fast, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, we're yeah. nearly doing 100 mile an hour. We only realise it when we're uh, sat here in the inspection coach. It's time to sit back and enjoy a jammy dodger. Yes. Funnily enough, jammy dodges are made in a factory not far from my house. Burton's Biscuits, everyone. Buy your biscuits here. When I was a kid, I used to love going to that factory because they used to do the uh, broken biscuits bags. <laughs> and Because they're all the factory rejects and you could buy like a, a five kilogram bag of factory reject biscuits for like a quid. See, if you go to Nestle, you don't get that because they just stick them all in the Kit Kats. Yeah, well, with chocolate, you can melt it down and use it again, can't you? Uh-oh. No. Oh, I thought we were in trouble then. <laughs> so train sim, so just, train sim just minimised itself for some reason. Uh, how long have we got left? Where's, where's Edinburgh? 16 miles. We're nearly there, Sam. Oof. Uh, Bossman Game says, did you go straight into the saloon or did you control plus from another passenger view? 
straight into it. It would just we just press the five button. In fact, we can do it again and see if it does it again. Hmm. Yeah, straight into it. But it works in the other half of the saloon. That is weird, isn't it? Leave it on that passenger view and go back to the loco. And then... See, that sound works yeah. fine. Yeah. That's unusual, isn't it? I think it's the audio sphere for the um, passenger view. Oh, 8213 Productions has donated £2 by Super Chat. Thank you very much, sir. He says drop the anchor. NZ Rail Highlights is saying uh, 11 miles. We're 14 miles away, so we are catching you up. How fast? I wonder how fast he's got. I mean, we are doing 95 miles an hour. I think he's doing about 65, he said. Oh, we but don't... that's like rushing a black five. Oh, well, we're going to win that. All right, we were... We've been ever so slightly speeding for the majority of this uh, live stream. To be fair though, we've only been making up for the time that we lost because Train Simulator screwed up. So, here's a question. Is looking back at the timetable... Uh, where is it? We were supposed to arrive 16.31. It's now 16.30 in-game. Okay. And we are 13 mile away. 13 miles behind, so I reckon we'll be about 12 minutes late. Something like that. Something like that. Which, for the full length of the East Coast Main Line, is not bad going. Especially to say we accidentally ran half of it at 30 mile an hour on 80 pounds of boiler. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I think I'm going to have to double check all my routes because there's an awful lot of assets missing from this one. Yeah. But then why, you know, I've got, the, I know I've got this route, but there must be another route where they've added extra scenery or something from it. That's yeah. My, that's my thinking is that they, they've added extra scenery and it's just, you know, because I don't have that route, whatever one it is. He's saying he can't go any faster than 65. You'd be very interested at in hearing in how my night planned out, considering that I've been driving since London. Oh. Well, considering how knackered we are. And we're doing it in the middle of the day. Ten miles to Edinburgh. We're nearly there. When we get to five miles, Reese, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop firing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just because I don't want to be sat in Edinburgh blowing off every two minutes. Makes sense. Run the fire Cost, down a bit, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Network rail get a bit annoyed with you if you do like kind of thing. It sets off all the smoke detectors, doesn't it? Yeah. Sets off all smoke alarms and then they get all annoyed and... Also everyone's on about like sabotage. There's no sabotage here. There better not be. I'll be really annoyed if there is. Nah. This is... We, we want to finish properly. Let's finish properly and then crash. Why? No. The RAIB has got enough bones to pick with us as it is. I know, there's, there's like a, a police van waiting for us at Edinburgh Waverley to take us off to be drug and alcohol tested and uh, put into questioning. questioning. We're downloading all the... Um, VDRs, yeah. Yeah, downloading all mainline equipment and checking through it. So the live stream is going to be deleted as soon as we finish, just to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> so now you've said that everyone's going to go back and screen capture all bits of uh, breaking all rules yeah NZ Rail here I like said I've had some massive gains on you earlier on especially at Grantham any time before there I was in the dust about Doncaster was where it got interesting 
Yeah, it's because of the messing around with the scenario at um, Grantham is really what did us in. And yes, before you say it, Sam, I should have done a test run. Should have done a test run. I wish there was a way to test the scenario without having to sit through the whole thing. There is. You swap out your steam engine For and the you're sticking tree. something. Yeah, you're sticking something much quicker, and you just rag it. Well, the jet train wouldn't be a bad idea. Set it to 300 miles an hour the whole way. With no chance of coming off at points. Oh, while we had our 20 minute break, he was still powering off at the, at the line. So that's how he got ahead. That's brave. How far from Edinburgh? 6.4. Ah, so you probably let the fire start dying down a bit now, can't you? It won't be long until I've got to shut off. Callum has yeah. donated another two pound in super chat. Thank you, Callum. It's really Stick appreciated. on one last load of rock, and then we'll be done. He's donated eight uh, two pound and said, "I bribed the police to say you won't be arrested." Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. So, what's he bribed them with Mars bars? <laughs> deep fried Mars bars all around for the Scottish police. Oh, he's only just behind us, NZ Rail Highlights, mind. He's only just. But we are doing 30 mile an hour more. True. But we have got to slow down. About 40. Oh, we're nearly at Portobello. We're nearly right. on the outskirts of Edinburgh. Let's shut off with firing. Ben says you can uh, preview a scenario in the scenario editor and you can speed it up, but it can be quite buggy. Yeah, I did think I should have done that, to be honest, because you can run it like four times speed. Um, but then that being said, if it's four times speed, it would still taking us two hours to run that trial because yeah. of the eight hour live stream. If I've got my maths right. And time to shut off steam because we need to slow down to 90. Ejector on. Time to slow down. We've been very quick with the AWS today, you know. It's because we we know, uh, well, we got a panic whenever we hear the AWS, haven't we? Just instantly flicks the finger over a queue. It, it's like an automatic reaction now. It's just cute, cute. You never just press it once either, do you? It's always a spam queue. Just queue, 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 queue. So you could be having a really nice driving session. You're just like, oh, this is nice, really relaxing. Queue, 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 queue. <laughs> yep. Right, and let's. Um... Right, so I'm. Right. 2.9. Fire miles. and. Fire and water's dealt with, so she's all yours. Right, oh. Michael says, have we got the parachutes ready? Yep. What we're actually going to do, Michael, is we're just going to um, we're just going to let all the curtains in the inspection saloon out the windows. And that'll cause enough drag. It'll create enough drag to uh, to slow us down naturally. I've just brought her down to 60 because um, I don't entirely trust approaching Edinburgh. I remember this. On quite the subject of. Yeah. Now, in many ways, this is the hardest part of the stream we've got now. Yeah, well, we're trying to navigate quite a tricky bit of track at the right speed whilst being stream fatigued after eight hours. Yep. And this is the point. There are. We can see the station up ahead. Look. This is the point where mistakes happen. Crawston Junction has got the... He's uh, weighing out the anchor ready for us. He's walking it out to the waterline, ready to drop. Look at that graffiti now, on that. Uh, I'm assuming that's a football uh, stadium. We must be in Edinburgh. That's Banksy's work right there, I can tell. <laughs> Are you still injecting? I shouldn't be. Uh, as but we're approaching probably... 
Are we approaching the station? Yeah, not far off. Yeah, on. we're on a hill. Now, I've been to Edinburgh and I remember seeing the station. It's like the whole city is in a valley. And then the station is like right bang in the middle of this valley. And then the, the city is almost like grown up over the top of it. Yeah. It's incredible to see. Right. 70 mile an hour speed limit, but we're just letting her slow down naturally now. Whatever you do, Reese, make sure you stop. We're entering the tunnel. We'll see you on the flip side. And before we... One sec, Sam. Something I need to do, just as we're arriving in Edinburgh. This is royalty free before anyone asks. <laughs> Oh look, the platform's missing assets as well. <laughs> you could have just left it at the platform's missing. Well that makes stopping tricky. Well there's the platform. Less video, more stoppage. I know, I gotta put them. Yeah, the platform is definitely missing. I mean, let's be honest, that's on par for us, isn't it? I gotta stop the uh, bagpipes, otherwise, they're about to play again. Yeah, they're about to play yeah. again. <laughs> Let's stop with it. Actually, it's quite appropriate thinking about it. Let's uh, stop with it. We made it. We made it. Woohoo! Wait, wait, wait. There we are. Now we're letting people on and off. We've made it. I am. What time are we at? 16.41. Nobody Eight can hours. get off. <laughs> Eight hours, 41 minutes. Eight hours, 41 minutes? Is that right? Yeah. We're at nine when we set off. It was, yeah. Wouldn't that be seven hours, 41 minutes? Something like that. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna have to... I can't hear myself <laughs> bloody think. <laughs> and oh, there we go, guys. There we go. We have made it 397 miles from London King's Cross to Edinburgh Waverley. What a scream. What a drive. Gotta get a couple of screenshots since we're here. We've made it, and we have made quite a lot of money for the Railway Children charity. So just while we're sat here waiting, I need to play one more video just before you all leave. So just quiet for a moment, Sam. We'll uh, just play this video. Yeah, yeah.
very much for your support. Thank you. Your support has been immeasurable. Thank you very much. Thank you and your children. From everyone at the Railway Children, thank you for your support. Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this live stream. We've, uh, me and Sam, this is the longest one that we've ever done. Um, just while we're sat here, I'm just going to have a very quick look at uh, what the final count is. So we've got ninety-six pound, sorry, ninety-three pound ninety-six in YouTube revenue, and I'm going to just load up the Just Giving page very quickly. La 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 la. Oh, she's going to blow off now that we've arrived. Come on, just giving page. Yeah, there's no agreement by a lot of stick out in. We have raised £2,007, so we've reached four hundred, just over 400% of our initial £500 target. So let's do a bit of maths. 2007. 2007 plus... 93.96 so our final total guys final total is 2196 2100 pounds and 96 pence so we've raised more than 2000 and considering that I set the goal as 500 and we've raised more than 2000 I'm absolutely ecstatic about that what you know the absolutely brilliant drive with some great company everybody's been fantastic i'd like to make it a really big thank you to a few people just before we do finish up for the day i'd like to find, thank michael at real advent he supplied a load of codes for the real advent calendars we didn't actually get through all of the codes but we'll figure something out i'm sure uh, probably for the people who've donated as well we'll work something out for them um i'd like to thank Jordan at Jordan's Railway Simulator who who very kindly edited the bin file of the, the engine's tender I'm not sure what Sam is doing he's just very slowly going over the train <coughs> um, and he also did the uh, the headboards the Railway Children headboard and the virtual footplate headboard for the live stream uh, thank you very much Jordan for your help who else I'd like to thank Bossman Games for very kindly providing the coaches that we've used today. That's the Bossman Games Hawksworth coaches, and you can buy that's them. That's what I was just showing off. Oh right, yeah, the Hawksworth coaches pack. You can buy that on uh, Bossman Games website. He provided those for this live stream, and also there's the Bossman Games Inspection Saloon that we've had a good look at during the live stream as well. Absolutely stunning little look, uh, little coach that. Behind the loco is the. Uh, Gov reskin. I believe it was um, Vulcan Productions have created that and it was released via 84F um, Studios, is it? I don't know if it's Studios or some or Traction or something. Anyway, the link for that if you want to get that reskin it's a Bossman Games product because it's included in one of the Black 5 packs, but that reskin is available on the link in the description below. Who else have we got to thank? And lastly... I really want to pay a massive thank you to Sam of Blast Pro Productions for being uh, a really good streaming partner. And it's not been said uh, many times, Sam, but, uh, <laughs> you know, one, you, fi wait, wait, you wait, fix wait. problems it's, that I create. It's not been said I'm a good streaming partner. What? It, it, it's not said that. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to give you a compliment here. Come on, take a, take a compliment, for God's sake. But um, it doesn't get said often enough. You know, I think you know doing these live streams. I've done them on my own, but you have to have someone to talk to. You have to have someone to interact with. And this is you know eight hours of pouring up with me. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> oh, it's been a pleasure, Reese. It really has. And um, you know, they're always good fun when we do these. And you know, it's you you really do get something out of playing 
in this multiplayer way, like you just don't get on your own. Oh yeah. Um, especially like trying to fire an engine. Um, it, it's just a totally different experience. But for eight hour slog, it's been long, but it, it's been really good fun. Um, and you know we've. We've raised an incredible amount of money, much more than I think either of us were expecting from it. I was thinking if we um, raised 500, which was the target that I set originally, if I, if we raised that, I was going to be over the moon. But, yeah. But to break that by four times, um, yeah. I, I genuinely did not expect that. No. I didn't see that coming. So for all of you who've watched all of you who've donated thank you ever so much for your generosity as you've seen from the videos that we've been playing through the live stream is going to a very good cause the railway children is a charity that helps you know children in the uk east africa and india as well as other parts of the world and in it provides intervention before children who have fallen on off their feet end up being intercepted by people with ill with bad intentions so the more you know the more that we uh, give the less likely or the more likely it is that the railway children and other organizations like them can intervene and keep people safe Crosston Junction says can we crash now <laughs> I don't want to I, I don't, I don't want, want to, to. we so well the king has made she's done she's performed faultlessly today King Edward like, first Beautiful we certainly machine. haven't. Oh no, we've, we've, ragged, we've ragged the hell out of it. We've, you know, we've dropped it to eighty psi and still tried to keep it pulling. How many coaches have we even got? Fourteen. Thirteen, I think it is. Thirteen. So she's overloaded for her size as well. She, she's overloaded, and she's. I don't think we can fault the performance. Um, and I've got to admit, Chris's uh, this new locomotion from Chris is. It is fantastic. Um, you know, l the simulation of it, especially the firing simulation with that boiler control um, and the heat of it being simulated is that's really good. Um, yeah. I Something I'd like to say, Reese, before we sign off. Um, when are you closing the Just Giving page? I'll probably leave it for like another day day or two you know just give so it that, a bit of time for yeah. people i'll have a watch through the stream you know and they can still donate then oh yeah people you know not everybody will have watched this live a lot of people will probably watch this in catch up so um if you want to donate you know please feel free to do so um i'm going to leave it open for a bit longer probably a maybe another week or so um, yeah, it's probably going to take a couple of weeks before this the revenue from the super chats comes to me because that's ninety three pound. I got to wait until YouTube pays it and then I'll make the donation. Um, but I'm I could tell you now I'll probably just make a one hundred pound donation. I'll just round it up to a hundred and I'll make my own donation on top of that. Um, I'll I'll try and let you guys know when I've done that. Um, obviously I can't do that during the live stream. Um, so for everybody else I think we'll wrap it up about there it's just gone 5 o'clock local time I really hope you've enjoyed this live stream it's been a really fun one and to see how much positivity there is in the community and people have enjoyed you know, coming together, enjoying it, contributing towards it, advertising it, sharing it with their friends, sharing it with their subscribers, thank you everybody and I hope right. you know we've made a difference, so we've done something that we can make a difference, and that now we can go forward and say, as a community, we have achieved this, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you, everybody, and we'll wrap it up there. Rate, comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you again for another one. In uh, given how we're going, it'll be about five to ten business years. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye.